Well, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to End of Dragons. Uh, we've just started. Literally, the game just patched. Um, then I had a big download to do. And then uh, I found out I was out of hard drive space. So I had to <laughs> re-download the game a second time. They were really good speeds though. Um, something like 13 meg a second I got consistently the whole way through. Um, so yeah, uh, today's launch day. I have never played End of Dragons. This is actually kind of a first for me. Um, usually with a Guild Wars project, what I do is I play privately on my own. Um, I kind of have a quiet experience where I take it at my own pace, my own speed. I don't try to like put on a show or anything like that. I just, you know, learn the product for myself and then I come back for like opinions and punditry and stuff like that later. Um, but for this release, I'm changing it up. I never did this for Core. I never did this for Heart of Thorns. I never did this for um, uh, Path of Fire. Christ, I'm forgetting the name of it there. Uh, but this time I am going to go for it. What I'm going to do is play End of Dragons totally blind. Uh, so that's that's what this is. And uh, thanks very much for checking out the video. We'll see how it goes. Now, obviously, I haven't had the music on there. <clears throat> and I should probably put head head uh, headphones on for this because... Um, Usually I talk so loud, I can't really hear the game very well when I'm talking. Uh, but yeah, okay, so new new carriage select, and it does actually... Did all the other carriage selects, like, wobble as you moused around, right? I don't know whether they really did. But anyway, in the background, it looks like we've got Saitung. we got the main theme. It's weird, we've been looking at the POF one for so long. Uh, in truth, I'd actually seen this already uh, when I had early access to the game. Um, but I was expressly forbidden from making content about this. I have no idea why. I don't know what's so revelatory about this. It would have been a really nice, fun little video and a thing I could have talked about on its own. I did guess, I will say, like a month ago, my guess was that the character select was going to have, like, the cherry boss blossom sakura trees with the um, the uh, the pink leaves around. And, well, that is what they're doing. So I, I feel like I get points there. So the question is, what uh, character did we do this playthrough on? I've got a ton of characters in my account. Uh, lots of them have beat the whole story and they're ready for this next moment. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to play this Necro, though. This is a new Necro using a new Canthan face when they updated the character makeover kit for this End of Dragons launch uh, a little bit back. Um, so I kind of set up this guy's fashion. <clears throat> I'm going with Necro because I have full legendary and I can change stats and stuff, which I'll make clear now, actually. When we log in, I'm going to be playing Dragon stats. So there is a new attribute type. And because the devs have now done the legendary armory and stuff, you can instantly just... Um, assign anything you like if you're at legendary already so that's what i'm gonna do uh i'm gonna play a reaper oh my god look at the new hero panel here <clears throat> i'm gonna play a reaper on the new dragon set so we'll go customize we'll go dragons here so dragons is power ferocity so it's crit main power main which means when you crit you're gonna get big numbers here with the vitality lower which helps us with shroud and precision, which allows us to crit a bit. Now, you might say, well, the precision's too low there, though, WP, to get all that value out of that ferocity. The thing is, we're a Reaper, so we can trade in such a way that we have a really high crit chance anyway. So, it's not that this is necessarily going to be new meta or anything like that, that I'm, I'm even really thinking along those lines. But it's just, uh, it should be a fun, slightly different way of playing Reaper. That At the end of the day, it's a feature of the expansion, so let's do it. So, there we go. Um... Even my underwater weapons are set up. We should actually probably put sigils on our underwater stuff because at the end of the day, I think underwater stuff is going to be a big thing in this X pack. And um, we'll see how that ends up going. So I'll just go force and accuracy here. I do want the accuracy sigil just so that I have a bit of crit chance. And uh, that's it, really. There's, there's very little other prep I want to do. We're starting here in... Uh <laughs> Ascalon, which is not a particularly amazing place to start, but I've picked uh, I, I just wound up here because I was like getting lots of map comp and stuff on this character Oh, yeah, so the new world map is live now. So check it out Look at all this gameplay guys that we could get one day man. So I already did a video about the new world map when I um, uh, Had early access, but now here it is and it's good to actually see it live with one of my real characters Look at this, the western coast of Maguma, man. It's finally visible. You know, I think in previous editions of the Guild Wars world map, this was actually a lot closer in, but they've, they've drawn it out really quite far here. I love the idea of this island. I don't know why. And this area, too. This might look really small, but the truth is that it's like Ember Bay-sized. Um, so, yeah, then we got Dragonfall. We got the Unending Ocean. Now, who knows where uh, End of Dragons will take us. We got the, uh, the Battle Isles. And then Canther itself is all the way down here. Uh, you've got Arbor Stone. 
you've got uh, this area here, this level 8 area called Dragon's End. Um, which I guess we'll get to later. Uh, New Kaineng. Saitang. It looks like only half of uh, Shingji is going to be available. And of course the new compass. So anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's get on in there. Let's turn on our uh, story channel. Now this character is actually not... Oh god, look at how ugly the end of Dragon's Box looks. Wow. That's... And it doesn't even look that different to the Ice Boot Saga color. That looks really weird. Alright, anyway, here we go. So, Convergence. Five Elder Dragons are dead. And by the way, to anyone who's just watching this Let's Play, preceding this, I just did a series where I ran through the entire game's story in like 13 videos. So you might want to watch that to get in the, the zone if you want. Because this is the last chapter. Five Elder Dragons... It's so weird to be here with new content. Dragons are dead, and with each death, more magic has been released into Tyria. While most, Pastor Orin, the rest vanished. After an exhaustive period of research, Dragon's Watch has finally had a breakthrough. So the entirety of last year, there were no story patches at all. The idea was that Taimi and Gorik were in the Eye of the North, studying things. Um, and so let's see what we got. We're going to get dialogue straight. Oh, oh, it's the cutscene. So this was a YouTube trailer. Oh, 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 dialogue. Latest results still inconclusive. Elder dragons awaken, consume magic, and leave nothing but annihilation in their wake. This is the way it's always been. The dragon cycle. <sighs> Unimaginable suffering through the ages. Countless lives shattered. And instead of uniting, some capitalized on chaos. But some of us fought back. I love that they put the Heroes Ritlock Logan scene in there. Banded together. Came from different corners, but shared a vision of a better tomorrow. And this cutscene. This was really well done. Not everyone made it. They picked brilliant music too. Trahan, Belinda, Air. Then came hope from an unexpected place. Orin, who we raised from an egg. With the prismatic dragon on our side, we have a chance. A chance to finally break the dragon cycle. They put Zaitan here. It's like they knew all the best moments, right? We've slain five elder dragons. See, look, the shot of Krakatoric at Dragonfall. Right forward? Tomb of the Primeval Kings music in the background here. There have been many theories. We tried to keep balance by replacing them, but that turned out to be impossible. Glint's legacy cutscene, they know how We're important that is, even though it breezes by. I'm running out of time. One remaining elder dragon is out there somewhere. I don't know what awaits us. I love even like that kind of quiet moment there looking at Orin. It's a really good cutscene. When I Gentlemen, saw it on YouTube, I, I thought to, to myself, with you. Something's happening and I'd like to discuss it in person. Also, if I'm honest, I wouldn't mind seeing your face again in person. Don't let that go to your head. Oh god, Aureen started to be sassy and weird now. She, I don't know, I would have thought I'd get a text box there, but I guess uh, it's because she's speaking to us telepathically. Usually they use like the squad UI when Aureen's speaking to us telepathically instead of like the communicator or whatever. What did she say? She said, champion, I need to speak with you. Something's happening. I'd like to discuss it. And if I'm honest, I wouldn't mind seeing your face again in person, but don't let that go to your head. Interesting. Um, yeah, when that went up on YouTube, I immediately, I think I said it in one of my videos. I said that should be the opener. And it was. Which is really good. Oh, they even printed all of di uh, Tami's dialogue in NPC chat as well. Generally speaking, I'm going to try and keep the UI really nice and clean. Because that's the way I like it, baby. Um, but I'll keep the skill bar on. Because people always complain when I turn the skill bar off. Um, so anyway, alright. Mail. Letter from Kate. From Kate? Kate opens the X back, eh? 
One minute old. Letter from Kate. Come on. This is really weird doing this blind in front of you all. I know you've been very busy, what with the char insurrections and the killing of elder dragons, but I think you may want to pay visit to the Eye of the North. Something seems to be bothering Orin. It's been too long. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Dash C. Makes me think of E whenever they end a mail like that with just a single letter. Okay, okay. Um, so, fortunately, I have actually been to the Eye of the North in this character. I don't know when. Look at all the guildies standing around here. I will take a moment to accept mails and stuff, so don't worry, guys. Um, but really, this series is a little bit more about me than it is about you, I think. This is <laughs> going to be playing and geeking out here. Okay, we get another mail. Is that you guys? Oh, no. Crystallogra Crystallographer Smoxy. Oh, this is to do with the strike mission currency change, isn't it? We're not going to worry about that. That's not going to be relevant. Also, someone in the live chat says that the build templates have extended. They have. Good change. An extra two, so you're up to eight now. Arena Nets but uh, bottom line, they can get a little bit more money and players will appreciate this, especially if they actually figure out end game and stuff this expansion cycle. Yeah, it's good. I wonder, did they uh, put anything on the gem store to launch this? Uh, we'll see. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's move on over. And again, I really hope you guys are in the zone at the moment with the story because I'm not going to do a major thing recapping all the little nitty gritty of everything that happened. We did just do a whole project playing through all the other stuff. <clears throat> It's weird how this bit of the map doesn't actually unfog until you get really in it. Champion, it's wonderful to see you. Even with Jormak and Primordius gone, I noticed Tyria is still standing. Seems the Exalted were a bit off in their predictions. Disaster hasn't struck. Yet. The okay. world does feel different, though. Can't put my finger on it. Like, change is coming. Real change. Well, that's like meta commentary about the MMO. That's why I wanted to see you. I've begun to perceive something. A distant presence. An ancient presence. It's a ripple in the mists. Like a dolphin in the deep. Sounding to sense what's out there. And I, I want to respond. The deep sea dragon. But before I do, I check my visions. All my possible futures converge to one point. Today. And you can't see past like it. Like Glynn can and see past her own death. Past it. Are you sure? Does it mean you die? I'm not sure of anything, except my urge to respond. <laughs> to say, yes, I'm here. You're not scared? I'm intrigued. I'm intensely curious. And even if I die, we know I won't stay dead. We think. Yeah, well, we go, uh, that's next, good they address the Joko resurrection. I just wanted to tell you, before it all begins. How does it begin? I'm not sure, but I know it involves Tiny <laughs> and Gorik. Then I'll talk to them. This giant cosmic moment starts with these two random Asasuras that have just pitched up a lab in this place. I, I really like their move there of saying, um, of, of just addressing instantly what are the stakes, you know? Is reality disintegrating? Well, we've ummed and ahed and waffled on that. Let's just say that the Exalted were slightly wrong. Okay, cool. That's dealt with. What are the stakes? Can, is Orin even vulnerable? What, what's the deal there? Okay, let's address that straight away. It's really important and good that they open everything with that. Okay. Um, why do I have two starbursts? Optional. Catch up with the rest of Death Dragon's Watch. Already, I love it. But how do I know which one's the, the... The optional one is usually... Oh, the rest of De Dragon's Watch is at the lab. Christ, should I turn culling off? I know that it's nice to see the game populated. But, at the same time, I want to be able to see the NPCs. But if you do... It, they need to separate player culling from NPC culling. Because if I do that, it's just going to get rid of the other, the other guys. By the way, this is as ultra as I can realistically get it without killing the frames. Okay. Oh, you're back. That's uh, good. That's great. Hello, in there uh, somewhere. Is she? Something to do with Gorik. Yeah. Okay. Um. So Gorik and I have been up here doing research, looking for a way to end the dragon cycle. Cause like, who needs that noise every 10,000 years, am I right? So many dead people, and the cleanup is insane. You were talking about Gorik. Right. Gorik got a message. 
from an old colleague. <laughs> this little lamb oh, here. An old inquest colleague. Ah. Uh -huh. Anka. Anka. He's mentioned her a couple times. I've never met her. Says she was tracking Jormag and Primordus. Ah. Oh. She has some data. Would he like to see it? She'll trade it to us. For what? Doesn't specify for what. Red flag. Come meet her at Lorner's Pass alone. Second red flag. So, Anka offers him something she knows he'd want without asking for something in return? Yes. Why would she do that? Exactly. Oh. She likes him. Exactly. Why do you care? I don't know. But you don't trust her. Why should I? Why indeed? I'm sorry, are you worried for Gorik's safety? Yes, I'm worried for Gorik's safety. You want me to go find him at the pass? Bring him back? Alchemy! Uh, would you please? Thank you, Commander. Okay, they're really doing the these two in love thing, aren't they? I didn't know most of the telegraphs up here. Is it checking with the rest of Destiny's Edge? And well, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's me being a little bit silly here. My God, it's ruined with all the people around. <laughs> um, Lornar's Pass. That's interesting. Why Lornar's Pass? Demon Priory, the steam machines, maybe. It's my first thought. Thank you, Commander. It's good to see you again. I like being in a sewer here, by the way. Gangs back together, huh? I mean, not the whole gang, obviously. Ritlock. Kaz and Jory, Timing. Rams at the Lodge, Logan's back in Kreda, Kanak is with Saida, Zafiro with the Zaishin, oh, they mentioned Garm is with Bram, Aaron Snapper dead, I don't know where the heck Zoja is. Timing. Oh! Okay, Gorik, it's going to be okay. I know. I okay, okay, okay. So just by the way, for the live watchers on this show, um, Rocker, who just appeared in chat, uh, I sent him a list of things to do a bingo. So, I wrote out a bunch of predictions for End of Dragons. I wrote 24 predictions for a 5x5 five five grid, middle one's free. Um, and one of the squares... So, you guys can play bingo if you want. Uh, one of the squares is I said Zodja will be addressed at some point. I think that counts. Zodja was mentioned straight away. I think that counts. <laughs> I know we're not even playing the bingo right now, but I think it counts. Um... It's crazy to me they mentioned Zafira there when they so clearly moved completely away from her in the Icewood Saga. But uh, it's nice. It's cohesive. Um, what did they say Logan was doing? What's Logan up to? He's just leading the pack, didn't they say? Really non-specific. It's good to get a catch-up for all the characters who won't be a part of this story, right? Also, I like that achievement. The UI was nice, isn't it? Uh, Bram's the Lodge. Logan back in Kryer. Kanark with Saida. Uh, we already knew that from uh, Champions. Zafira with the Zaishin. I wonder whether the Battle Isles, there'll be some relevance there. Okay, how's research going? Uh, not bad, considering it's mostly speculation. There's so much we don't know, or don't know we don't know. You have Orin. And she's been super helpful, but she's only one Elder Dragon, and not exactly typical of the species. We have so many questions. How did she ascend? Where did the others come from? Are there any more out there? The Priory thought there was at least one more. The Water Dragon. Draconology is an evolving field of study. Hypotheses must be supported by evidence. They live their lives on a time scale we can barely comprehend. Some days I wonder if they're knowable at all. But, like you said, we have Aurene. And she makes all the difference. Okay, um, how have you been feeling? Eh, ups and downs. Could do with fewer of the downs. Some days I wake up feeling like it's gonna take nine bolts to the brain pan to get me out of bed, you know? But most days are fine, and we don't need to talk about the other days. Have you been getting any rest? Not enough. That's not true. Okay, yes, that's true. I'm just getting so close to figuring out where all that magic went. <sighs> That's not a good excuse, though. More rest, fewer symptoms, fewer symptoms, happier timing. 
Okay, Gorok will be okay, promise. And um, we get a bunch of dialogue with Kate as well. You know what I really want? That jade, that turtle uh, culling thing for all these other players. Especially the guys that feel the necessity to stand here spamming sound effects. <laughs> uh, it's nice to get some classic Guild Wars 1 music here. You came. Hello, Kate. You asked. I like that you trusted me. Well, Why wouldn't I? I haven't always earned it. Being back at the Grove was different this time. I know we Silvari tend to come off as sophisticates of the highest order. <laughs> oh, indeed. But the truth is, even we firstborn have only been around for thirty odd years. Our culture is immature, emotionally. Knowledge we have, but knowledge and wisdom are different things. I think back to when I was with Fowlin. <laughs> I don't recognize that person. I had no idea who I was, but Aurene changed everything. I'm a parent, <laughs> of a sort, anyway. Being back among them, I realized I don't belong there anymore. My world, my perspective have... Broadened. I knew you would understand. Interesting. It's good to hear her talking about the foul lane. I wonder if what's happening here is they're reminding us of the naivety of the Silvari so that when we get to a point later where Kaith is talking to a juggernaut slash warden, whatever they're doing, and they, it turns out it's a brother, it's another seed from the tree and stuff, um, they can contrast it and they can say, look, the, the like how rocks had things to learn from the Omicar and the Silvari have things to learn from them, maybe. More Aurene dialogue, I guess? Something on your mind, champion. We have a lot to catch up on. Hmm. I've been thinking about these past months. Primordis and Jormac, Bangar and Ryland. I made a conscious choice not to involve myself. As a nascent elder dragon, I was wary of my own power. But lately I've wondered, was that the right choice? I thought you pronounced that nation, but okay. Uh, about your visions. Right. Remember my visions of our battle with Krakatorik? They all end the same, with your death, and you couldn't see past it. Just like Glint. But of course that was before I... Ate an unkillable Lich King? Discovered I can self-resurrect. Glint couldn't. Krakatorik couldn't. Once again, my visions converge. Except I don't see my death in any of them. They just... stop. Does that mean anything? It Change means she loses anything? her magic. Is this time different? I don't know. But I can't wait to find out. I think this is going to open, possibly even in mere moments, she's going to be depowered. They're going to take her, they're going to reestablish what makes her OP and they're going to take it away right at the start. Um, I talked to Timey. Gorik left to meet up with an old inquest colleague who Timey doesn't know, doesn't trust. The reason's unclear. They've worked closely for a while now, and they share a bond of loss. Years since they lost Blesh. But grief heals eventually, especially when you grieve together. None of it seems to have anything to do with you, though. No. And I still can't see past today. It's exhilarating, not knowing what's coming. Maybe for you. Okay, I'm off to Lornar's Pass to save Gorik's virtue. <laughs> I like that extra little reminder so the player doesn't get lost what they're meant to be doing. I have the feeling that that was inspired a little bit by Loki. <laughs> that moment there, exhilarating, not knowing what's coming. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, I think they will do the deep power. Uh, one thing... Um, okay, so the, apparently you sent me the bingo. What am I supposed to do with the bingo, though? I thought we just put it a link to it and people could play along. Is it in the Spud Discord? What, what do you want me to do with it exactly? I kind of just wanted to play the game. Um, we can maybe look at it for part two or, or something. Uh, I had another idea on the bingo as well, which is the... Uh, well, well, we'll see. We'll see. Who else is over here? Kazmir's here. Okay, that's good. Oh, Kazmir and Marjorie. Oh, look, they're standing apart, um, facing each other. There's some distance between them. We're going to see some emotional turbulence uh, between them in this conversation. I can tell already. Commander, good to see you. Great to see you, too. Detective Delacroix and Lady Mead. Or is it Ambassador Mead now? No title yet. I managed not to screw up the Ice Blue War. 
Queen gave me a little more rope is all. You helped bring humans and Char together. Got the code and invested in the fight, and Jenna knows it. Maybe. Nice to think so. I re yeah, man, uh, look at the look at this. The, the the kind of skins everyone's running around on is it's just crazy. Uh, let's catch up. We haven't had much time to really talk since Bangar's convocation. Oh my gods, the Metal Legion concert. Then things got busy. Things have always been busy, ever since we were tracking Kralkatorik. Trying to clean up his mess. Towns destroyed. Refugee camps. Close my eyes. I can see the faces. It was... a lot. Coming on the heels of Cormir and the other gods leaving us all to fend for ourselves. We see how well that's gone. Kazmir sounds kind of different. Um, not in like a bad way or anything. It's interesting because Marjorie was in the story for longer than they just suggested. She was there in Bura a tiny bit. Things have been hard. You're not being fair to I was shiny and shallow. A sunbeam. My sunbeam. Who ran when you needed me most. And I forgave you. A long time ago. You have to forgive yourself. We're talking Working about the... It. We're talking about the Balthazar thing, right? Where she started hiccuping and saying, I can't handle this, blah, blah, blah. Who's this over here? Oh, it's Ritlock, baby! A character I like. Hey, Ritlock. Ah, Commander, I was just about... He's not even in the x pack, so... Give me everything you can about Ritlock. Ah, Commander, I was just about to head out, so... Ritlock, how are you holding up uh, after Ryland? I've had some time to sit with everything. Spent some time with Kree. You never really got to know your son. Not the way you wanted. No. But I think that's the point. Bangar was right. Char don't have sons. Kree knew that. Kept her objective. What I wanted, I was never gonna get from Ryland. <laughs> it wasn't about him, it was about me. What I need, I couldn't see past the hole I was trying to fill. The more I pushed, the more he pulled away. I made it all worse. Ryland was a grown Char. He made his choices. I know, and I did what had to be done. Now his fight is over. Me? I don't know. There's time. You'll figure it out. Working on it. Oh, everyone's saying working on it constantly. Uh, Banjo says, when I started this instance, Ritlock had a different line of dialogue prior to going to Arena. Oh, really? That's interesting. Also, I didn't miss a line with Kazmir and Marjorie there. I clicked all three of them. And then it didn't update the third time. Tell me about Kreesha. How's she doing? Uh, things are still tense, but she's good. Great, under the circumstances. Hands full with paperwork. Keeps her busy. <laughs> Thinks a couple of the Imperators are already vying for Connor. Hope it doesn't get ugly. We've been through... a lot. Oh, I hope of course, it does. I'm biased, but if you ask me, they already got a pretty good candidate. For what it's worth, I think you're right. Might be time for all of us to put away old divisions. Hmm. <laughs> Listen to us. Couple old soldiers going soft. We fight because we have to, not because we want to. Five, two, that was Bangar's mistake. <sighs> Add it to the list. But yeah, might be time. I think I'm ready to plant my tail in one place for a while and just process. That's, he said process. He didn't say process. He said proce process. I'll leave you be. Okay. I kind of wish they'd gone a little bit more into, you know, he's... Well, I guess there's no suggestion right now we're going into an Elder Dragon fight, right? He doesn't know that. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so Lornar's Pass. I mean, how bizarre is this? It looks like it's not at the Steam Creature area. What the hell? The expansion starts at High Fern Passage. Very interesting. I'm going to go to Stone Scatter so we hear some of the lovely birds in the environment and the ambience. Oh my lord. I wonder how how long it will take out. Look at this guy, roller beetling. <laughs> that, that desperate to move at top speed at all times. Um, by the way, uh, for this playthrough, I'm thinking I might refuse to sky scale or use any mount that's not an end of dragons mount. Um, and especially the skimmer, I kind of want to keep it just skiff based. 
What do you guys think? I, I think that might be a really cool idea. Like, just as a self-imposed rule to really... It's not going to be the standard player experience. But it might be a new player experience. And it might be a better experience. So just on those terms, I'm interested. This is always weird to me. What reason do people have to wait outside of this instance? Waiting for friends because they're doing it in parties, maybe? Alright, old friends. Now, I have a little bit of a revelation for you soon. This is nice. Gorik standing here. Gorik, wait up. Commander, what are you doing here? Uh, just thought you could use the company. Dude. It seems implausible. I really like being so an old male Asura old here. friend you're meeting. Yeah, Gorik, we want to hear all about Anka. Spare no detail. Anka? She's an old colleague from my time at Thalmanova. We had a highly productive collaboration. I mean, I may have occasionally experienced mild heart arrhythmia when we were working together, but as Blish always said, don't masticate where you hibernate. What? Or something. I I'm paraphrasing. Anyway, I lost <laughs> touch with her years ago. Did he really mean masticate or the other end? We haven't spoken since. Being in Gorik, passion can mature in absence. Like an exquisite wine? No, no, no. Nothing like that. Just two ex-colleagues sharing research on a problem. And Commander, we do have a problem. Tiny and I have been working on a hypothesis about Elder Dragons and magic, but with most gone, data is hard to come by. We're on Terra Incognita. Anka is offering, and we need all the knowledge we can get. What about the rumors Gorik? of your lab being Over broken here. into? Oh, here we go. It's been so long. Let me take a look at you. You haven't changed a bit. Nor are you. Anka, allow me to introduce... Oh, I know. It's an honor, Commander. Any friend of Gorex is a friend of mine. Quite the charmer. Uh, pleased to meet you. Dude, she talks like Dory like from... only yesterday we were side by side. Two interns working to push the boundaries of science. Those were the days. I meant to reach out after what happened. I did. But there was this plague, beetles incubating in people's faces. It was a long time ago. A lot's happened since then. I'm happy to see you're well, and eager to see this new data of yours. Oh, that's... Yeah... I made that up. She what? Uh. Made it up? But you said... You don't have a passion for Elder Dragons? More of a... Professional interest. One in particular. I think you know her. Wait a second. You do want something. <laughs> Afraid to do. We're near the marionette. Me and my Aether Blades. Aether Blades! Bye, Commander. Hey! Oh shit, that was cool. That was really good. Gorik! Aether Blades and Quest Natch! I knew she couldn't be trusted! Dude, very well done. Oh, then we get the new type of ship there. Good with the music. Good animation of her pinching her and teleporting away. That was really cool. And more of the holographic uh, Eighth of Blade wall stuff. Very good. Let's see how dragon stats do for us. Oh, I just walked into the static field. So dumb of me. Oh, it's Orin. Looking a bit Jack. small. We'll catch Orin. Hold on. We need a plan. There's no time. They took Gorik. You can come with me, or I can go alone. Either way. But I'm not staying out of the fight this time. Oh shit. Scion and champion. Scion and champion. Uh, I had one of the things on my bingo that we would ride Orin at some point in the X pack. I think I was right about that as well. Let's see. Are we gonna ride her? Aether Blade Armada. Dude, what a cool moment of the Aether Blades just suddenly come back in like that. Scout ahead and try to find him. Does that count as us riding Aether our Ori? Blades. Never thought I'd see those sky clowns again. They're not clowns, they're killers. Remember Lion's Arch? They worked for Scarlet for the love of oh, Gorik! They've certainly been busy. Where did they get all these airships? 
alternate versions of Tyria. I don't know. I'm very excited about this. This is great cinematically, isn't it? They're actually bobbing around and stuff. This is like uh, the epilogue of season four, you know? Except uh, we're like the antonym of that now. Check inside the ship that Aureen put me on. Okay. Every expansion got to start with a big airship moment. This wasn't supposed to be a kidnapping. But I suppose the situation is what it is. Chief, what about the Elder Dragon? Captain's orders are clear. Dude. Crew's been talking. Thinking maybe we could try out Anka's little toy. No, no way. The extractor is experimental. It could kill her. Stick to the plan and maintain course. Aye, aye, Chief. Dude, he's, they got good voices. Good voices. And the Dredge guy. I knew I'd love him when, when we saw it in a... I'm going to enjoy kicking your ass. Well, when we saw it in that earlier stream where they were showing off all of the, um, the characters. The Dredge Aetherblade, already in love. They're weirdly into data entry. Check the terminal for a map, a flight plan. Dude, it's good. I like the texture and the vibe, the colors. We've been inside a lot of airships over the years in Guild Wars, and this feels different, you know? Very crisp. Um, sorry. Oh, we're going to the console. Is there anything underneath? I'm under an achievement right now. Take out every Aether Blade deployed against you, it says. So we want to focus up on, um, on any hidden mobs around. What's the map? Great question. We are in the mists, it says. <laughs> We're at the top left of the mists. We're somewhere near the metaphysical landscape of Spirit Watch and the Battle of Kylo, which obviously you shouldn't take tangibly. These charts, they don't make any sense. Why would the Aether Blades go to... I have to get off this thing. I'm reading a lot of... You don't have a choice! You're gonna have to jump! Oh god, what have I done? Jump where? Onto this? I'm jumping! Oh my god, what if I missed that? Whoa! Dude! Oh no, I missed it! <laughs> okay, well we see the reset. Dude, that was excellent! The, the, the crashing ship in the sky? What was that line of dialogue? I missed that. Um, you heard the captain. Portal activation on my command. Hang on to your pantaloons, Sky Pirates. Flames, they're attacking from above. Some crazy energy spikes, Commander. See anything strange? You could say that. They're heading into the mists. Oh, no, I, I can't help you in there. Commander, please don't let anything happen to God. Okay, that portal looks a lot like when we were in Aurene in Season 4. Just you and me now, Champion. Maybe just you. I have no way to get to the next ship. Let me help. I think you'll enjoy this. Okay. We're in the Fisher of Way, right? Special action. Prismatic Leap. Aurene's magic launches you through the air, allowing you to cross incredible distances. Oh, it's ground targeted. Dude! How am I supposed to know it was ground targeted? Alright, let's try that again. All right, there we go. All right, nice little reminder of the Zephyrite skills. I kind of don't want to be a Necro, man. I, we got to get to Harbinger nice and quick. Or I should play Scourge or something, because it culls the audio. Dude, these are like the uh, Chlorine Island ones a little bit. Oh, my Lord. So we got to land on that now, have we? Nice. I like this. Vulnerable. I think I took so long. Pretty nice. Low might there. Oh, we get the uh, the cannons like uh, Ice Breed Saga. Oh, good. It's about only one shot. Okay, so the achievement is to grab all, all of these guys. Do we get a cannon each platform? No. Oh my god, it feels kind of weird the way they like the See there? What happened there? You like judder in one direction or another once you land. I should probably target the back half of the platform, maybe. Oh, it's a big knockdown as well. I kind of want to go onto there. Do you think there's any Aether Blades over there? It's out of range for the leap, so probably not. I like the principle of an achievement that's just kill everything, you know? 
genuinely, I know that might sound uninspired to some people, but sometimes I think simple is the way to go. Oh, I see what they're doing. Orene's going nuts. Why do they all go mad? She's she's unhinged. She's already unhinged. Dude, Orene was legitimately cool there for the first time in a long time. That creepy little giggle. <laughs> that was good, right? Dude, I like Renyak. The dredge is cool as shit, dude. Yeah, I guess they want to ask a question. What if Orene isn't goody two-shoes anymore? It, which is a question I want to see them ask. That's very, very cool. Oh, I can just... Oh, wow. So I wonder what position narratively that puts the deep sea dragon in then. Someone wise enough to have escaped the madness? I doubt that somehow. I'll deal with the Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing, bro? This is some Guild Wars 1 stuff here. Break that break bar. You're vulnerable. That's not fair. Can't believe you fell for that. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there are no prisoners. What am I talking about? Hey, that was really good as well. Well done. Okay, but I want the achievement too, so you know. No Gorek and I'm trapped. Gotta be a way to overload the system. <gasps> oh, no. They tricked me out of the achievement because I'm locked in now. Wait, or... Oh, cool, look, they're literally... They're going back to all kinds of Aetherblade stuff. This is like the uh, Aetherblade hideout fractal. Well, I, I hate that I just said fractal. Let's just say the hideout, because that's where it's from. Maybe overloading all the consoles just opens the doors and doesn't sink the ship, and I still get to kill those guys. Very good opening instance. One more. Now to find the right ship. Oh, they're gone, man. They're gone. Oh, it's alright. I'll do it with Carrie later. Come on. Oh, oh man. This Holy shit, look, she's destroying the ship. Sorry, I was dead, I so I didn't really get to see the animation. Like in a while. What do you mean, in a while? I, surely ever, actually. Well, maybe when she was adolescent, but she had less power back then. It's cool, she put her branding on it. Okay, so the question is, we've got to climb down, right? I, d I guess I don't need to special action to this, but I will. It's a shame that these jumps are a little janky. Ha! Piss off, nice. You know, I always forget that Ritlock says motherfucker in the Ice Cream Saga, which was definitely a big highlight for me, as sad as that is. Um... It's the opening instance. I'm just trying to think about total noobs and outsiders. Like, I don't want them to get the impression that Guild Wars is a janky game, you know. And it is a little janky, the special action in here. Next ship is too far. I have to steer this thing closer. Oh look, it's crashing. Oh my god, she just destroyed them. Okay. I wonder if this is uh, translatable in any way. Reposition. What are the Aether Blades up to, man? Okay, we're flying up. This is right, this tracks that I'm an Asura and I know sort of a little bit how to use these machines and things. This is good. Right? Right? I'm not being insane here. What the hell's going on? Wait, wait, wait. What's the difference between Renyak and Ivan? Which one's... Well, we'll see as we play, I guess. Can you use the controls? Is that going to shoot me past this guy and I'm not going to get the kill? I guess I'll, try, I'll aim for it. Like, why not? How exactly is this going to work at this point, then? Oh, 
Whoa! Holy crap! Oh my god, she destroyed two of them! What a sequence! I like how they still know me as the commander, you know? In season one... Uh, you know, we hadn't built that much of a reputation yet. But word's been getting back, I guess. trying to focus on great swords so we don't mess with the uh we could go to this ship based on the achievement ticker we're near the end of the instance now see like there what was that that was very weird can i glide out of the back of it no i can't wow we missed eight kills Tiny, we're out of the mist can you see our location Some kind of landmass in the distance. Timey? Must be out of comms range. Great. They've d they've drawn this really well. The distant lands. They've done it really well. That's the shores of Canther, right? Oh, what a cinematic opening. If I just sit here, because we are actually moving, right? And I don't use the controls. What will happen eventually? Let's open the world map again now and see where we are. It still says mist. Okay, um... Set the controls. Oh wow, they're sinking. You're still here, Commander. Just in time to see it firsthand. What are we gonna do? Good. She's an enemy. I can go over there. Are they gonna try and plumb the deep sea dragon from the depths? Bye, she says, damn, and she TPs out. Okay. Tick-tock. Interesting. What are we- what are they doing? Because she'd mentioned earlier she has a, an interest in the Elder Dragons. Commander, thank the alchemy. She tortured me. I never broke her neck. They couldn't get a word out of me. Oh, yeah, those two bitches on the, the deck of the ship. They're the two that I miss. Qualify for Lion's Arch, it says. The achievement is for Lion's Arch. Okay, Gorik, I got you, dude. I can't believe Anka would do this. Joining the Aether Blades? Kidnapping? Uh, what's gotten into her? Dude, we can talk about her later. Right now, we have to get off this ship. Dude, is she used to be so nice. Sorry about that, Gorik. Uh, now, not so much. Anka, our people are on that ship. Hold fire. Just taking a little initiative, Captain. Oh, she's friendly firing. Champion, I'm coming. Meet me on the deck. Oh, I'm there, Commander. My train. My Trin comes across as a good guy right now. Very, very, like, nice and so on. Also, Gorik, you used to be in the inquest. Of course you understand what she's doing. Oh, my God. Okay, here you go. This is the extraction. This is what I said. I mean, you, I, they, tell, they tip their hand on this in the Eye of the North. There is a problem, and I handled it. Commander, I think we're going down. Whoa. So there you go, yeah. Aureen's going to lose her powers, I think, here at the start. As soon as they started talking about Joko's Lich stuff earlier, I thought that's, that has to be the breadcrumb. And yeah, my train, I'm thinking uh, not, not such a bad person right now. Oh, dude, d the detective finds us straight away. Oh, this is cool. This is a good opener. What stuff on the beach? Oh my god, the mocap. Dude, is this what Guild Wars cutscenes are going to look like from now on? Oh, it's good, isn't it? Oh, it went a little bit iffy and simish. Wow, look at the lighting there, the rays and stuff. Oh my god, I wonder how many cutscenes they have like that in the expansion. 
Whilst the news of the dead man might not probably stick us in more detail. The hell are they anyway? Search me. Those teeth, those ears. Ooh. Ah, <laughs> race specific those dialogue. Ears can hear you. Uh, <laughs> Gorix won't have been, but the fact they referenced I me as the same know. race as him. The detective will have an update when it's all sorted out. Sit tight. Unacceptable. I want my comms call. We have a right to counsel. This is very good right now. Not here, you don't. Oh, thank the commander. You're awake. You've been out for uh, so oh, much time. You won't believe where we... Uh, oh. Slow down. Okay, first things first. We're in a pickle. Oh, I can see that. After Amnoon, I swore I'd never go back in. One time, unfortunate misunderstanding. Two times, I start to question myself. Prison changes you. I'm not built <laughs> when he was in the glass commander. cellar, Amnoon. There's Amnune. still so much to learn. So much science to be done. Never even got a chance to tell. <sighs> Dude, the map looks good out there. I cell, you hear me? I won't. Jail my body, but my mind is free. Okay, okay. Calm down, everyone. Think. Scrap metal. If we find some, we can hone it into a what is it? Uh, wow, a ship. he's talking a lot. We have to establish dominance. <laughs> find the biggest, most intimidating inmate and stab him in the carotid artery in front of the whole cafeteria. Oh, but if we do, then what have we become? Are we monsters, Commander? And were we all along? Maybe prison doesn't change you. I'm sure I should be doing Maybe something while he rambles, you. but I'm going to no. let him go. We do what we must to stay alive. In the insect world, there is no morality. Only the strongest survive. Look how good and the map so looks out there. We. Chain link fence we effect, like real hardcore. As, beetle, as deadly as the mantis, as resilient as the roach. <laughs> it just keeps going. Dude, uh, what did I say? The Zayim prison sequence is one of the best right, bits of Guild Wars ever. And this is just like it. Up. Dude, I'm not going out just yet because I've got stuff to talk about and things to do. Wow, I could have interacted with all kinds of stuff, right? And tried to find my own way out if I wasn't obsessed with Gorik's dialogue. Okay, I just want to uh, say one little thing. Um, there were two leaks before this expansion came out. One was the trailer with the, uh, the dragon in it. The other thing was there was actually uh, what they call a macro influencer. Someone who was given access to cover Guild Wars was probably paid a ton of money to do it, right? Um, uh, was given early access and they were uh, a couple of days ago streaming End of Dragons a few days ago uh, on Twitch and the news got to me and I did watch a little bit of it so a tiny moment of that airship instance we were in a second ago a tiny moment I really had very little other context I had actually already seen before so I did just want to be honest about that um, but before that person got to finish their stream uh, they pulled it down because they realized they were breaking NDA and stuff. But yeah, it was a thing and I couldn't talk about it until now. But yeah. Uh, okay, I've got to read. Is this Gorik's journal? <laughs> There's a journal here. It looks like they've been letting Gorik work through his anxiety by taking notes. <laughs> God. Day one. Oh, see, Blish is getting mentioned a lot. Jade Bot Blish is totally a thing. I'm telling you guys now. Dear Blish. I'm recording this for posterity. If I die in here, at least my thoughts will live on. Free from the uh, chains of a corrupt system. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Kidnapped by someone I considered a friend. Someone I... No, it's too much to think about. And now I'm the one behind bars. If there's justice in this world, it's sorely lacking in wherever I am. I have to say, the prison cell he was in in Amnoon, that tiny little glass box, was a lot worse than this. But maybe they only did that to drag him before the council. Uh, it's lonely here. The commander's out cold, and the guards seem irritated by my questions. So I decided to write to the one person I could always talk to. Just wish you were really here. You always knew what to do. Gorik. Who's he, who's he addressing this to? Oh, Blish, of course, right. Um, oh, the one person he could talk to, Blish. What's going through my mind right now is how Kazmir and Marjorie get to the continent. Dear Blish, the commander's still holding on. Today the guards brought in some bizarre device. It seems to be aiding the recovery processes. I think you'd find it fascinating, as I do. It emits a green light. Strange, but oddly captivating. I'm writing this entry under its eerie glow. I asked the guards about it, but they weren't too keen on chatting. I'll go get, try to get more out of them tomorrow. Day 7. Dear Blish. I'm starting to lose it. I swear the walls are closing in. 
Don't know how much more I can take of this isolation. Treated worse than an ant searching for a spare crumb or a scrap of... Ooh, lunch is here. Smells delicious. Oh, and they gave me an extra fruit on my dessert today. I always like the little flower they put on the serving tray. It's a sweet personal touch. We'll write again if I'm not too weak and malnourished to hold a pen. Okay, so he's just being dramatic. They're actually really good captors, and they're just trying to figure out what to do with us. These guys are not bad, but Gorik has such crazy anxiety, he can't see the wood from the trees. Dear Blish, so we've been in here for nine days. You don't think Tommy's mad at me, do you? At least not, not that mad. Not if she's too busy being worried about me. But that means I'm making her worry. Somehow that feels worse than making her mad. Wow, we've all been there, right? Uh, day question mark, question mark, question mark. You're not keeping a tally, dude? Uh, dear Blish, the guard said that the commander's condition is improving. He's still unconscious, though. This will sound silly, but sometimes, when no one else is here, I chat with the commander. I know it's one-sided, but in a way, that makes saying what I really want uh, to say easier. Um, what I really want to easier. I think having the commander as a friend is good for me. Since we started working together, I felt a little braver, more confident, comfortable. And I haven't felt like that since, well, since you were around. And I said all this last night in one of our little chats. I'm glad the commander won't ever know how sappy I sounded. I'd be so embarrassed. Missing everyone extra hard tonight. Especially you. Don't worry, I think the commander's lived through a lot of sappiness since the end of season four. What with everyone telling each other they love each other all the time. Okay, not all the time, but yeah. Uh, hey, thanks very much for the donation in the live chat there, Full Brumby. I, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. This is too engaging, lol. Almost forgot about Super Chats. Well, thank you very much. Um, uh, so there you go. So that's the end of his book. All right. Man, I wonder what all these other little things said. Just something in my next playthrough, I guess. Wow. And we're out. Time's up. Uh, are we being executed? What? What's the matter with you? Your friends negotiated your release. Our friends? <sighs> Follow me. And no funny business. You're still in my custody. Officer, Be may I ask your name? Rama. Detective Rama. He was called the Big Hatted Man my for a name second. Is Gork. Yeah, I'm an I don't need your life story. You washed up on my beach. Give me a crap ton of paperwork. I. Truth is, I have at times been quite at odds with the law. In fact, I was charged with bioterrorism in Amnoon. He grew a beetle in his arm. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, it's good, Getting man. Busy, By the way, Akane? gun saver. Best internship ever. All right, you two. Release forms. By signing this, you affirm that the Ministry of Security has treated you fairly and humanely, that you've suffered no unreasonable bodily harm during your arrest and detainment. You first, bioterrorist. Wait, define bodily harm. I stubbed my toe last night. Uh -huh. Sign the damn form. <laughs> this is really good, man. <laughs> I'll tell you, Guild Wars is the funniest MMO. Yeah. No, he yeah. has to climb on the desk. <laughs> he literally jumped on the desk to do it. Very good. i got to speak to Akane over here. Hello. What are you writing there? Wait, there's a, the, a reading book animation. Is that new? That's really quite inter interesting. Okay, I will not do that. I will come around the other side of the table. Actually, yeah, I'll come around the other side of the table. You can collect your personal effects from the box there. Okay, thank you. We hope you enjoyed your stay at the Xingjie Detention Center. Now, if you'll follow me. I Akane. like the kind of Hold traditional robe we were in Roger before. That. Xingjie? I was trying to tell you, Commander. The airship crash landed in. Kantha, come for the waters, stay for the hospitality. Been a while. Did you miss us? Kantha? I don't know what to say. Only been 114 years. Not like you had time to prepare something. Um, a bit of meta commentary there about the 10 year gap, I guess. Uh, they've specifically got the music cut off right now to create a what vibe. What the alchemy is that? Security mech or something. I can't keep up with all the new tech. Curiously reminiscent of our golems. Has Kantha been trading with Radisoon? Which part of we've been closed to the outside world for over a hundred years did you not understand? And... We're here. ArenaNet presents. Welcome to Kantha. Holy shit! Good opening. They've really learned about the camera, eh? Since season four and they, the early signs of it. Crichton Ambassador is waiting for you, and our Minister of Security wants to speak with you after. 
Wow. Dude, that, so there's a suggestion there that a lot of the JTEC is very new. And, you know, some people, like Rama, are uh, Minister Lee here, by the way, quietly in the side. He's a big character, isn't he? He's also a gun saber user. Maybe he'll talk to us in a second. Check out the Minister. Ministry of Security Guard. A member of the Tengu? <laughs> this is awesome. Look at that guy. Wow. Uh, this male, is this you guys or is this an NPC? It's, it's you guys. Oh, it's someone wants an invite to the NA Spud Club. You're lucky because we have like four slots left. So yes, you can. Oh no, I sent out like like five people asked for invites to Spud Two earlier. And um, by the way, I have Guild Chat off for the purpose of this Let's Play because you know if we've got 150 people just on NA, and then on EU we've got 250. Nearly 300 people. You know, there's like 400 spuds online right now. The chat hopefully is going wild, but I, I didn't want that spamming the thing constantly. Uh, but yeah, so there are a few slots left in NA. And um, yes, we'll do Guildhall captures and decoration and so on. Kaz, Jory, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I... Have you heard anything about Aureen? Is she... She's fine. Recovering. Don't worry. Case with her. You'll see her soon. It's okay to take a moment to find your bearings. After we heard about what happened, we were so... <sighs> anyway, took a little while, but it all worked out. Sort of. Uh, I'm still missing some pieces. How did you find us? Find you? You kind of caused... A hot, steaming mess of a circus show? An international incident. Jenna sent me to Smooth Feathers. Nice, ton of phrase. no way would I let Jory miss the opportunity of a lifetime. Don't know about that. Not like I ever expected to see this place. But sure, if you say so. You know it is. Commander, there'll be time to catch you up, but that man wanted to speak to you. That man. Okay, no bonus dialogue. Then please, Arena, let learn how- Look, don't put this cursor on there if there's no dialogue. Just keep it as the regular cursor. You learned this in season two and- oh. All right. I'll just spend the whole expansion spamming F on everyone just in case. Oh my god, Flunt's here. Dude, <laughs> I hope they just fob him off. I've forgotten more than you'll ever know. <laughs> That's some of his classic stuff. Sienna? Wait, does that mean Canuck's here? Didn't they say that Canuck was with Sienna? I guess we'll talk to them in a minute. Wow, Jinlai Jade administra uh, administrator as well. He already reeks of bureaucracy. Hello. So, you're the commander I've been hearing so much about. I guess I am. Lee, Minister of Security. Under the agreement signed, hmm, 20 minutes ago, you've been granted clemency. I imagine I have you to thank for that. Hmm. You are fortunate to have such influential friends. My understanding is you're something of a protector of the realm doing whatever's necessary to keep your people safe. I try to keep all people safe. I see. Well, it is my duty to keep the people of Cantha safe. I'm very good at my job, Commander. I don't doubt you are, Minister. I must return to my duties. Welcome to the sovereign empire of Cantha. Well, Commander, you're almost free of me. But there's one more thing we need to do before I can sign your release. Meet me at the monastery training grounds as soon as you can. There's already a ton of tension Rama, between us. A word. Minister? Any updates on our Aetherblade situation? Unfortunately, no. I've been busy handling our guest of honor. But I'll be back on the case as soon as this is wrapped up. Good. Then maybe we'll finally make some headway. Detective? Oh, it's really cool, isn't it? There's just like this soup of new people and interactions and things to look at. Okay, what we got here? Tale of Adventure. Used for crafting and purchasing items, and daily from each story journal chapter. A daily reward for doing story missions. Am I reading that right? And daily from each story journal chapter. So this is the only one I'll get. They want me to daily do personal story. I actually think as a fundamental, that's a really good idea. Maybe I'm reading that wrong. Old fishing rod. Oh, I get a fishing rod straight away. We get a thousand karma, a wooden lure. We unlock the fishing mastery track. 
This was mixed in with your belongings when they were returned. Rama and Akane don't want it, didn't want it back, so it's yours now. We get a deluxe gearbox and three bags of loot. Oh, this is quite an unser... The first little disappointment here. This is a bit of an unceremonious way to suddenly start the fishing. But okay. You've earned your first mastery point. Thank you. Okay, we can start training this. Fishing hole master. Uh, reduces time to catch at fishing holes and triples the XP gain from fishing there. Adds plus 20 to base fishing power. We're already 7% done with it. No, I'm not going to use any boosters. I'm going to go as slow as possible. Um, so we now have a fishing pole equipped. We can switch to our fishing pole by selecting fishing from the mastery skill menu. Fishing requires bait or a lure to be equipped. Uh, okay. So there's a new button underneath um, weapon swap now. This was described in the patch notes and it's it works like the novelties menu, right? So you see we've got our various novelties, which apparently I can't use in here. But um, that's going to equip, you know, a fishing rod or, or whatever else. And maybe they can leverage that in Season 6 if they're really continuing with the mastery system. To start fishing, use cast line and you target a body of water. So I didn't really like this before because it was it feels too much like Guildhall decorating to me. But we'll see. We'll see for now. Uh, next, what we got? Old friends. A stash of Crimson Skull. Oh my god, Sienna's over there. Is she going to interact with the Crimson Skull? Takes effect immediately upon rece receipt. Uh, it's just a huge amount of Mastery XP. Formerly minted at the notorious Crimson Skull Bandits. These are valued by collectors, scholars, and bandit enthusiasts. This was a Guild Wars 1 drop. Slash currency. I can't remember which one. And we get an End of Dragons Mastery Point that is coloured way too close to the Icebridge Saga ones. Oh my god. And yeah, Ember Doomforge from Ghost of Ascalon is here. And she was in the Icebridge Saga a little bit too. Why is Ember here? She's like the Char representative, I suppose. Wow. So we've got an Elonan representative and a Sura representative. A Char representative. No Norn, no Silvari. Yet, anyway. Hey, Gorik. How's you? How you doing? <laughs> We're free, Commander. What, what now? So, Anka, she's really something. I can't believe that's the same Anka I used to hypothesize with. <laughs> Kidnapping? Murder? Swashbuckling? <coughs> Amy was right. I should have questioned her motives. But hearing from her after so long, it was as if my rational mind short-circuited. <sighs> Much like the ant's brain when infected with a fungal spore. That's one way to put it. Certain people can cloud your judgment. True. Emotions do take over sometimes. Happens to the best of us. And what does she want with Oreen? I needed to brief with Taimi. She's going to yell at me, isn't she? Oh, we've all had that one lady we've loved to hypothesize over, right, everybody? We all feel that. Uh, never thought I'd see Cantha. Agreed. You only crash into a research opportunity like this once in a lifetime. I find their technology fascinating. Like that apparatus you were hooked up to in the cell. I kept asking the guards about it. But they threatened to attach it to my mouth if I didn't stop talking. It's reminiscent of a golem mod Tiny and I were concepting right before I left. <sighs> I hope this debacle didn't cause her too much stress. I um I feel like the the machine augmenting us is kind of sending up some red flags. Like there's something odd about it. Okay, Marj it's kind of like maybe we're going through what I predicted Timey would be going through. If the, if we're event if we're reliant on it somehow, or it's in us somehow, or something's going, and then JTech ends up not being good, it's not going to be a good thing. Uh, how are we on the bingo so far? Uh, I think maybe one or two of the squares have filled in. I think maybe. How are you holding up, Commander? It, it sure has been a wild week. Is everything okay? Your reaction to Kazmi's comment about being here? Yeah. No. I don't know. Is something wrong? It's just... I don't know anything about Kantha. A couple of heirlooms for my grandmother. Recipe or two. Like I said, until a week ago, I never had a reason to imagine any of this. It just wasn't an option. Belinda was the one who was so into her Kanthan heritage. Should have been her here. She would have loved this. Me? I don't care. Tori... I just... I, I didn't realize. Why would you? 
And the thing is, I don't even know why. Isn't that weird? Because it doesn't define you, dude. I, I, it's a real pet peeve of mine. People obsessed with their goddamn heritage. Just be your own person. Do you know what I mean? So I, I kind of love Marjorie here right now. I'm well up for it. Uh, I still don't understand how it is you're here. Well, it's been like nine days, mate. Highly implausible string of events. Out of the blue, a message from Empress Hin. First official communique from Kantha in over a century. Inviting Kryda to re-establish diplomatic relations. Oh, and by the way, do we know anything about foreign airships appearing in their skies and crashing on their beach? Imagine Jenna's face. Imagine everyone's face. When it got to the part about a dragon and a couple of Sora, we put two and two together with Taimi and Kaith. Next thing you know, Ambassador Mead has a new portfolio. And an airship to take her and a delegation to Kantha. Didn't know what to expect with the Risen Armada. No one has dared travel this far into the sea in over a century. Luckily, Zaitan's death seems to have left them a bit disorganized. We managed to slip past them on an airship. Handy having a mesmer aboard. Sorry. So we are still saying there's an armada there. That's awesome. The, I love this idea of an unchained armada just bobbing around out in the water out there. Zaitan's death seems to have left them a bit disorganized. Very good. I'm very, very good. I'm well. This is good exposition here. Um. Okay, so that was all Marjorie dialogue, right? So the Kazmir dialogue. Well, you're in the clear. One less thing for me to worry about. How's the new job going then? It's not boring. <laughs> Lots to learn. But I'm starting to get a feel for this diplomacy thing. I've already met several officials open to discussion. Of course, you can get some who are hesitant about Kantha opening. Don't lose sleep over a few jerks still stuck in the past. Negotiation does take dealing with all kinds. Stubborn certainly is a kind. But you'll hold your own. Uh, have you learned anything from our new about our new heist? I'm a little rusty on my Canthan history, but things seem different from what I would have expected. Well, there was a tsunami when Zaitan arose. A lot of Kainang was destroyed. Uninhabitable. Maybe worse than Lion's Arch. Apparently filthy with Risen. Zaitan, of course. Which led to a rebellion against the Ministry of Purity. Pretty bloody one, too. Massive civil war. Why would that lead to a rebellion? Who knows how long. Sounds like things were pretty bad until some Tengu holdouts joined up. Turn the tide. Maybe. Still trying to piece it all together. But yeah, not exactly what we expected. Huh? But where would the fun be in that? I think there's a lot of fun in that. What? Oh, well, let's not get into it. Um, Who else is here? Well, quite a few members of Dragon's Watch. Kaith, Taimi, plus several Tyrian ambassadors. Siana, Amber Doomforge, Mirren Skilkin. I don't know that last name. And some others. Snargle Goldclaw. <laughs> the guy who writes romance literature? Still, we're in impressive company. It's a little intimidating. You're not exactly lacking accomplishments, my dear. Gods, the past few months alone. I just want to do a good job. Make a solid name for myself. I'd say you've done that. I'm impressed. And a little intimidated. Myrune was the Norn shaman dude with Bram during the Icebreed Saga. Right, okay. Thanks for all your help. Okay, I really want these guys to talk, man. What is this? Talk to me, baby. Let's go. Ah. Oh. Mm. Dude, they've done something with my move speed here as well. They've specifically slowed me down, right? To like a, a, some kind of pace between running and walking. Just to keep it immersive and feeling normal. Oh my lord. And here we are, guys. <laughs> Side tongue. God damn. Okay. Um... Let's dip out. Okay, <clears throat> tiny. They've released the commander. Gorg, too. Good. I look forward to telling Gorak how much of a choy of brain he was for trusting Anka. To be fair, we all agreed to the plan. Yeah, if by agreed you mean went along with it, but told you the whole time it was a bad idea. Yeah, but you're right. 
We did. Still, he and I are gonna have a talk. The Commander, Aureen found herself a nice little sea cave to rest up in. She'd love for you to come by. I hitched a ride with a local fisherman. If you don't mind answering a few nosy questions, I bet you can too. Don't forget, you need to meet with Detective Rama as well. Okay, so find a fisherman to guide me to Aureen's cave. Talk to Rama at the trading grounds. Okay, I, of course it's night time. We did just get a good amount of daytime vibe, I suppose. Oh, look, look, this is just high enough that you can't jump over it. That's good as well, I like that. Um, oh god, Christ, so I'm in it now. I wonder what I want to do. Oh, we got some benches. I can sit with this player. Hello. I, uh, I actually went so far as to set up all of my novelties here, by the way, see? I got the bench of the final judge, all right, because it kind of fits my necro theme. Um... I picked up the Hovering Mad Mirror for all those times we want to use that classic mount experience, you know, and uh, show everyone our enormous Asuran ears. And the other on theme I did, I got the bass guitar, because a necro playing bass is awesome. I've got the sound muted at the moment. And then I also picked up for the playthrough... The, uh, the Wraith with the Scythe, but there's definitely some kind of issue going on with some textures and things in the game, because this looks too, like, greyed out or something. Okay, uh, Jade Tech Offensive Protocol. You've encountered Jade Technology that requires a bot to make use of. Unlock the Jade Bot Mastery Line to obtain a Jade Bot. You can do this as soon as you progress through the end of Dragon's story. Okay. Um, we have another mail. It's a uh, request for Spud EU again. Hold on. Let's actually click it so it de-highlights. Oh, no. This person's in NA. Okay, you can definitely join. You know, I've got a really overwhelming temptation to end the video here and kick up a part two. But I guess that would just be tedious and annoying for people. We'll just keep going. And, I mean, pick, kick, kick, up, kick up a part two instantly. But it feels like that's the end of part one right there. You know, about an hour in and then you get to the X back itself. I want to go back towards the cells and stuff. Peasants sweeping up the leaves. Nice new flowers. Guy running around with a command attack for no reason. Guy repairing a, a jade bot. So do you, you know, do stuff after work? Like, do you have any friends? <laughs> or a life? Little workplace tip. Don't ask your boss about their personal life. Especially not your first week. And yes, I have a life. I'm engaged. I do stuff. But work's been busy lately, and... <coughs> Excuses. And I have plans this week. Hot pot with a friend. He just moved back to Xingjie, and... We're gonna catch up. I should probably let him know. I'm guessing this is gonna feel a lot more like American corporate workplace culture than any kind of like East Asian traditional vibe <laughs> as we go through this. We've got a Jade server, enhances allies. I like their hats and things. What's that in the water? There's a lotus. Oh, so new gathering stuff out in the water. No gathering tools equipped. Well, shit. <laughs> oh, so fishing rod doesn't appear there then, obviously. Okay, hold on, hold on, because it's got its own tab. Um, let me just pop a personal merchant here. And let's buy one of each of these. I do have infinite ones or whatever, but let's play the game normally. So we just get lotus root. Okay, I suppose that makes sense. We've got the fish, actually. The koi here. Look, straight up just koi out in the water. <laughs> this actually reminds me a lot of a hotel I went to in the summer. <laughs> With the bridge across the pond and everything. Except that one was like ludicrously dirty and it looked like a ton of the fish were about to die or something. Like the it was way, way, way overstocked or something. It looked horrible. But you did have these really lovely moments where you could walk on these wood little wooden bridges and look down and see a bunch of fish beneath you. 
Oh, is there no way for me to get out except to the designated areas? That's kind of cool. Obviously, I could spring her. But let's try and refrain from using the mount. Well, how does End of Dragons work? Do, do I just unceremoniously already have? No, you you unlock the, the raptor from a place, don't you? You unlock the springer from a place. The survivors of the crash have been released from prison following their sudden and impromptu arrival in Cantha. Humanitarians cheer while others are more hesitant. Should they be allowed free reign or be kept under a watchful eye? Oh, our first little hologram. Apparently, we'll update as we go through all the story. Got a peasant sweeping up the office now. No one's really around in here. A battery, which I can't collect, right? Because I don't have a bot. I really think the bot adds a lot to this expansion. Um, on the mastery front. I mean, I said that a ton of times already. I wonder what the offensive protocol does. Okay, so that's just... Uh, so, well, let, let's be clear. What is this place? This is just called Saitung Prison. It looks like there's a cool-ass courtyard out on the other side of it. How did they get out there? Is that an exit there? Oh, it is. No, no, no. That's the room I was just in. So, is it the other side? This command attack here. Where is it? Oh, I guess he went out and down like that. I didn't think I saw another exit. Oh, I like the little fountain there. Well, oh, I say fountain. Oh, no collision on it. Okay. I'll gloss over that. Not a big deal. More people uh, sweeping up. This is where we were in jail. Can I go back in? Oh. Collision on that. I, I guess there's supposed to be a door. A shut door rendered there. Oh, look. They have Aether Blades in jail. They have Aether Blades in there. Keep walking, sunshine. Not interested. Good to see you, Bram. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's that? A spider hatchling in there as well? Oh. And there's a speaker saboteur in, in jail as well. I like how there's jade even on the benches in here. No, it really looks like... Blue forms in the green folder? Green forms in the beige folder? What would they do without me? I don't know, but it sounds like that's unnecessarily convoluted. Anything to interact with in here? Oh, I feel like VOF came out and I'm in Am Noon, like looking in all the little environments. Except it's a little bit better because we can sit on chairs and stuff now too. I got that exact same vibe of my first first wandering around Am Noon. See, this is what I would write. You know all like pre-release footage and stuff? I would rather have done this. Would it really have been so bad to have had a little tour like this? Got a cat. Dragonfly. Uh, and we can't jump over these, right? So, oh no, you can. If you hit the corner, just right. Man, the game feels so much better with no mounts, I'm telling you. Like, I saw that bird up there, and it was like, oh, I wonder how I get up there. And then there was this horrible bit of my brain that just clicked and said, oh, I can spring her. But then I sort of fought it off and said, no, 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 no spring her. I like this, this, wheel, this wheelbarrow thing. Mm. The slats look awesome here, too. Another battery. Some kind of, this looks like you could do crafting here or something. I love the paint. The appearance of the paint on all the walls and things. Man, it's so colourful, isn't it? Jesus, so colourful. Herb seedlings. I'm not going to bother with those. Which is disappointing, but you know, they don't... They're not going to drop anything new, and the whole cooking side of the games obviously just isn't valid. as large other swathes of it, so... There's a potato. I will get the potato. Oh, this is lovely. There's a fountain near this tree. Oh, I like the music as well. Let's try and turn up. The music's very subtle and quiet. Or at least I feel like it is. Oh man, I'm really into this song actually. Oh, no, 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 the gate swinging open and shut. There's a lot of little details on there, too. It's 
So we're around the back of the prison now. I like the sense of this old wall here too. A fanged deer. No faceplate for this. This is like what I found outside of Echovald. Real good demo of uh, Reaper Eye attacks there. Oh, I love sort of wading through this bamboo forest. Another fanged deer. It's not too good. Look how high the grass is. Okay, so there's an event here now. Deliver the goods to the appropriate recipients. Crate shipments. Oh, this will be the event they showed us uh, earlier, right? Um, like the first Xingji stream. Let's get the Vista. Oh, can I speak to Sienna and stuff now? Oh, I can. Okay, awesome. Hold on. Vista first. I think we'll probably miss the event. That's probably the one where you can, like, mount and stuff. The frames are holding. For how dense this is, how much stuff there is on screen, the frames are doing really well. End of Dragon's Vista viewer. View a vista in one of the following locations. Always on the lookout for a good view. And we get a chest of the Canthan hero. This is like daily chest? That's like a Canthan daily I just did. I get a bit of karma from it. Lieutenant Francis. An ugly player. Okay. I can't believe you're here. It's so cool. Commander, uh, glad to see you here, no matter the circumstances. Incredible, isn't it? Even during my Corsair days, I never dreamed I'd make my way to Canther. What brought you here? I'm the official representative of the Republic of Elona here in Canther. Oh, that's going to be the name for the Empire then. Zaim apparently thinks that since I helped broker peace between the Joko's loyalists and the Sun Spears, I can do anything. So she's on Zaim's behalf. Zaim himself won't be here. How are things in Elona? Better than it was under Joko, but not without conflict. The work we began at the summit of Jahai continues and will for a good long time. Is anyone else from Alona here? A few were allowed to accompany me as attendants, and a few others joined as representatives of the Crystal Bloom. You know the type. They'll follow Aureen wherever she goes. Oh, this is good. I, I, you know why this line is here, right? You know why they're drawing... They're inviting you to question that behavior, and they're inviting you to question that behavior because a big thing, this expansion, is Aureen's losing it. Um, and have people been treating you well? I'm as mistrusted as any other foreigner, which has been refreshing, actually. No one seems to care that I'm awakened. Canthans know the dead sticking around is not always something to be feared. Hey, yeah, I'm really looking forward to stuff. Unchained afflicted ritualists envoys all that stuff i guess that's something you share that's really nice i, I hope to see more that i get uh, there's a strange feeling in my gut that we might not have too much more than that in the whole expansion between those two societies of people but who knows who knows maybe there is a good amount okay so the event's over unfortunately there's a meta event the aether blades are currently taking a break to strategize the meta event aether blade assault I don't like that feeling in Guild Wars where you see a, a meta far away and it kind of ruins the vibe of the exact moment and feels like you're under like some kind of rush or something. Or at least I always get that, you know. Right now, I've had no inclination that Aether Blades are active and blah, 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 but the meta kind of betrays that. Should we do a Raptor Taxi? Should I just go bombing off and do a Raptor Taxi? No, 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 hold on, hold on. I'll get some, uh, I'll, I'll get some of the exploration here, but I'm totally going to use a raptor taxi. I'm going to pretend I don't have any mounts, man. Oh, no, it's a siege turtle. Hello. Dude, and he's, like, working on it. Good touch. Getting people excited about what's coming up later. Please don't get too close. He gets a bit tense when he's in a new place. Oh, my apologies. Hmm. 
This is awesome. I'm sure someone can tell me more about this. This reminds me of, um, what was that Korean horror movie I watched once? And I hardly understood it because it was so hmm. steeped in, like, mythology I had no understanding of. Oh, look, it's a crane. Great partner. Good for your health. Makes you feel all warm and fuzzy. Hell yeah, I had soup for dinner today. I'll have some soup. Oh, there's no... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Dwarven crafting specialist. 32 slot bags. Hold on. Why is this dwarven crafting? This is a cowrie saddle bag. So this is materials and upgrade components. Generic. Weapons and armor. This is an invisible bag. A courier's saddle bag. Why would, what's the idea of the the leather pannier? Hamasine, marshals. Grey market diamond exchange. Oh my god, this brings me back to POF. What was going on with uh, POF? It was this, right? This is just POF stuff. Because weren't some of these, um, like the black diamonds and stuff, they were drops that had no use, so they added conversion. Isn't that the thing? It's a wheelbender here, Seijong. Greetings, friends. Don't think I've seen you in this part of Xingji before. Are you a guardian? I don't see your flames. As a wheelbender, we don't show our flames until we act. And by then, it's too late for the enemy. Oh, so a bit of that assassin -y kind of sneakiness. Uh, what's a wheelbender? Sounds daunting. We are the fated guardians to the Canton throne. I love that description, the fated guardians. And those deemed Wei no Su. It's an honor for the uh, for those chosen to serve. It's tradition. So do you have... Do you know an Oracle of the Mists? I've never heard of them before. For a long while, we functioned predominantly in the shadows. As protectors of the Canton throne, we moved in secret, disposing of the Empire's enemies swiftly and quietly. A little bit close to the Order of Whispers, I think, but... In terms of creativity. What makes a Warbender different from, say, other Guardians? While wheelbenders are indeed protectors, we're more brutal. Some call us the hands of the throne, or the emperor's sword. I wish I could say to her, was Shiro Tagachi what you'd consider a wheelbender? And she'd say something like, not necessarily, but I can see the similarities or whatever. Offhand swords. Fascinating. My friend has a good eye. An offhand sword is the quickest and easiest weapon to reach for on a whim. We sense a threat and we quell it. That doesn't leave much room for defense, I gather. It's true, though, when pressed, we can hold our own against the toughest of foes. We also use physical abilities to bolster our lethality. Tell me about your virtues. How do they compare to other guardians? Well, we hold our virtues and our flames until the time is right, projecting ourselves around the battlefield with them. Uh, we support our allies by killing their foes. <laughs> so we don't support very much. Uh, well, what are you doing here? Between friends? I heard there were newcomers to the land and wanted to get a first-hand look at the new hairstyles. It's simply fascinating. Also, I'm assessing potential new threats to the city. Well, I have great hair at least. Why are you keeping an eye... Uh, what are you keeping an eye out for? It's just what we do. We look out for trouble. We protect these lands. Our people help out whenever we can. It's a wellbender's duty to keep Canther safe. Good amount of dialogue. Nice. Who are you? Junalai Jade, sales associate, research merchant. How can Generalize Jade enhance your life today? Perhaps you've come, uh, you've got some research notes to trade? What are research notes? Well, they're an essential part of modern crafting, especially with Generalize Jade technology. You can use them to help you craft new items or trade them to me for our recipes and upgrades. So where do I get them? You can make them. Generalize Jade sells research kits at every affordable price. Sorry, at a very affordable price. They deconstruct old crafted items to generate research notes. Well, what if I don't craft? Well, they're still useful to trade for jade bot module upgrades. Any old crafting item. Okay. So hydrocatalytic reagents. Which we're spending 50 research notes on. There's a decoration, the workbench. That's going to cost 300. Skiff supercharger. So these are all jade bot things. More jade bot things. Armors. Jade Tech Curis. Gauntlets, helmet. So there's a Jade Tech armor set now, is there? I guess I could look in my um, wardrobe at it, but we'll do that later. 
So this is dragon stat stuff, which I automatically have. So this all feels very underwhelming to me. Jade sliver recycling. Well, I'll need jade slivers to buy these. Not sure how I feel about this right now. This feels messy, but probably because it's just new to me. I'm just kind of sensitive about that because I think that uh, POF did a really bad job. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to prejudge any of that. This is really nice. Makes me remember Suru from the original uh, faction series 10 years ago, everyone. Ancient Amber Grease. Mini Thunder Shrimp. Blue Crab. Hermit Crab. Since we can't have them as pets, it's nice to have them here. Oh, they're big too. They're quite big. And that one's just a uh, thing. Flawless fish. A nice little fillet of fish there. Okay, so they're just extra tabs. Nice choice. Giant tuna was caught fresh this morning. My daughter will be thrilled. Your tuna is her favorite. Well, she has excellent taste. It's Tengu Gorik. Classic design, though. Which I quite like. They've actually done so many new designs of Tengu at this point that I'm really fascinated. receiving reports of violent disturbances in Xinjiang following the airship crash outside of the monastery. Minister Li is putting together a task force investigating a severe uptick in crime throughout the region. We will continue to monitor the situation as the Ministry conducts their investigations. I wonder how many variations they have on that, because I haven't progressed the story since the last time the hologram came up. This looks awesome. Look at the scale of that. Am I not allowed in? I I'm, I'm drifting now. Oh, I can. Oh, ho, ho. it's Zen Daijun, dude. Oh, have we got to go to where Yuzhou died? Oh, well, not necessarily where he died, but where we found the afflicted Yuzhou. Hold on, though, because I think a raptor taxi might take us up there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And let's get a little... Look at the events up again now. Let's go do the event. Uh, actually, pretty frame, pr pretty big frame hit in this area for me, but for what it's worth. I'm, I'm below 60. God, that sounds so privileged, doesn't it? I just want you guys to have 60, because that's what I'm putting on YouTube, you know. So I feel it if it dips. It was just that specific view there. Oh, it's a different event. Find the toys taken by the pale spirits. Children's toys and time before the spirits disappear. But what is the spirit? Who can teach me about the... Who can give me... Oh, what's this? What game is this? Anyone in the live chat know what game this is? I love how that's not just a flat texture, but the, the pieces are actually 3D pieces on the top of it. Look how good that looks. Anyway, the event's got a while, so I don't think I have to rush. A distressed kid. Hey, do you want do you want a board game? Wow. It's cool to see totally new like human models and stuff. Including children models, you know. Like lots of variety. Who can teach me about what's going on with this event? There's just a pale spirit here with a brake bar. How do I kill it? With brake bar damage or? So this one dropped. What is this, Jenga or something? <laughs> I'm sure it's not Jenga. I'm sure it's all really cool real world referencing like Korean stuff that I just don't know. So we can give him that. I wonder if NCSoft had anything to do with ArenaNet's decision to really hone in on Korea rather than any other or many other uh, East Asian nations and cultures and... player over here. It's a Mirage. Oh, wow. Did they change the Mirage mirror visual? That's totally different, isn't it? Wait, or is that just a part? No, that's his Mirage mirror, yeah. Did they change the graphics for Mirage mirrors? Pretty cool if they did. Whoa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Eat my dragon stats. So these guys don't seem to do... Oh, here we go. Here's a toy. Another toy over here. What's this one? <laughs> is that a copper... Oh, what, what, what is that? <laughs> what am I thinking of? What's that game where you've got like a cup and you and there's like a string and a ball and you just got to put the ball in the cup, right? It's not the most basic game ever. Uh, is it the same kids? Just get... Oh, by the way, no, 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 it's a little theatre thing. I wonder if anything triggers there. Here, kid. How many toys do you need? We've got five minutes to collect the last toys for her. Now, what happens if we both press F? Cool, it does the thing. This happens sometimes in Guild Wars where it gives both people the item. You know, greases the wheels. So I'm not annoyed that he took it from me. You can essentially duplicate the item, but they're happy for it to happen. According to the mini map, oh, there's new music here. I think, anyway. Did we hear this music before? Is it just cup and ball? Is that what the, the game's called? Ball in a cup? <laughs> yo, yo, no. Trust me, I'm talking about something a lot jankier and sillier than that. Alright. Someone else will contribute this last one. I want to stand near her to see, see what she says. What is it hitting me? It's just another sprite. So there's a mechanist. He's already going for it. All right, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up. The Ministry of Trade has started new investigations following a series of complaints about malfunctioning Jade Tech. A representative from Chunmai spoke earlier this week on the topic, labeling the dangerous malfunctions as isolated events. Wait, wait, wait. I, I was this. I was fascinated by that, but I didn't really absorb any of the information. The Ministry of Trade has started new investigations following a series of complaints about malfunctioning Jade Tech. There are only isolated events. That's going to be a big thing going forwards for sure. My parents were going to be so mad. If you're not careful, they'll swipe your stuff. And then you have to find it or it disappears forever. Talk to me. Can you help me find my toys? They disappeared and I really need them. We just did help you. The Aether Blade's still taking a break to strategize. So the spirits are just kind of hanging around and doing things, you know, and it's just sort of known about and so on. Okay, um... I want to go down to the dock now. Should I just jump down or...? Walk down. We've got to go to the dock and have a little bit of a look at the fishing. Unless there's like some big badass house that I haven't seen here, but I think I, I think I've seen all the places. Do you want to speak? No. Oh, the seagulls sounding good, eh? Oh, there's a zip line up there, dude. Give me a jade bot. I'll take a zip line up there. Um. Hold on, let's go to... Who is that? Someone's waiting to speak to me. There's a fisherman. Let's go speak to that fisherman. Should I swim over? Oh, let's actually get a look underwater. Still feels like classic. He's fed for a lifetime. Just hope he likes fish. <laughs> Just hope he likes fish, okay. Maybe we can get up on this skiff. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Hello. You're the one needing a lift out to the sea caves? Your friend said you might be by. I'm happy to give you a lift whenever. Odd one, uh -huh. that friend of yours. Smart, but in a kind of unsettling way. I can take you there quickly if you like. Not yet. Well, I want to talk to Rama. Where is Rama? He's on the other side, though. Wait, what, what's the idea here? Is, is Rama also where I want to go? Or is it a totally... Are we branching here? Look, I want to... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. i got to get on the raptor now. we got to get on the raptor. Dude, look at this thing as well. This reminds me a little bit of that thing in Stormblood in uh, Final Fantasy. That giant, like, force field that you, uh, you do a bit of the story to break through. There's a new tree there as well we can cut down. Nah, crowds are already a nightmare. Now it'll be full of visitors too. Might be interesting to check it out. 
There'll be people from all over Tyria. I'll pass. Getting claustrophobic just thinking about it. Dude, there's a player here fishing. I'll fish with you, dude. Okay, hold on. Let's fish. There's too many things I want to do. Hold on. Can I fish or do I, I have to equip the, the rod? It's already equipped, right? Where is it demonstrated to have been equipped? In fishing, I guess. Fishing. Bait and lures both increase your fishing power, which helps reduce the difficulty of catching fish. Fishing supply vendors all around Kant have more of them for sale. So because I have no bait, I can't fish? Is that is that what they're telling me? Requires bait or a lure to be equipped. A land dweller. Surprising. It's rare to see your kind out here. I take it water does not frighten you, but perhaps it should. Unlike you, I sense the malice in these changing tides. A threat that should concern us both. Sorry, what is that dialogue? There's a... A Leviathan was speaking to me. What? What is this? Fad al Eshadi. Dude, I gotta go over there. Adolescent Leviathan. Time until the Leviathan's eaten its fill. We gotta go over there. Oh, it's so far away, though. Screw the fishing. What is this? There's a Leviathan? He's got a cool name. Oh, there's a hot spot there. I'm just swimming. We, ha we got no skiff yet. We got no mounts. This is it. Oh, it looks good. Nice, open. Oh, look, 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 look. I can see its spines. Oh, I'm getting pushed away, though. Let me on the shore. Was that him that specifically did that to me? Or is that some kind of skiff-only water idea? There's a jade tech chest here. There's no players out here, right? This is a group event. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, no, 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 he does. He can, like, push everyone away when he slaps his tail. Whoa, whoa. Naga Venom Caller. Nice. There are Kappa Pests. Oh, some players on a skiff. Wait, let me aboard. <laughs> let me aboard, please. I'll fight him. Oh, this is the guy from the trailer, right? This is... Let me aboard! Oh, wait, it's an NPC! GTL. GTL. I'm begging you, GTL. Let me... Oh. 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 <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I've missed it. Oh, there's Sea of Thieves all over again. Dude, we gotta get a look at this. Oh, shit. Something tells me this is a bad idea. I'm the commander, bitch. Let's do it. He's not trying to eat me or anything. He's got thick skin. I've got 1% damage. The thing is, I'm not a comedy build, so I'm stuck with spear. Okay, so the dialogue is saying, um... Who's speaking? It's a Lagos! Of course it's a Lagos! The goddamn name should have tipped me off! Say Al Rajid, look, it's a Lagos! Oh my god, that's one of the bingo squares! There's a Lagos hunting this Leviathan! That's so cool! Dude! 
They say, careful, it may strike soon. It's zeroing in on you. Back away. Its scales are too strong to pierce with weapons. You have to find a more direct way to attack its vitals. It seems to be consuming everything in sight. Could we use its hunger to our advantage? So what, you're meant to bait it into eating something? It's a Lagos, and it's getting swarmed by Naga and stuff. Fahad al Heshadi. Dude. You have to go inside it. There's a way to get in it. It's a group event though. I'll die when I I'll try how do I get in it? It's preparing to strike this it. I mean It's zeroing in on you. Back away. I'm at the mouth. Oh, it does have collision. It knocked me away. Wow, it actually has collision. They've done a lot of work here. Oh my god, look how cool the kappa looks. Look at the hair around its neck. Oh, the swimming kappa, dude. Look how good they look. Oh, I love them. Dude, they're so much more than just bristlebacks. What's going on here with the venom caller and the beam on it? There's a player. Oh, it's a spud on the skimmer. Go, spud. See what you can do. What's with the tether? I guess they're just like... I, this, is, this is crazy. There's elites, veterans. Oh my god, I think the spud got eaten. No? By the way, what's going on here? This is all Reen brand down here. What's going on with the, with the water? There's a dolphin. There's loads of spuds on your map on the Leviathan. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my god, I want to cross that bridge as well. Fascinating. I'm going to leave it though, because... I, I have a distinct feeling that I need a skiff to be able to do that properly. We can go back later. God damn, that was cool. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. People on the hummingbird going over there. Look, they're giving it a shot. I mean, good luck, guys. If I'm playing with a rule where I can't even skimmer either, you know, it's it's kind of going to slow me down a bit. Let's use our first JTEC waypoint, shall we? I kind of want my character to remark on the, the new waypoint type. Help the sailors deliver the goods. Okay, we got this other event now. Oh, good choice with the mini on that guy. What mini am I using? I think I'm using like an undead mini. We should totally have a mini. Oh, wow, I don't have... What should we do? Should we do the floppy fish? No, no, no. That's going to be in the other series. How many new minis are there? There's a bunch of them. Wave caller. The kappa. Look at how good he looks, dude. Um... The failed attempt. I do like me some mini failed attempt. We need something that like runs in a fun way or has an interesting kind of vibe. Anyone got any suggestions for a really fun mini that will be our companion through this whole adventure? I could do the sloop since, you know, the whole skimmer thing. I do like the sloop. Okay, okay, let's do this event here. I've got to go to the docks, though, don't I? Oh, and we never did uh, the fishing, so, either. Uh, did you ask her? Yeah, she's moving to the city to look for work. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Would you ever move there? Seems fun. I'm not really a city person. Loud, polluted, expensive. What? I'd swim to Kining before I'd let someone like her get away. It's complicated. There's a lot of stuff about love, right? Even the uh, Guild Wars 1 had that as well, you know, with some of the headmasters, like, cooking up and stuff. By the way, this Tengu looks kind of terrifying, actually. He needs to sort his down out. Isn't that, like, the stuff of nightmares? I mean, look at this. I swear I'm going to be in bed tonight. I'm going to close my eyes, and I'm going to see this face looming out of the ceiling at me. Jesus. Okay, let's, let's tag this before it's over. It looks like people can't quite figure out how to do the Leviathan. Are you telling me that Spuds in another meta in another mega server have actually figured out? Oh my god, using the sky scale with the cargo crate, dude. Um. Oh, but I can't mount. <laughs> Fishing isn't tough if one develops patience. 
<laughs> hey, who has time for that? Dude, it's an old man. Um. So look, there's, a, there's some crates over there. Well, I don't like the heavy stutter when I go in and out of the water. It's extremely consistent too. Come on, you're not gonna let me on the skiff. Oh my god. And it's like dish soap. It's oh god, it's sliding me off. Interact is for the battery. Are you serious? You know? Okay, there we go. To be very delicate and precise with my movement there. What's going on with the bug swarm? Okay, let's grab. This orders a few small boxes. Take them to the court all at once or one at a time. Whatever works. It says they're fragile. I usually ignore that. <laughs> Since there's Yun Lai, you should probably be careful. All right, should we grab three? One, two, three. I fell in love with this the moment I saw this on pre-release. I mean, look at this. Oh god, how far do I have to carry it though? Hold on, I think it's spectral walk time. Go, 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 go. <laughs> it's so dodgy how much they're leaning forwards here. <laughs> as I move at extra speed. You can put um, Signet on as well. Of the Locust. I did just take out a locust swarm. Get that sweet 25% movement. I'm into these strings in the music right now. There we go. So with the 25% modifier, you see we've leaned forward a little bit. It's a nice little thing to see. Oh yeah, it's key one for swiftness. You're right, what am I doing? Yeah, well done. Here you go, a peddler. It's about time you showed up. Oi! You don't have broken anything or I'll promptly be in touch with your manager. Outrageous. I don't work for you. I'm just, I'm a good Samaritan. Oh, I've lost credit on the Leviathan now. I'm the only one running crates. Ah. Oh. What is this? This is the expansion launch and it's the starting area. Where is everyone? It's not like the server's spinning down. You bastards, you're all just rushing off to do the story. I, I expect that I can go to Reddit right now. What is this, this one? This one's pretty heavy. You'll never get it to the cord on your own. Got a mount? That's what I'd use. All right, we'll drop it. Actually, I just want to kind of... I'm sorry, I can go to Reddit and someone will be like, okay, oh, so I beat it. Have you getting hurt under my supervision. You don't even work here. Just use a mount, okay? No, bro. I got this. I'm going to go ahead and say there's an achievement for this. I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah, I bet I could go to Reddit right now and it will already say, okay, I've beaten it. Here's what I think. <laughs> you know, the thing is, that stuns me is I have a friend who, when we played Thunderhead, I was like two instances into Thunderhead and he joined Discord and he was like, yeah, I've beaten it. I was like, what the hell, man? Like, if you if, if all you care about is rushing and, like, this stupid rat race idea that you've got to be first, blah, blah, blah. And no, it's not that my friend even felt that way. already a nightmare. Now it will be full of visitors, too. Might be interesting to check it out. There will be people from all over Tyria. I'll pass. I'm getting claustrophobic just thinking about it. I like how much the extra dialogue they've had. But come on, keep it going. My mini sloop should help out a little bit. <laughs> I beat it five minutes ago, zero content, dead game. Yeah, something like that. How much time have I got on this? I've run out of credit on this already. Wow. Due to inactivity, you're no longer participating. It's actually a huge run. Am I doing this too slow? Or like, what's the idea here? Thank you. Oh my, some of our Jun Lai orders are fairly large. I hope this wasn't a big hassle. Yeah, it was a pretty big hassle, yeah. Um, I don't know, if no one else is helping out, maybe I skip this event. Because that, that's going to be a lot of crates to run. Oh, I've been avoiding gliding, but I should technically allow myself to do that, right? 
Let's go to this island in the middle here. It looks like the virtuoso NPCs on it and there's a hero challenge. So basically, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to upgrade one tier of Harbinger every hero Fishing challenge I can. takes focus. Concentration is key. What was I saying? Uh, I don't know, but you've lost your rod as well, dude. You've lost your rod. Maybe we can't get up on it without a, uh, a skimmer or a skiff. What do you think? That would be a really nice touch. The mastery system in action. I think that's exactly what they've done. Yeah, awesome. That's a good job. Okay, so we can't get there yet. Special little island that we don't know about just yet. Dude, the reflections here are just something else, aren't they? Wow. Okay. Um, screw it. Let's... The raptor can wait. Let's go. Aurene Sanctuary. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to get on a... Uh... Oh, this is really good. Okay. Wait, am I in a story, a full-blown story instance right now? Oh, it's so held my whole you want. You actually know a dragon. You just sit around and eat snacks and shoot the breeze like it's anybody? Well, generally, we talk about slightly more important things than that. Oh, <laughs> you're not secretly a god or something, are you? No, not that I know of. <laughs> By some standards, we are. The, the Leviathan's out there. Oh, are they going to call attention to it? And the crystals? On the other Asura talked a lot. <laughs> Do you all talk a lot? I mean, is that part of your culture? Ah, you mean timely. No. While we enjoy a bit of discourse, most Asura are nowhere near as loquacious as she. Mm -hmm. I like the uh, crystal there. Dude, this is really... I could be... I, I could, I'm well up for like the whole game being like this. Crystal Cave. There it is, Aureen's branding. All right, that's as close as we get. Not gonna ground her just to keep your feet dry. <laughs> okay. Well, I could probably jump across. See, I'm all good. Okay, so we got the Crystal Bloom. Some old familiars. We have a mini map again now, which is not. I love. I love the look of this. Very smooth and nice. Um. And Kay among them. Oh, and Tyler. Ah, Commander, Everyone. so good to see you walking free again. Yeah. What was it like? You know, in the slammer. Did you get any prison tattoos? Yes. Mm. Yes. That's mm. enough fun mm. at my expense. Now, where's Aurene? She's inside, resting up. Don't worry, really. I just finished running a series of tests on her, and frankly, I'm baffled. Her vital signs are completely normal, but her magic, it's nearly non-existent. They drained her magic? Yes. And that extractor thing they shot her with left us no clue how it works. Or how to cure her. Lady Timey, your request to accompany Ambassador Mead to court has been approved. I'll be your escort. Lady Timey, huh? I could get used to that. Consider me escorted. Woohoo! Can't wait to get a closer look at those mechs. Oh. Come. I can feel Aureen getting restless. She knows you're here. Right, okay. Time is struggling. Most of the time sleeping, but hearing you were on your way woke her right up. Jesus, this looks a bit chaotic already, right? All these crystals and things. I like the look of her branding here, by the way. I'm quite into the rainbows and stuff. Champion. Aureen, you're sure you're... I'm fine. Tired. And there's a hollow feeling as if something is missing. I see. Commander, can we talk over here for a second? Dude, I'm pretty sure she'll know whatever we say, even if we're out of earshot. Alright, go on. I think this is taking a toll on her mentally more than anything else. Wish we could perk her up somehow. I hand-fed her fish as a hatchling when she was fussy. Well, there's a great big ocean right out there. Need any fishing supplies? You have fishing supplies? <laughs> hey, there hasn't been much to do with Kaz spending all day in meetings. It's meditative. 
Maybe they've stolen a revival power. Oh yeah, I totally, I totally think that is it. Yeah. Uh, to start fishing, use the cast a line skill and target a large body of water or a fishing hole. Okay, so th this is actually going to be a part of the story to teach us this. This will be nice. Reminds me of feed in sky scales fish as well. <laughs> There's a, an awakened crystal bloom just standing here too. It's such a weird vibe, man. <laughs> Awakened crystal bloom. Alright, let's throw it out. Okay, let's learn how this works, shall we? Wait for your fish to... F uh, your fishing float to bob with a splash and then set the hook. Like that. The fish is trying to escape. Use these skills to keep your lure over the target. When the yellow bar is full, you've caught the fish. If the bar empties completely, the fish will get away. Okay, I see. I really think this should be up, down. Not left, right, but whatever. UI is interesting. What's all the crazy smudges of black all over the yellow bar? What's this as well? Recommended fishing power. Yours is 150. This is standard difficulty. Okay. And we get a blue fin. Trevely, was that? Uh, they said on the announcement live stream today, right as things went launched, that the spreadsheet for all the new types of fish is one of the big, biggest spreadsheets the, the dev had ever made for the whole game. Um, so there's apparently a lot of varieties. Okay, so yeah. let's rush on over. I really don't like this rabbit icon and all the generic move speed. I have something for you, Aurene. As you fed me... When I was young. Yeah, this is patronizing. But I'm no longer a baby dragon champion. You could be an ancient dragon, Orim, and I would still come with fish. That might be optimistic, given your lifespan. But thank you. Look, I she's disconnecting. She's disconnecting, considering differences I between us. I was reckless. I. I wasn't thinking far enough beyond the moment. You were everywhere out there. And we don't need you to be everywhere. I know. I, I just... I can't face that feeling again. That there was more that I could have done. Well, you'll have to get over that because it's inevitable. You're right, of course. What was that weapon the Aether Blades used? Any ideas, Commander? No, none. But I'm going to find out. I still need to meet with Detective Rama. I'll see if he knows anything we don't. Oh, yes. Kaz told me about that. Have fun. You caught that she's meeting with the Empress later, right? If I could have told her a year ago that she'd be here now, well, she never would have believed me. Well, it sounds as if you have plenty to do, Commander. And Aurene needs rest. So, I'm going to officially chase you away. This is good as well. You get a moment with Kaith being like the other parent again. It's sort of set Eric back into that role. Makes sense. What do you think? Thanks for the fish, champion. Will you be alright? I've never felt anything like this. So, uh, I really can't say. It could be the start of something worse. A slow dwindling of the spirit to nothingness. But I have no reason to think it will. It's not like anything I felt with Krelkatoric. Like only a small sliver remained to reform the rest from void. So all I can say is that, for now, I don't believe I'm going anywhere. Go on. I've got things in hand here. And Aurene doesn't need any more excitement. Okay, mummy. She's the mummy and I'm the daddy the daddy. It's kind of weird the way that I talk and act, by the way, when I look like such a brutal, scary necromancer. Um, let me reread this. It could be the start of something worse. A slow dwindling of the spirit to nothingness. But I have no reason to think it will. It's not like anything I felt with Krakatoric. It's like only a small sliver... What's she talking about here? Only a small sliver remained to reform the rest from Void. Is she telling us that she like she did the Joko thing again there, but only a little bit was... She was only a little bit capable? You want to join Spud 2? Absolutely you can. There's like four slots. 
Um, so here you go. And as the evening goes on a little bit here, obviously more and more Americans are going to be on to play with. Oh, oh, there's a mastery point in the back of the cave here somewhere. Right. Let's save. Sounds like she's faking being sick to get out of Elder Dragon School. Stop babysitting her. That's amazing. Let's get that mastery point. If I can. Oh, is it on top of that? So I can't. Yet. Soon. Soon. Jade Tech Offensive Protocol. Armored Fish. Cedar Camp. More of these. Okay, so they want me up here, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride a raptor there. Oh, there's an event here. What's that event? Do you think that's the Lagos on the shore, and I can speak to to proc the Leviathan event? What do you guys think the odds are of that? How cool would that be if that's, if that's the case? Oh, is he up there though? He, she? I don't actually know. What, what gender was that Lagos? Oh, here you go. No, no, no he's on the shore. Hey, I'm right! I'm right! It is! It's the guy! Hi! Sup? I sense a dark presence closing in on these waters. Can I enlist your help in protecting them? Of course. A land dweller. Surprising. It's rare to see your kind out here. I take it water does not frighten you. But perhaps it should. Unlike you, I sense the malice in these changing tides. A threat that should concern us both. <laughs> oh, he just swims right into it. Alright, that's the dialogue we heard. Okay, 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 cool. Well, good luck <laughs> to this mega server now. Holy shit, what was that sound? Did it just create a wave or something? Alright, I'm, I'm leaving that area. Okay, okay, I'm going to ride a raptor now. Here we go. Raptor taxi. Oh, sorry. It's you. Where am I headed? To Zendaijan, to the monastery, to the eastern wilds, to Daigo Ward, to North Peninsula, the Jaya Bluffs. Well, I don't know. What is this area? At uh, the training grounds. Let's go, baby. Let's walk. Let's take in. Let's take our time. Scrap of End of Dragons Mastery. Thank you. I've almost leveled a mastery already, and I've not done anything in the game yet, so thanks for that. Okay, what was it? Oh, no, no. I was almost collected my first. That's fine, actually. That's fine. What is this going to do? Reduce the time to catch at fishing holes and triples XP. Triples XP? What's the point in that? Whatever. Okay. Um, let's go. We can make it stop. Will that get us off of it? Oh, it kind of freezes the animation in an awkward way, though, doesn't it? Let's jog. Grab reins and take control of the mount. Once done, it will no longer follow a path. That was nice. How now, brown cow? Yeah, it's like Chocobo Porters, exactly, yeah. Bell Passage. Yeah, it did look weird. Like he'd stopped breathing for sure. Dude, the Nyan statues here. Imperial Overlook. There's the other side of the zip line. I'm sick of these dull country landscapes. I long for the raw energy of city life. I wonder if that's map two or map three. I'm guessing the city is mapped too. Cherry blossom that we can cut down, the sapling. Some cranes. Wait, is this looping me or is it? No, no, no. no. Wow. Oh god, I want to get off the mount and go to <laughs> to the monastery. I want to. I want to look at the monastery. That's where it started in Guild Wars One. There was a waypoint there and stuff, but we'll 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 hold off. Yeah, the dragon skin does address the fact that these raptors seem a bit weird in Canther. Yeah, I think you're right. 
Training grounds discovered. There's Detective Raha. Oh, look, it's the classic music. This is like the music they preempted all their streams with. Dun, 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 dun. See, this is what they should have done. This is what they should have had, like, p macro influencers, influencers and stuff do. So they're all following her, right? The instructor? Yeah, that's so good, man. They're like the Wilbender uh, animations without the flashiness. Trainer Longfeather. Batteries everywhere, man. So with all this spoiler crap, were they just trying to hide batteries from us? Because they hadn't announced the last mastery details. Oh. What was that? The Aether Blades are looting villages. Careful now. Don't get overconfident. Use your glider to reach the top of the obstacle course. So how does this work? What do I need to do? The goal is to get to the very top of the course. You can jump and use your glider to make it up there. So when did they give me the glider then? Use the space bar while jumping to glide across gaps. Oh, this is some intense action right here, guys. Oh, oh, it feels like 2012 stuff. I'm so happy with this. Ooh. Oh, Gorik's up here, bro. Can't talk, Commander. I'm training. Ruthless as the beetle. Deadly as the mantis. Resilient as the roach. Yeah! <laughs> this guy's a nutter. Wait, are there more characters higher up? How high can we go? Oh, I almost failed to jump there. Okay. See you later, Gorik. Dude. <laughs> I like this. Jade Isles Mastery. The Jade Isles. In the face of life's adversity, hope, like the resilient cherry blossom blooms. So these are all the jumping puzzles in the X-Pack, are they? Or is it just on this map? It's just this map! Oh, no, no, no. It's not jumping puzzles. It's just a variety of things. This is probably for doing the meta here. Thank you for the uh, writ of Saitung province. Reward schemes feel a bit confused and untethered right now, but okay unusual unusual coins, which we saw me getting in the uh, Echovald Meta pre-release What do they want me to do climb it again? Is it just an infinitely repeating thing? I got a third of the heart there. Let's let's do another area This is like Claypool and Claypool is one of the best things that arena ever did in my opinion um, Can I proc a fight with you here? Are you here to see what our students can do? This is where our students show off their skills in mock battles. We're about to start one in just a minute. You can join in if you're feeling feisty. Man, listen to that. I have no idea what the instrument is. Listen to that thing being plucked. <laughs> painter's platform. I'll go up to the painter's platform. Oh, I remember actually on the original video, didn't they do this? You could use a lesson in precision. You heard me pick up a brush. Show me what you can do. Isn't this a class for children? It's a class for anyone who needs a reminder that accuracy is at the heart of mastery. Now show me five clean strokes. I just draw five lines, five clean lines. And if you finish those before time runs out, draw more. So that guy was talking about delts, was he? Okay, I'll paint. Painterly stroke. Paint a perfect stroke. Sloppy. Sloppy. Sl One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, I ran out of time. Ah. Oh. Worse than a child. Two. Three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, look at that. Double what you asked for, master. How do you like me now? Oh, this is a... Okay. Oh, I'm getting... In... It's getting... It's getting nervy now. This is actually really good. It's such a simple principle. I guess it gives me a little bit more time. So as long as I'm fast enough, I will get a net gain. Okay, am I going to get an achievement for doing like 50 in a row? Oh, I'm running out of time. Go quicker. Go quicker. Quick. Oh. I think it was okay. Thank you very much. Such a simple thing that they've done there, but by putting a Welcome timer on it. Trainee. For your last combat trial, please step into the designated exam area. Master, I was also wondering, do you have any notes for me on the sixth form? I think I might be piking my hips a bit. I promise the most important thing to remember in mastering forms is... Mind-body connection, yeah, yeah. But, but that's exactly what I'm doing right now, isn't it? Using my mind to figure out what's going on with my body. Ah, oh, right, Ben. Right. Oh, man. These explosions are really weirding me out. Look at the E8. The meta's going big time right now. I don't mind not going there. Or other minor injuries sustained during this test. Please locate an on site first aid kit. Death and dismemberment are minor injuries, are they? Yeah, there's definitely something sinister about this. Are you sure you want to switch out of sorry? Went into sleep. Incredible. Organic beings amaze me. But just wait. One day we machines will rise up and have our revenge. <laughs> just kidding. A little joke to cheer myself up. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh god, these are even more sentient and sapient than even the uh, Asura Golems are. Notwithstanding that Asura personal story bit. Did I get credit for that? It's just on repeat now, is it? I can repeat do it? He, that guy DPS it so fast, he didn't give a shit about what I had to say. Did you see that? Let's see this again. For death, dismemberment, or other minor injuries sustained during this test. Please locate an on-site first aid kit. Well, it's a fellow Harbinger. I'll let him damage it then. Damn, I wasted my endurance. Oh no, more players. They're going to skip through the audio again. Difficulty setting increased. Third level, is that all you've got? Humanity is incredible. Organic beings amaze me. But just wait. One day, we machines will rise up and have our revenge. It just, just said... Just kidding. Yes, a little yeah. joke to cheer myself Master, up. Master, do you have time to talk about the finer points of muscle activation in the fifth form? Your execution of the fifth form is fine, Ben. Excellent, even. I don't know, Master. I think I might not be activating my trapezius, and that's why I'm not getting full extension. Well, then try doing it that way next time. See what happens. So that's it. Ha! I knew it. Thank you, Master. Most people here, they don't know a rhomboid from a deltoid. Dude, these guys are smart. The Canthans are smart, you know, in ways that we don't see up in northern Tyria. About those things I said, no hard feelings. That was simply a test to provoke an emotional response. <laughs> I applaud your excellent self-control. This is really good. I love the Hellbeast mode, by the way, that it, it said. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that was just a hero challenge. That didn't actually give us any more heart credit. Let's talk to Rama. He might want us to do this heart anyway. This guy's got a cool outfit. I dig it. Koda's heart doesn't look too good with it, but the red and the bone skin are back piece. Okay, let's get this started. You, my friend, took a nasty blow to the head when you crash landed on our beach. I can't sign your medical release unless you prove you're not going to keel over on me out there. So... You're going to join the students in a few training exercises here at the monastery. You're sending me to school? Yes. Yes, I am. But it should be easy for you, right? Assuming everything's in working order and the legend of the commander isn't just a Crichton fairy tale. 
Your little friend's already out there. Threw himself right into it. He's got a bit of a ferocious streak. Okay. Hey, have any particularly masterful combinations to show off? So, Let's some see. skills will create a combo field on the ground. Use combo finisher inside to get additional effects. Yeah. You must be our new outsider. They're trainee. actually teaching us. Perfect. I love whipping students into shape. To be fair, you look pretty experienced. But everyone could use a refresher. And you're in the right place. Have a look around. Each combat area has its own trainer. Warning. They look mean, but they fight meaner. If you're rusty on anything, circle back and we can review. And remember, pain is weakness leaving the body. I, um... I feel like this inspired them to do the UI update earlier in the year. I feel like the, the dudes making this were like, oh, we really want better UI for this, so they put it in there, you know, and the, 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 the ring update that we saw. Ah, outsider, we've been ordered to let you train here, so practice to your heart's content. If you need to review combo field, see Master Raj. For a lesson in defiance, you'll want the mech. Got it. I know what those things are. So, what are we trying to do here? Just use combo fields? Use skills to place combo fields, then combo finishes with those areas to complete this training. Okay, four, two. Now what, you want me to use a different field and finisher? Well, I've only got so many on this build. Five, four. Oh, I could have uh, tuned in it as well, obviously. I'm learning, guys. Wow, I've never done any of this. <laughs> I'll, I'll go four. Two. Look, that was a leap. Are you not impressed with my leap? What the fuck else do I have on this build? I don't actually have much on this build. I mean, that's like almost it. <laughs> I mean, really? I guess I'll come back later with a different build. Oh, we got crap tons of heart credit there, actually. We got loads of heart credit. Let's go to the Defiance Trainer. My defense student subvert my defense protocols by employing crowd control effects. Okay. Whale of Doom. Oh, look, it's showing. It's highlighting even now. Wait, is that normal? Defiance bars are grayed out when locked, and they're blue when unlocked. That's a bad way of describing it. Look for skills that have Defiance Break or apply control effects to defeat the Defiance Bar. This is all well and good, but it's a bit front-loaded. How many players are going to be remembering? Truly new players are going to be remembering this letter. Oh, oh. He's going for the slow on Mace 3. Mace 2 doesn't help, though. My defenses are now resetting for the next lesson. Also, the Malix jump doesn't have a pull on it anymore, does it? Didn't they remove the pull on the Malix jump? Am I wrong? All right, here we go. Whale of Doom. Wait, is that it, bro? My defenses are now reset for the next lesson. Seriously? Look at this guy. Let's just watch this guy and see how long he takes. Gone. <laughs> look, look how much. Look at this. Oh, there you go. He used Glint. There we go. And four. But he was just spamming. He didn't actually know what he was doing. He did that by spam. That doesn't count. That kind of sucks, to be honest. It should be the first animation or, or fail. Or something. Oh, I should have chilled to the bones. All right, there we go. We got it done. Oh, no! I skipped the dialogue! Oh, I wonder what the dialogue said. Step into the ring. Try to keep away from my landslide. Oh, he knows how to avoid the telegraphs at least. Okay, um. Oh, sorry. Oh, they lit they don't want me to do the heart. They want me to do this. I gotta dodge five. Dodge or avoid? Oh, that one's a shockwave. I thought they were all cones. Do you want me to dodge or evade it? What about that? What am I 
I supposed to do about that kick? Dude, I only have so much endurance. Weird. Um, I feel like that one could have done, been done a little bit better, but hey. Okay. Um, <clears throat> how's it going, Rama? Okay. For the final test, you're gonna go toe to toe with one of our fighting mechs. Sounds easy enough. I don't usually set it to maximum power, because you know there's a reason we're all being replaced by machines. But I think you just might be up to the challenge, Commander. Just wait. One day, we wow. You're not even out of breath. You do this all the just time? Those I said. Oh, you it's this thing again. I already did this. That was simply a test to provoke all right, okay, an okay, emotional okay. response. Also, the idea is everything's here. Organic beings amaze me. But okay. Wait. One day, Good. I can now sign this form with reasonable confidence that if you walk out of here and die, it's on you. You're free to do whatever it is you do. Maybe I can finally make some headway on that Aetherblade case. You know, Detective, we have a shared interest. Sending the Aetherblades back to the mists. I don't suppose you'd be open to sharing any intelligence you've gathered? Uh... You want me to give you access to classified documents? I'm not authorized to make that call. You'd need clearance from someone way higher up the food chain. Ambassador Meade has a meeting with the Empress soon. If I could get her permission, would that work? If you come in waving the Imperial Seal around, pretty sure I'd be obligated to give you my incisors if you ask for them. Okay. Casimir, you there? Yes, Commander? I've got something I need to bring before the Empress, and I hear you're on your way to court this afternoon. Oh. Yes. I'm pretty sure I could negotiate an extra plus one. Though they did drag their heels a little when I asked about Timey. And you did just get out of jail. <laughs> no. I can make this happen. Meet us at the Imperial Palace. I'll handle everything. This must be the cutscene we saw glimpses of coming up. Um, with a lot of the cool fancy mocap and stuff. Uh, coming up soon. Oh man, there were a lot of things I wanted to say there. One thing in chat, I was asked about the heart. Enlightenment from spending time at the training grounds, plus 20% experience gain from all sources, that is, and 10% magic find for the next six yeah, hours. Particularly masterful combinations to show up. That might be because reset isn't six hours, or it might just be six hours for the thing. I don't know exactly. Okay, so where do they want me to go now? So that's the training ground, the crystal cave. So now we're headed to Xingji. And we could get a raptor to take us to Xingji, couldn't we? We can actually make that our destination now. So why not? <clears throat> oh. The meta is still going. Two minutes left. Take me to Xingji Monastery, please. Let's go slow. Actually, let's go this speed. This is good speed. If we're lucky, we're about to go into an instance that is set during the daytime. Um, is there is there no option to just loop? Do a sprint around the whole island and just loop forever? Like, for example, if I wanted to make myself a cup of coffee right about now, could I not get on a rapture and have it loop and it's just ambient moving while I just quickly pour, pour a cup out? That would be good, wouldn't it? Or doing something similar on a skiff, maybe? There should be boat taxis around. Wait. So who started the civil war? I have to admit some partiality here. Oh look, they're, they're guessing about the char stuff. Oh, this is really good. You know, that's something, you know, if we're going to talk about the raptor runs like Chocobo Porters, you know, Final Fantasy does not do the open world dialogue as well. So it's so much better in Guild Wars as you run along, you're hearing the conversations as you go on. Wow. So this doesn't feel very similar to Guild Wars 1's. 
right now. It, not that it has to. I know some people are really salty about that and obsessive about it. Let's grab the uh, waypoint, shall we? It's up on that plaza somewhere. Wow, this staircase. This actually feels a lot more alone to me, like they're pyramids and stuff. I can't believe I'm here right now. I can't believe that the day has arrived and here we are. Veteran Dulux. Dulux Condominiums. So these are Jade Bulwarks. The Monastery Temple. Oh, another, uh, another elite specialization. It's the Spectre. Oh, wow. How edgy and friggin' Kurzik does that, that look? Shadows guide you. Uh, that's an odd greeting. How far into the shadows are you? I am known as Elray the Spectre. A spectre, like a ghost? In a sense. It began when Master Togo fell to Shiro Taguchi many years ago. Panaku witnessed the aftermath and vowed to embrace the darkness in order to protect his allies and friends. Holy shit, Panaku's the original spectre? I should probably take a seat. Panaku began stealing shadows from his enemies. And infusing allies with the stolen power. It was a twisted craft. It took him many years to be able to heal an ally without them crying out in pain. Have the spectres advanced much since Panaku's time? Quite. Panaku was incredibly damaging in his approach, like a mad surgeon. We're now able to safely cover ourselves and our allies in protective magics, almost completely negating any harm. Damn. What sort of weapons do you use? Yes, it is true. Many of us wield a spectre. Sorry, a scepter. That wasn't even a, an attempted, a serious attempt at a joke there. Though, shadows are our true weapons. Sounds like a lot. Uh, it seems like you don't move very quickly, though. We do sacrifice some of our initiative while mastering the shadows and siphons. However, we also use well abilities to make up for a lack of innate movement. What's shadow force? Much like, uh, much of what we do focuses on singular enemies and allies. Targeting allies while entering Shadow Shroud allows us to then focus on our common foes, knowing that our ally is fully protected. What are you doing in Xingji? It's a bit bright. Not a lot of shadows. The spirits that it's very fitting we're speaking to him at night time, eh? The spirits of the dead are so potent here. Their shadows, vibrant spirits. This land was brought to certain ruin by the affliction many years ago. Now I come here to reflect, and I hope it gives me new resolve to protect my allies in the fight to come. Damn. It's good though, I mean they touch a lot of old elements of old lore, I mean they only kind of like skim it, but I, it's okay. I love these pools. I can't fish in those, can I? I guess I should check. I'm pressing J and it's not doing anything. No, I, I can't fish in those. Who are these people? An aristocrat and another aristocrat. Whoa. Wait, is the mastery on top of the bell? There's a mastery point above us. Wait, can I get down there? Am I stuck? Oh, no, no, no. They gave a little ledge to climb out. Okay. So let's drop down. Honestly, I thought that was where the personal story style was was oh no it's south we're, we're headed there now we're headed there now we gotta cut the scene gold flaw it's frivolous filler it is crucial to oh i love it already chapter. i refuse to remove a single word uh. <sighs> there was a glint in rogan's eyes it happened in an instant then vanished heart pounding gritlock glanced away meekly 
Rogan approached and ever so gently guided the Char's face so their eyes met. <laughs> Grimstone, if you're gonna stare, then stare, yada, yada. I'm falling asleep here. Get to the good stuff. Uh. <laughs> that is the buildup. You cannot achieve a climax without rising action. The good stuff. You right smut, Goldclaw. I read Koss on Koss for a little something on a lonely night, not for a goddamn character study. <sighs> I'm quite <laughs> literature, good sir. And you are a soulless parasite upon art. Now I've had enough of your argle bargle snargle. You want creative control, go independent. But as long as Kippo and Monroe is publishing, I decide what's crucial. Oh, this is good. <laughs> this is really good. Uh, okay. Hang on a minute. Commander of your heart, right? Snargle never stops yapping on about you. Name's Kippo, sole owner of Kippo and Monroe. Had to keep the schmuck's name for a cheaper buyout. What a great Asura accent here. By the way, his face is excellent too. Really grubby and goblin-y. Really good. Your frame... I can't do the accent. Your frame's a bit less sculpted than Snargle described. But he got your striking demeanor pretty accurate. Let's talk, shall we? Uh, what were you and Snargle discussing? Now oh, these writers. All of them wants to write the next great Tyrion novel. Snargle's got a cush gig going. All his readers want is a little erotic passion. Titillation. Action. Sure, they need enough artsy crap so they don't gotta be embarrassed if you catch them reading a Kralkatorid affair. But, and excuse my Elonian, sex friggin' sells. I'm only pushing Snargle to play on his strengths. Limited though they may be. Uh, talking about sex, the word even appears. So you're a publisher? I like it. They've suddenly expanded so much about the publishing side of all of this now. <laughs> Best in the business. My company represents the top writing talent in the world. And Snargle Goldclaw. You ever hear of Bonnie Kundera? <laughs> a rising star. I don't know if her prose is any good. That don't matter none. Her books fly up the shelves like hotcakes. <laughs> if you see Bonnie around, tell her Kippo sent you, and she'll hook you up with a signed copy of her book, On the House, Super Adventure Box, the official novel. Mwah. It prints gold, baby. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, what brought you to Cantha? Uh, that just makes me think about the fact I wanted to do, like, a screenwrite nightfall or whatever. <laughs> I've, I've fallen into the trap. What brought you here, man? Well, two of my best-selling authors came to Xingjie for book signings. Snargle's actually 11th best-selling now. Don't tell him that. No need to kick the poor bastard while he's down. This market's an untainted paradise. Millions of fresh eyeballs and untapped wallets. So you're here to sell books? You bet. But that's not all. Do you know Cantha's living in the future while the rest of us mopes are still eating dirt? That's coming from an Asura. They watch theater projected from their jade technology. Moving pictures. I want K and M at the forefront oh, God. of the media. Because pretty soon, ain't nobody going to be reading books. Uh. Maybe one day, the audience could even control these movies. An interactive experience. Feel like you're really there. Of course, when that day comes, we won't even need writers like poor Snargle here. We'll let the audience make their own stories, all pretend like. Then I'd be through dealing with these prima donnas. Dude, this guy is amazing. He's just dripping with character, isn't he? It's so crazy to see where they've expanded the subject to. Uh, Snargle. Ah, oh, Commander. You are a much needed sight for these sore eyes. I am sorry you had to witness that dreadful intercourse that just transpired. Oh, uh, in interchange? Uh, ask me anything, my dear commander. I'm an open book. Everything going okay, Mr. Goldclaw? I've had enough of these rapacious publishers and self-serving agents and sanctimonious editors. The vices of grammar are strangling my art. My readers don't care about dangling prepositions. They want dangling. Oh. Gross. It is a terrible burden to be a writer. To lay naked your soul only for the world to rip it to shreds. 
Listen to me bloviating endlessly. How rude of me. Dear Commander, do you have any inquiries to ask of me? Okay, all good art has to be suffered for. Don't worry, man. Um, someone in chat said, uh, you're going for it. You bought the game. You haven't played for over a year. That's awesome, man. Can I just remind you guys, if you do buy the game today or at any point, I, I have a link in the description of this video. If you've clicked that link when you make your purchase, it throws me a kickback. And you can do it after you've bought as well, as long as it's within the next couple of days, I think. So, yeah, literally just take the time to just look in the description and click that link. That's it. Anyway, I hope you have a fun with it. So I'm surprised to see you here. I love this thing where I get to click the dialogue and then it expands, you know, new rows below. With the reopening of Cantha's borders, I realized I had an important calling. Please think of me as the ambassador of love. He's here to shake hands and sell books and finish the manuscript he owes me per his contract. What a crude and artless description of my purpose. Well, it happens to be true. Oh, well, there wasn't any extra now, that time. Now, dear Commander, I'll probably be quite busy meeting my adoring fans, but do stop by my book signing in Kainang. Actually, Snargle, we'd like Bonnie to take Kainang City. Bonnie, <laughs> what a good name. All hustle and bustle, this southern climate, it can't be good for your fur. What? But how will the people of Kantha meet me if I'm not in Kainang? Don't worry about it. You've still got a prime location. Here in Xingjiang? Eh, I was thinking we need someone in Echovald Forest. Echovald Forest? Does anyone even reside <laughs> They're there? just bobbing him off. Sure. You got <laughs> this the bird is too people. good, man. And, uh, lots of bird people. They love books. I'm sure they're dying to meet you. You, you can't do this, Kippo. Please, let me trade spots with Bonnie. She always loved being among nature. My mind's made up. You're going to Echo Vault. Or on the first airship back to the Eye of the North. Just think of this as a mandatory sabbatical. Let the fresh air clear your head. What'll it be, Snargs? I... I... Uh... <sighs> I'll go to Echo Vault. <laughs> this is like a full, boy. a full on cutscene here of just side dialogue. I'm amazed by all of this. This is so good. Also, the voice, it, that's Nolan North, is it? it? The voice he's doing, I swear I've heard that in another video game. There's such a like visceral, like big character instantly. Dude, they've just opened up all this other stuff. Also, I'm guessing it, they'll be recurring, right? I'm guessing we literally will see him in the Echo Vault. Just in the empty loneliness. <laughs> just nobody around. It's going to be good. Um, authorial intent. Checking in on an old friend in Cantha. So I wonder if that will keep going. They kind of obfuscated the specifics of who it was there as well. I guess for spoiler reasons, people scrolling ahead. Oh, by the way, I, uh, I have looked ahead at the achievements. And I do know a fairly big spoiler about the game. When we get there, I'll tell you guys about it. But until we get there, you won't have a clue. But I do want to be clear about that. Um, okay, so. This POI must be downstairs. Yeah. Are these people in a ring? Yeah. I love their headdresses. Oh, look, the boots will be happy here. There is somebody actually in the thing. Look, 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 you can even see what they got. <laughs> oh, my God, the resolution is so low, though. We can only guess. I like the idea that that's literally like some photo of like a local noodle place <laughs> near the studio and they just dropped in. Um, does this door open? Oh, too spoiled by Final Fantasy. Expecting all the doors to open. So how do we get down there though? It does look like a pretty big complex. My Tomorrow has never been closer. These add a lot, man. What are you cooking there? Oh, look. He's actually pathing around. Oh, my God. This is actually making me kind of hungry. <laughs> yeah. Hey, be careful with that. Yokels. If you damage the minister's order, you'll be paying for it. Dude, what have they got here? Fabrics? 
This look, this thing, this is just so much like on their arena net shirts, you know, the logo or whatever. Dude, that's a very cool looking kind of tangy. We've got a commoner there. Wearing some weird new glasses, it looks like. Some bottles. Okay, I'm I'm confused. I'm confused. Am I like on a, an upper balcony and I need to be lower down? Is that what this is hitting out on the minimap? These are stairs. Oh, it's a roof. Oh, I'm totally, I'm on the roof. Wow, that's just like a whole skyway area. Okay. This feels a bit off. Will I die to full damage? I think I'm safe from this high pitch place. Agriculture, recreation, zoning. This government's a goddamn bureaucratic mess. Do you have a problem with the Ministry of Agriculture? I I'm just saying, in the old days we had one ministry. Yes, those sure were the days. Oh, that's really cool. Because, like, when we played in Guild Wars 1, they didn't only have one ministry. They had loads. Guild Wars 1 ended with the Ministry of Purity taking everything over. And to this guy... So, he's talking about the interim years. Which was something we, the players, never really got a great sense of. So, there's kind of a nice note to that, where we're looking at that thinking, well, that's not... It's all transient, you know. What he thinks of as the good old days is not even, you know. You go back a bit further and they had multiple ministries again, just as we saw in Goodall's one. Alright, let's go inside. I'm, I'm excited to, to drink in the ambience in here. Oh, hello, everyone. We've got Timey and Kazmir. Big wig party in there. I feel underdressed. If I knew I was going to meet an empress. It's exciting, but a little nerve-wracking. Still getting the hang of this diplomacy thing. So much writing on it. Trade? Treaties? <sighs> Reopening relations with Cantha after a hundred plus years is gonna be... Delicate. To say the least. You got this, Ambassador Mead. Go make history. Thanks. Whenever you're ready, Commander. I have no idea what to expect from this scene. Should I explore the room before I, uh... Do the instance? This comes up in Guild Wars quite often. Dude, I really want to sit on the throne. You're not allowed to. They don't have it enabled. I'm sure they could have, but they would have made an active decision not to let you do that. It's a crazy weird throne there. Two koi fish. Concept art of the map up there. Appeared in End of Dragons Daily many times. This art here didn't. What's this art? Okay, so... Uh, Let's engage in a little bit of diplomacy here. No reason to expect any big fight or anything. I really like the introduction of the characters in the cutscene, in the loading screen. My lead. I wonder if they've modulated my movement speed again without me having... Oh, they're forcing me to walk. I pressed a hotkey to do that, but they're forcing me to. I Excellent. I appreciate the minister's concerns, Imperial Majesty. Do you now? But these mechs are next gen. The very latest model. Upgraded specs, months of field testing. In a closed environment, with no actual people around to get in their way. <laughs> Some test. I also appreciate that the Minister of Security for an island with no contact with the outside world, Which and I thus no threats to its security, has had, by definition, a portfolio unworthy of his talents or his time. His attention to these matters, so... Unrelated to his own expertise. Whoa. He's generous and greatly appreciated. App yes, yes, save it. Majesty, this woman is a parasite. This who woman is transforming our empire, Minister. Please afford her the respect her achieved. Commander, not, not yet. Please afford me the respect my throne merits. Dude, how good is that? Sarcasm when I hear it. Madame June knows her business. She has served our empire well to this point. I see no reason to doubt her now. Imperial Majesty. Of course you'd take her side. <clears throat> Ambassador Mead. Oh my god. Oh, can, can I wait? Can I pause and just geek out for a second? That thing of Kazmir TPing me was awesome. Also, the pace of their dialogue was really good as well. The speed. Um, I love that she's speaking and he tries to cut over her and she just bulldozes him. Because that's a thing, right? Like, um... Like, women get bulldozed a lot. Like, people just talk over them. And very few people are, like, just strong enough to just tell someone to shut the fuck up and keep going. It was really good. I like the back and forth there. Dude, these guys look awesome as well. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm very impressed by this. Well, my father thought this day would never come. If he were here, he'd die all over again. 
The Crichton Ambassador, Lady Casimir Mead. And retinue. 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 <laughs> Your Imperial Majesty. Warmest regards from Queen Jenna at this unexpected dawn. A renewal of our ancient friendship. Not exactly how we remember it. Please relay Cantha's best wishes to our sister, the Queen, whom we look forward to meeting at the soonest opportunity. May I also apologize on Krita's behalf for the recent unpleasantness. Which one? The Sky Pirates flying daily sorties over Xingjie? If they're yours, we definitely have a problem. The Aether Blades are no allies of ours, Majesty. They've attacked mainland Tyria on numerous occasions. The Ambassador was perhaps referring to the unsanctioned arrival of her colleagues on her shores. Ah, yes. In my father's day, that might have started a war. Even now, it doesn't exactly inspire trust. But in the modern era, Kantha now handles these matters with a more delicate touch. Which we appreciate. Krita has no wish to try Kantha's Too good. late! Tyria Royal's an endless war which you've now brought crashing onto our shores. No, respectfully, Minister. Krita has nothing to do with the Aetherblade attacks or the a crash. A moment ago you were apologizing for it. Majesty, the outsiders are liars, warmongers, as your father well knew. And your sister, Madame June, has invited them to our doorstep. She doesn't see the threat. I see the opportunity. Enough, Lee. I wonder if our open court is the appropriate venue for discussing these matters. Perhaps the minister would join me in the antechamber, so he might continue the conversation? He would. <laughs> he this would will be not. a cutscene here. Dude, I love Lee. Lee's awesome. Well, He's like that dickhead. As I expected. I assume these are the aforementioned colleagues? One of them, Majesty. The commander here. He's like a dick, but he's probably going to be ultimately vindicated. And I'm interested in seeing that. Probably. Commander? What are you the commander of? Uh... Nothing. <laughs> Not anymore. But formally of the Pact Alliance. That's good. Ah, yes. I've heard of Have that. Have you now? As I said, Majesty, we know the Aether Blades. We know their ways, their tactics. The commander was fighting them when the airship crashed. And would relish a chance to repay Cantha's mercy. Armed with any intelligence your Ministry of Security may have, we can bring them to justice for you. Let's hope you're a better pirate hunter than airship pilot. That's acceptable to us. Speak to Minister Lee about it. Wait, 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 wait. What about the other thing? Well, what do we do now? Speak to Minister Lee about it. Okay. I quite liked her nature there as well. Watching, listening, considering, but also, you know, very firm. It's what you'd want from your empress. Little touch about her father's curious. Look at that guard! That guard, that armor was awesome. You wanted this chaos. I want Cantha to enter the modern age. To join the community of nations. You don't care about Cantha. You care about money. Foreign markets. I care about both, Lee. It's not a zero-sum game. It's not a game at all. Why do you think we sealed ourselves off to begin with? If I may. I get it. Your people withdrew from the world. Now you're rejoining it. There is risk. There is also promise. Our nations have an unprecedented opportunity. No need to waste that over a... misunderstanding. Uh, they're honestly at rude of us to air our laundry in front of guests. Didn't hear a thing. The cutscenes are really good. The faces Minister, and everything. I understand you're preoccupied with other matters, but I'd appreciate your help with something. Yes, yes. Seems I can't go a minute without someone requiring my counsel. Right. Anyway, my colleagues and I will be investigating the Aether Blades per the wishes of- I'm afraid of that won't be possible. That case falls under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Security. Come per on. Per the wishes of Her Majesty the Empress. The Empress approves of your involvement. 
She gave Ambassador Meade her blessing. Consider it an apology for our rude entrance. As she wishes. Investigate away. The area is crawling with aether blades. Your kind of people. Oh, I really. He's a big representative of the xenophobia, right? And the fear and the caution of the unknown and the outside. It's quite curious. Okay. Hello. Shame. Some people can't see this as a pivotal time for Cantha. Even the Imperial Court agreed. With a little persuasion. But she might lead them to their I doom. I did not realize you'd advocated for us. I assure you, it won't be in vain. I'm no stranger to cantankerous bureaucrats. But you probably caught that during my Jade Mech discussion. Oh, so they are Jade powered. You must be using a Jade core as the power supply? Very astute. The Jade acts as a sort of battery. Using its charge, my tech powers most of Cantha. Oh, that's so elegant. And here I am powering my golem mods like I'm stuck in pre-Exodus times. Tiny doesn't give herself enough credit. She's a very talented researcher and inventor. Is that so? What's your area of expertise? I have many. But these days, it's all dragons, all the time. Dragons are also a passion of mine. Not to pry, but I hope yours is doing well. You know about Orin? When you're the visionary who powers an entire nation, people keep you informed. If you want, I may be able to help her. Your tech helped the commander recover, so I'd say it's worth a shot. Look at that healthy glow. Uh, we appreciate the offer, but we'll have to talk to Orin. Right now, she needs rest. Of course. Let me know, and I'll make the time for her. Besides, it's not every day you meet an elder dragon. Yeah, I like the thought there that they're, they're uh, keen on that Did too. Did the Glicks lectures on magnetism ever make it out here? You could say that. I'll have to show you my copy. Notes on every page. Oh, do you also write sassy comments when you disagree with the author? There's an entire section in Novi's science journals that I crossed out and wrote, You're kidding, right? Alchemy, don't even get me started. More like Novi's pseudoscience journals, am I right? Oh god, okay. Uh, so the Tale of Adventure, partially chewed box. I've not been opening these. Oh, ancient Canthan boots. So we get a little bit of the new skins here, do we? So let's pick the light ones, I guess. Heavy, light. It's the same skin for all three tiers, I would guess. I'm not going to wear this stuff until I've got the whole set, you know? But, uh, okay, another stash of Crimson Skull Coins. Another Mastery Point. We can now train fishing for triple XP. Partially chewed box. Wasn't previewable. But yeah, okay. Fishing Hole Master. So we now have reduced time to catch at fishing holes. And we have triple XP gained from fishing there. Also, 20, plus 20 to base fishing power. So it's three benefits in one there. Oh wow, this uh, increases your casting range layer. That's interesting. Okay, so here, look, we know that there's no dialogue because the cursor didn't change in any way. Okay. So, let's get on out. See what we got. Commander, could you swing by the Aetherblades crash site? Trying to dig up some leads on their war. Sorely mistaken. If they think kidnapping a member of the scientific community will go on. Gorik will be assisting us. He's on an uncompromising quest for justice. His words. Well, aren't you a couple of busy field bulls? <laughs> Brahma? <laughs> You're on this call? It's an open frequency. Might as well be hosting your own radio show at this point. So you really pulled it off and got Empress Yin's approval. Hmm. I guess you'll be traipsing through my office soon. Look, you can see the Blades classified files, but nothing else. Akane will be keeping an eye on you. Got it? Uh, I will? Ugh, so much for reasonable work hours. She's done nothing but whine about her job, the whole X-Pack. <laughs> so the question is, are they just being smart and, you know, making sure not everyone can see everything, or do they have something to hide, right? Um, okay, so back to the start basically I'm just wondering if there's anything additional we can meet Marjorie near the crash sites I like this dual thing I like how we get an option you know there's like two things to do at once in each of these moments check our mails 
It's more invites. If you're EU, you basically can't get in at the moment because we're 500 out of 500. Um, so let's see here. Wait, who was that? That was an old friend. They were talking about time. I'll have a look at that after the video, I guess. Okay, so we can do this. Oh, no, this person... And people keep doing this. They keep asking to join Spard, and they already have five guilds. You can't get in if, if you already have five guilds, guys. Um, so we couldn't have a little bit more time with the Empress. By the way, I turned my back piece off there, because I feel like I was just a little bit too flashy, you know? Just a bit. A bunch of students walking around. I mean, I already kind of explored here beforehand in the first place. Um... Mm -mm. So yeah, let's just head south. Uh, someone in chat there says, what does that have to do with women? People, some people just like to bulldoze. Yeah, it, that's true, but it's often very much like a gendered thing. Men bulldoze a lot, and women get bulldozed a lot. It's like different conversation styles. And, um... When you realise it, you can see it happens everywhere. So, I don't know, it was just a cool little moment to hear her just, like, be a bit masculine there, you know, and kick back. It was good. Thanks to our busy friends at the Ministry of Security, we won't have any extra help. But I'm sure we'll manage. We'll start looking around up front here. Commander, why don't you check out the wreckage? We can sink after. If I so much as smell one of those aerial degenerates, I'm showing no mercy. And neither should you, Commander. <laughs> Gorik's so amped up. Gorik's got so much energy, this expansion, it's insane. <laughs> All right, dude, go for it. Uh, okay, so there's Vista I really want as well, but it feels like I kind of I'm gonna want to climb on it somehow, and I don't know whether I'm gonna have the capability for that just yet. Hmm. Don't make it about genders; it's about personality. No, it is also about genders. There are such things as gender roles. There are unconscious biases. And I'm sorry to uh, reveal this to you, but they do have an effect on the way people communicate with each other. Suggesting otherwise just a bit stupid to be honest. Yeah, I don't think I can get up there. I mean, maybe we can. It actually looks like it's a full on jumping puzzle thing. Like this rope. Maybe I'm meant to walk along that rope from this house, from this roof, from this roof. This is a friendly public service announcement issued by the Ministry of Transportation. <clears throat> As we see an increase in tourism and travel, we've also seen an increase in capital related casualties. Please do not feed or pet the kappa, and under no circumstances should you look one in the eye for over two seconds. <laughs> uh, I guess all of those aren't going to be super revelatory. So actually, I think I can climb up this and just walk along all the roofs, right? And I should be able to get there. Let's try that out. Have a bit of an experience here. And again, I know I could just sky scale and go up, but where's the fun in that? It's like I could drop onto that, possibly. I don't suppose this opens up in any way. No. But I feel like I'm on the right lines. Maybe? Oh, are you a named NP? No, you're a student. I saw the S and I thought maybe they're... Oh, God. Oh, I don't know, actually. I don't I don't think that... Yeah, no, it's all, it's all good. Oh, and we can glide in this X-Pack too, of course. Right? So I shouldn't stop myself from gliding. So that was actually fine, that jump. Make this jump. So yeah, it's this rope here is what I'm really looking for. Oh. To be honest, any excuse to glide because my skeletal glider is awesome. By the way, look, there's all little things up there. Tropical birds. I want to go to that waterfall. One thing I've always loved about Guild Wars at night time is that locust sound. You know, like the crickets you can hear. It always makes me think of Kryter, but I guess they're using it here as well. It's nice. Okay. All the roof hopping is very Tengu. Yeah, I feel so. Man, I, I kind of want this to be the thumbnail for the video, but the way that this works is I actually make the thumbnail first, not second. So, maybe that'll be part two. That looked really good. It's a shame there was no music when that one triggered, though. The, but the best vistas are always the one with a bit of, bit of music on them. Okay, uh, oh, there's this POI. I can't leave it, guys. I can't leave it. we got to go have a look. 
Not just because it's map completion, but because it might represent something interesting. I swear I was standing there at it, though. Maybe I was too high up. Also, what's this icon? Oh, the Jade Bot Workbench. Oh, it's an icon representing a Jade Bot. I see. It's through this door. Here you go. The Secured Gate. Do you know what I feel like this expansion is a little bit light on? People I can press F to talk to. And there's a good amount of, like, spoken dialogue, and it triggers really well when you're near them and stuff. But, I mean, the fact I can't speak to any of these people... Maybe that's me being greedy or something? I don't know. Probably saves a lot of time. I mean, look at how many NPCs... I'm not saying every single NPC, but, like, for example, the instructor here, maybe. Even if it's just, like, five words where they say, don't interrupt us, you know, or whatever. Right, Mastery Point is up on that roof as well. You don't suppose that's a jumping puzzle, do you guys? I, it, up there, if, when I was up there, it might have said mounts disabled. And if it, if it did, then I would have known. But I'm not too sure. I'm going to walk around this way, grab this. And um, I kind of want to look at... Is this the northern border? No, it's not even the northern border of the map. Awesome. Okay, so there's a ton of stuff up there too. Man, I can't wait to do this with Kerry later. These little open world bits are always so good when you got someone else just running around and exploring things and doing things with you, you know? It's like enjoying an MMO as a single player game is one thing, but enjoying it in an actual cooperative way is just so awesome. So it's up there, the village overlook. And hold on. Village Overlook. Is this kind of a hint at, uh, about the Ministry Overlook? The Monastery Overlook, sorry, from Guild Wars 1? It's kind of hard to orient myself in my mind what's where. Isn't it that the Training Grounds is the Monastery Overlook? Isn't this where Cantha began in Guild Wars 1? Isn't this it literally here? And you would do like nine rings and stuff around here? I, I can't quite map it. Right, let's see if we can get this. Ah, yeah. uh, this feels unintentional, suddenly. <laughs> well, maybe not, maybe not, hold on. Yeah, no, it's okay, it's okay. Hearing the roars and cheers of the audience, you radiate resolve and determination. <laughs> okay. That'll be uh, you guys in the comments and you guys watching on the live chat. That's the audience right there. Two out of nine. God damn. Well, what else is up here before I move on? Special Agent Teng. Dude, I love some of their clothes. What is this? Veteran mechanized and oh entertainment unit. I thought it said weaponized entertainment unit. Oh wow! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh no, never mind. I mean, I can turn that on anyway. So they're spinning and dancing, and you get the little uh, musical notes coming off. I feel like I should be hearing something though. Hmm. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on here? There was a race! There was a winner to a race! Oh, I never got to play in it! Oh! Oh, that sucks. I kind of want to speak to that person, that Keeper of the Jade Vault. What's going on there? Is that just a vendor that I've spoken to already, or, or no? Oh, you think I should have done slash dance? Yeah, maybe that would have triggered something, but my gut says no. They were actually inside the room. Here, Keeper of the Jade Vault, my young Yi He. Greetings, hero. I'm a bit of a situation right now. If I could ask your help taking care of this matter, I'd happily return the favor. 
What do you need? Well, there's a set of jade statuettes entrusted to my care that have been lent from the vault for display in the provinces. With all this chaos in Canthar, I worry for their safety. Would you look for the statuettes and return them to me? I'll reward you for each one individually. Even more for the full set. How much more exactly? Well, let's just say I have access to some unique art pieces and tithes from the provinces that I can make available to you from the vault. So where should I look for statuettes? I suspect that there's one in each province. Saitung, New Kaineng, Echavald War uh, Wilds and the Jade Sea. You might also find them available at your trading post. So it's a collection. Nice touch. NPC that pops a collection integrates the sense that these are quests into the game a bit better. Very good. I still don't know if people will buy this. I personally believe that there should just be a whole other hero tab and it's called quests and it basically does this but it's separated now from achievements. Find four jade statuettes for my young Lee, he, uh, keeper of the uh, jade uh, vault. So there's a jade gate statuette. This statuette is exquisitely carved from pure jade as a part of an imperial art collection. Hint, finish the Kaineng Blackout event or purchase it. Oh, it's just from events? Okay, so do all the metas. Defeat the final opponent in the battle for the Jade Sea. Finish the Aether Blade Assault. So this one I could have done, the Jade Empress statue. And then, so four... Okay, so four meta events, four rewards. So the, the metas are Kaineng Blackout, Gang War of Echovald, Aether Blade Assault, which we've been seeing hints of, and Battle for the Jade Sea. Four metas in this X pack. And hopefully they're like HOT level. So that's good. The reward there looked a little lackluster, but hey. I guess if they become a vendor and you can buy guild hall decorations and stuff, that's what it sort of felt like maybe was going on there. Okay, so let's take a raptor back to the training grounds now. And, uh, oh man, I wish that ArenaNet added an option for people to be forced into this experience. I'm getting a lot more out of this, not mounting. Alright, um... To the training grounds. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, canter. We're going to walk. And, uh, because I'm going to quickly run into the kitchen to click the kettle on. Char, you say? <laughs> we don't have cats that look like you in Cantha. I'd, uh, prefer if you didn't refer to us as cats. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean anything. Alright, that's all good. I uh, not only clicked the kettle on, I also uh, put a bit of coffee in, like coffee powder. Yes, I drink instant coffee. Come at me. Oh, wow. What's going on with the music here? Get yourself ready for round two. The Aether Blades won't hold back, so neither will I. Oh, look, the practice event's on. That was just the one. Stop Man, combat noise is just too loud in Guild Wars, isn't it? If I turn this down though, you lose all the footsteps and uh, the flies buzzing and all the other stuff, so... It's time for the final round. Your biggest challenge yet. Literally. We can do this, Master. We won't let you down. Kata. She's huge. Break the bar. By the way, I'm playing Dread for funsies here, just to give myself that extra bit of quickness. 
only there, I should say. Minsec, to me! Minsec, Ministry of Security. Uh, makes sense. Oh, nice pull from someone there. Oh, we only get her to half and she stops. It's cool to see spectres and things around. I can't wait to slot Harbinger. I will do very soon. Nice. Man, these explosions. They keep happening. Next practice battle is in 10 minutes. Okay. So the Aether Blades have fortified the surrounding area. What does that mean? The Aether Blades won the last time the meta triggered? Do you guys think? Okay, so... Hold on, you want me here, but it feels like there's cliffs blocking me off. It's really interesting looking at the spud dots, by the way. I mean, look at them all. I'm guessing the story's going to take me here soon. Are there spuds anywhere else? No, all the spuds are still on Saitung. Guys, when you start filtering elsewhere, it's going to be awesome. Actually, hold on. Let me, uh, let me rep the other spuds. So, hold on. This is 150, 160 of you. Man, a hundred spuds already logged off. That's crazy. Oh, look, someone is in the in Kaineng. Queveriel. Queveriel got to Kaineng already in EU. My god, an EU spud's got so much more activity. It's crazy. Not that NA spud is small. I mean, 150 people is awesome, but there's still over 250 online right now. God damn, man. One of you has got here. That's where... Oh, no, it's not where I film it. Oh, two of you! Okay. Um, right, where am I going in now? So, north to the bridge or something? Ah, the kettle's boiled now as well. Um, I actually talked to Grandmaster Chiron yesterday about signing on for good. Really? Yes, really. I know you've got a job gift wrapped for you back in Kaining, but not everyone's got a mommy with a high up ministry post. Guess it beats being a janitor. My parents may have to clean up other people's crap, but at least they're not full of it. Find another training partner, Jan. Oh shit, they do not like each other. Yeah, we're definitely like, it's this road here. We gotta get up. We gotta get up here. This hey, is like I'm where Guild Wars sorry. 1 starts. Through this doorway here, I suppose. So, how do you access the new elite? Just have the points or talk to an NPC? Uh, yeah, just have the points. ArenaNet does this, I think, unfortunate thing where a lot of stuff just exists on the UI. Here, this is it right here. This is the, the, the spot. Um, so, yeah, all I have to do is come here to Harbinger. Volatile powers all at my fingertips. But uh, we got to get another hero challenge here. What I've got is just enough hero points to do um, the previous content. Everything else I'm actually properly unlocking here throughout this Let's Play. Okay, so I'm actually doing it for real. I'm not bypassing with World vs. World. I don't have excessive points for elsewhere interior. I'm doing it for real. So one more and we can actually unlock Harbinger. So we want them bad. But uh, so far, I can't get... A couple that we found because I need like a skimmer or a skiff and stuff. So again, uh, do I go? I think I've got to go down low. I think they want me down there. And look, we can glide. So. Oh no, no, no! It's one of the crashed ships. Damn, Monastery Bay. Oh hello. I didn't realise they were so close. Do you know what? Let's turn off Dread. Let's go back to Close or Death. Just If we're playing Dragon, I want to see the big numbers, you know. Let's do Soul Barbs. Let's do Awaken the Pain. Spiteful Talisman. Let's just go for the big number, basically. Okay. Some Jade Tech stuff here. Oh, the music. There's a really good variety as well. It doesn't sound repetitive to me. It doesn't sound like I, you know, I'm hearing it loop or whatever. Ow. 
So Scarlet got this plan. Oh, bingo! To meet up with the inquest. Get me on the captain's council. It's big. I was worried about working for someone else. I never took orders well. Scarlet, she knows what she wants. Knows how to get it. No fear, no hesitation. It makes sense. You want to hate the foundations of the world? You can't be scared of falling rubble. Oh, man, I think I have on bingo Scarlet and my trin being addressed. That's so good. Such meaningful dialogue. Because uh, especially when you think about End of Dragons as an expansion that is, like, tying up the whole story. Season 1 is a part of the story. And rather than Scarlet feeling like a bit of an outlier and a bit of filler, the more that they can do my trin plus Scarlet here in this last moment makes it all connected. I think on bingo, I actually have something more substantive. I basically say, you know, Scarlet really predicted all of this or whatever. We'll see, but that's really great to hear uh, from my trin there. Okay, I gotta I got, I got to wait one second here. Literally one second. Just, I'm gonna put hot water into a uh, mug. One second, go. Alright, I'm back. See? Easy peasy. More Jade Tech stuff. I'm really getting a good sense this X back of like, the self-inflicted rules of not mounting is one thing, but like a real sense with the Jade Bot Mastery of all these times where I want to utilize it and I can't. Which is good. That's what I want. Oh, this cave looks great! What a great looking cave entrance! It looks properly dark in here. Oh, now it looks ugly. Why didn't they keep it dark? That was awesome. Come on. Oh. Another mastery insight. I'm a bit concerned that I, I don't have the choice to pick a special a, a mastery line. This sucks. Let me choose. I've had no decision point yet. All it's doing is spamming me through fishing before I've even engaged with fishing. Portal's offline. Holds compromised. Missing about a hundred unique parts and that's just us. Other ships in the fleet are just as bad. Captain! Captain! Scarlet's dead. And the commando... I killed her. I know. I don't care. Captain, pull yourself together. The crew can't see you like this. Scarlet was the post. Captain, you have maybe 10 seconds before the crew sees you like this and loses all respect for you. We're trapped in the mists and they need a leader. So, lead. You're right. Organize the crew. We start working to fix this right now. Wow, this is good. I think they're basically put, they, they're going along the lines of Anka is what. I don't think my trin is what we think my trin is. I think she's a lot softer, more rounded, sympathetic, possible frenemy in the in the working. Uh, Anka is what's pushed her along more than anything else. I'm guessing is a sense. This is really good though, getting a bit of that background, that stuff that we've missed in the years since she got busted out of jail. Interesting that they've got just an elite in the story area, an open world elite. These guys are tough. A lot of players will struggle with this. Possibly me included. I have no quality of life on this build. Beyond, you know, the fact that it's a Reaper build. This break bar is too hard for me to get to as well. Maybe this was optional, though, because there's not actually a uh, thing in here. Yeah, I kind of want to go to blood. Screw the whole thing. We are... Uh, let's just play dragons with blood. I want my blood magic back. 
Let's play Quickening Thirst as well so I can get rid of the Signet. And I can put the Well of Darkness on. And then let's run with... Um, I don't know, Transfusion. Okay, uh... Doesn't look like there's one here. Here's one. Sneaky. I know where you're going with that, and the answer is no. We have no other choice. How else do we get the part? Mm -hmm. How? Uh, what you're saying is we travel through the fractals in the mists, find our past selves, and steal from them? What? That's not possible. And even if it were, wouldn't we just be screwing up our own pasts? They're fractals. Echoes of pure potentiality. Our own pasts are secure. We'd just be exploring the alternative. Fractals are inherently unstable. We can't waltz around the mists wherever we please, like it's the South Sun Cove. We would have to travel to dozens of fractals. Stable fractals. Hundreds for the right parts. Even then, using those parts could have unpredictable results. <laughs> oh my god, that guy's crazy. You're okay with this? Fighting, maybe killing yourselves hundreds of times over? I ask again. How else do we get the part? Hey, Jory, I found a few recordings, but no leads. Who knew pirates had so much drama? Tell me about it. Just keep looking. Think we I might be on to something. Gorick, calm down. <laughs> I'll call you back. What did he shout? <laughs> Something is for the weak. He didn't say vengeance is for... Forgiveness is for the weak. <laughs> um, all right. My, this is wild stuff here. Well, uh, okay. Uh, my take on it is this. Scarlet's original plan involved a device that could sap power from an elder dragon. Scarlet's original plan was to wake Morgamoth up and actually, like, um, sap it in some way. Or utilize it to our own ends. And a part of... Uh, so she had some schematic, some idea for a big machine that could do that. She sent my Trin into the mists to start building that machine. But then Scarlet died. Everything got messed up. And they have no way of getting the parts. But... In some fractals, some echoes of the past, those, they, they can build the machine. And that's how they built the thing that just did Orenin. And we're doing some, uh, you know, Nolan's The Prestige or something, essentially. Alright, I already checked that cave. So where do we think now? I mean, these three rings. Will a ring go away when I found all the recordings in that ring? Also, I think the devs have coded this in a pretty good way in as much as I think it, they always come in in order, right? Well, let's see. Is this a repeat? Everyone all right? Zelda. One ship unaccounted for. Was that Kralkatoric in the mists? What's an Elder Dragon doing in the mists? Huh? What's been going on up here? And where the hell are we? I'm checking. You said we'd come out over the crystal desert. I was performing very complex calculations while also being chased by an elder dragon. So cut me some slack. Calm down, everyone. Anka, Ivan, see if you can get in touch with the other ships. Renyak, gather our supplies. Guess we're about to find out how Kant has changed in the last 200 years. Okay, so that's a very recent recording. Hold on. That is so, is that that's a really. Calm down, everyone. Let's see if you can get in touch with the other ships. Gather our supplies. Guess we're about to find out how Kant has changed in the last 200 years. That's them arriving. This is this is what they would. This is like the start of the expansion a second ago. But the conversation opens with them saying, "Was that Kraukatoric in the mist?" When I heard that, when this recording started a second ago, I thought we were dealing with you know season four, and the Aetherblade saw Kraukatoric while he was in the mist. 
but then the end of the, that recording suggests it just happened. So the, the green Kraukatoric from the trailer, the CGI trailer that released today, has that maybe got something to do with this at the moment? Or is this genuinely season four? And these guys had arrived in Canther a while ago as well. Not just recently, but maybe a while ago they'd been in Canther too. This is their second visit here. And when they're talking about Kraukatoric in the mists, it's not green Kraukatoric. It's just season four Kraukatoric charging around. Which, you know, we're more than familiar with. And then there's the question of why did they want to come out over the Crystal Desert? Just because it's remote? And, uh, you know, somewhat local? Or is it is there something deeper going on there about Augury Rock or Glint's Lair or Vlast? You guys think this is a previous Canther trip? They've been here a whole year. Okay. Well, we'll get more context. By the way, it does remove the rings. So hold on. So there should be one more box here and then probably one in the airship itself. Which is weird, I would have expected multiple within each ring, but that's fine. There it is, it's up there, it's on the cliff. Full disclosure, I'm now recording this conversation. For posterity. And let the record show that Ivan does not like what First Mate Anka is insinuating. Not one bit. Relax, mole face. I'm not insinuating anything. Even an obsequious brown-nosing bootlicker like Ivan must have noticed how much time the captain's been spending among the Canthans. She's in it. Mutiny? What do you call it? Uh, casing the place. But the crew's getting restless. We should be ransacking the locals, dare I say, even committing a little bit of piracy. Instead, we're hiding in these ruins up to our ears in seawater and hungry risen. We're not hiding, we're strategizing. You want to pillage the most technologically advanced civilization on Tyria without a plan? The captain's got a connection in Cantha. That's our inn. We do a couple of jobs for this canton, earn some trust, and then we make our move. So there are other trins here, more trins. So I think that my trins softened up. I think they're trying to mutiny from a... That's interesting. By the way, Anka's got a great voice. I just can't imagine her as an Asura. I love this. The, 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 she's got like a certain flow to the way that, that she speaks that I'm... I'm I really like. But she's not really a Suri yet feeling. Anyway, um... Oh, what's the game that we don't know how to get into the airship? Officer Roz. May Balthazar strengthen you. You okay there? I feel about ready to do the Aetherblade meta, you know? When I do, by the way, if people in the live chat and in Spud want to play it with me... They explain this to me again. She needs a kind of dragon expert. She has every possible resource in Kampa at her disposal. Why does she need us to find her a dragon expert? Apparently, they're in short supply, so she needs us to import one. Mm, a dragon expert? Yeah. I was thinking you could go to Radisson, maybe ask. I know someone. What? I know someone. I think they'd be willing to come. No question. I know exactly what he wants to hear. Oh, oh, she's horrible. Commander, need you ASAP. We may have just found our lead. I'll take that. I know how long it took to find that thing. <laughs> okay, what was that about? Oh, Gorik, man. Gorik's got to get revenge on her by the end of this. She knew he was into it, her, and she just manipulated him. Oh, Gorik. I like how feisty he is, though. Feisty Gorik is my favorite Gorik so far. Okay, uh, so we don't actually go in there. 
Is this more optional recordings? Optional logs? Oh, so there were three in each other in each area. They just don't require you to hear all of them. I'm, I'll get them all. Two seconds holding this gun. And they telegraph where the last ones are. Lots of good stuff there. I know the site's off because I'm having trouble shooting things. That's obvious. My question is, can you fix it? Maybe. Depends. Renyak, this doesn't have to be tedious. The others. What do they say about me? Mm, I don't know. But you're insecure? Anka! Ex-slavers like you don't get by on personality. You want to succeed in the Age of Blades? Get results. All right. How? At this very moment, you can start by fixing my gun. I love that. Just the magic of what is everyone else saying about me that you're insecure. <laughs> this is such a good flow. Oh! Oh, what have we got here? Oh dear. Okay. Um. Well, let's see. Uh, so, when I click OK, I think he's going to kick me out of the client, right? So, let's see if we can get back in, shall we? Oh, it didn't even click me out of the client. Man, the character selects. So good. That, like, gimbal effect is so good. Oh, okay, alright. No, no big deal, no big deal. Alright. Oh, there's an event here this time. Officer Roz is now doing stuff at the wreckage. I'll help Officer Roz. Looks like the last thing's in the water as well, low down too. He he seemed to have been bugged before, but this time he's not bugged, so that's cool. Well, actually, no. It's a group event, so I'm a little bit scared. If I was on my uh, Tempest min-maxed and stuff, I, I would do whatever group event, but... As it stands, probably not too 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 easy. How's the meta? They fortified the surrounding area. Uh, on wiki, if you do wiki slash e slash wiki et, does that have meta timings on there again now? Think I'm scared of you, some little rat thing with pointy hands. Well, hello, Commander. Say, didn't you just beat this gentleman's friends to a pulp? Indeed. Looks like I must have forgotten one. We found him roaming around out here. Seems he was piecing this together. I recall Blish using similar components in his portal research. Appears to be a tool for mistraversal. Shame if we accidentally dropped it off a scenic overlook. And I hear the mists are lovely this time of year, too. Careful with that. We need... Fine. What do you want? Make it quick. Anka cited a professional interest in Elder Dragon research, namely Aureen. Care to elaborate? You're asking the wrong guy. Anka does the dragon stuff. And maybe my train? Who knows anymore? Sounds a bit uncertain. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's better things coming. Big plans. The Jade Winds are a changing. Whoa. Care to elaborate on these big plans, Air Fiend? <sighs> Rude to my associate and off top. <laughs> the bird. Commander, would you teach this bozo some manners? No, wait, 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 wait. I don't want to teach the bozo manners because I want the optional log and I, I thought it was. What are they talking about there? First of all, Sky Scale with the uh, shadow looked awesome. Um, the, uh, the Eighth of Blades don't even give a crap about Elder Dragon stuff. There's better things coming, big plans. The Jade Winds are a changing. Woohoo! Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's get this last log. Must get more information. Oh. Jesus, how did I... How did I end up so off track with that? It's so... It's there, right? I really get the sense it's inside the ship. I suppose there's a very thin chance that... Um, the next bit of the story is going to take me inside that. No, it's just, I think it's super, that's just, oh my god, this is claustrophobic. And I'm an Asura. Ah, here we are. Wow. I'm going to see him again. I hated Gorik once. I resented how oblivious he was to me, to the world. 
now. I don't feel anything. Sitting on these crumbling ruins at the edge of the world. I'm looking out at emptiness. We're like ants. Scuttling through life until we die. And then nothing's left but bones and rubble. The stars. The gods. The dragons. Our lives are a rounding error on the scale of their existence. Holy. Screw it. I won't be a rounding error. Okay, the delivery on that was really good, right? Wow, the melancholy. I got the mo- I don't know about you guys, but I got the most striking visual of the, the, the world versus world map, the edge of the mists. And looking out at, like, the desert. The, the, for some reason, I don't know why, but, like, the desert keep ruins. And just a sense of just someone looking at that. And I know they might not literally be talking about that. That's probably a little bit limited imagination of me there or whatever. But that was the visual I got. And it was, an, it was an amplified visual, considering how dead Edge of the Mist is as a game type now, and no one's ever there. It's just quiet, and lonely, and melancholy. That was really well delivered. Um, that was very good. Also, I, so, there's bonus, so there's bonus achievements, and you get Marjorie's face when it's like a detective type thing. Question is, do they want me in here? Because this feels all kinds of janky now. <laughs> I think possibly not. Wow. Okay. And we get some uh, something sort of tangible for Anka. Anka could become kind of just a very black and white baddie type character. But there, I feel quite a lot for her, actually. Who who, can't, who, who wouldn't sympathize with that or empathize with how she feels? I think it's a very uh, very easy thing to get into that headspace. Okay, so let's, um, let's go beat up this Aether Blade now. Who it seems completely none the wiser and quite hilariously burped at us when we were asking for details. Um, I hadn't seen the name of that track on the soundtrack, but I know people have been trying to give it to me and warning me it's a spoiler. And now you've just nakedly posted it in chat, so that's cool. But we'll get there when we get there. Jesus Christ, dude. Can I use standard enemy models in PvE, please? Okay. Not interested. What are you gonna do? Look, I, you know who I am. Let's not make this difficult. Um, let's break this fool's kneecaps. Holy shit. Uh, let's not make it difficult. Uh, okay, okay. I don't know what the plans are. Just heard some higher ups mention it. Look, I fix stuff, clean the galley, might run a few errands. Nobody's telling me nothing. Gods, we're beating up the maintenance guy? This isn't helping anything. Let him go. Can you just give it back? Yeah! Korik! Damn it! What'd you do that for, you little dweeb? Seems to have gotten stuck in these pointy hands. I could probably repair it quite easily, but I have work to do. This is so... Uh, hold on as well, I didn't talk hey, about... Oh. So when are you stopping by the Minsec office for those files? <laughs> Connie's got to lock up at some point. She really doesn't like working overtime. Detective, can you please stop hacking our private communications? I'm not hacking. <laughs> For the love of... Commander, if you want those files, then they're waiting at the Minsec office. Don't try any funny business. I understand. I'll be there soon. This... Hacker! Oh, I feel... I tell you, playing in a Asura through this is good with all the tech stuff. Um, yeah, I like how they're so instantly savvy to that. Uh, you know, if especially if you guys just played through with me in Season 4... Ogden is like has no idea how to use the communicator and uh, Who's the other character? I think there's a char that doesn't know how to use it, but these guys are instantly on the same way Okay, we're gonna talk about this I'm so sure that Blish is in this expansion. That is the device, right? That's the season 4 device It's not that the Aether Blades have Found their own way to make one. That's literally it. They recovered Blish they have Blish. And that, that was a theory that we had before this came out, right? Koss. Koss was the other character. Thank you. Right? I mean, I, I'm totally right about this. Keep walking, sunshine. Yeah, all right, Bran. I guess we got a lead out of him. A little cryptic, but I can work with it. 
I've never felt so alive. Now I know how the mantis feels as it closes in on its prey. Take it easy, tough guy. That was pretty badass. But there is a certain finesse to this job. We'll practice. You can try being good cop next time. Okay. So, question. Do I want a waypoint or do I want a raptor? I want a raptor. But then, let's, so let's waypoint here first and then <laughs> we'll raptor afterwards. It's nice to be here in day. We didn't see much of this in day earlier. Ching the citizens of Echol seek independence as the ministries angle to increase their presence. I'll be speaking with a recent Echovaldian transplant and discuss why some oppose these extreme measures. And uh, the language. Talking about citizens as transplants and stuff. It's all very real world, you know. Um, okay, so let's go to... Oh, it's just marked as Raptor Taxi. So just Saitung Harbor, I guess. Is it always the area name? Or just to the harbor, I, I think is probably actually. Let's go real quick. Whoopsie. Just knocked the teaspoon I was mixing my uh, coffee with. Doliak steak. Oh my god, I kind of want to hear what they say about Doliak there. Because of that whole thing where the horse was in the concept art and they changed it to a Doliak. Oh man, nice nice view over there. Feels like the draw distance is quite far actually. Blish Hopium. Yeah, I believe in the Blish Hopium. For sure I do. Maybe I need to go into town more. See, look, again, love. Love is a big conversation. Comes up again there. They're talking about their soulmate. Finding a soulmate. That's kind of weird. Couldn't we have stuck to the roads? <laughs> okay, hello, everyone. We're back. I kind of want to do a tiny bit of fishing here because I still haven't managed to yet. Let's fish where there's a hot spot. That's something I'd really like to do. Just before we head on up. Man, the uh, the judder is bad when you're in and out of the water. Here we go. Hello, peasant. I'll fish with you. Shorefish. So what was the mechanic with shorefish again? So when we bob... Are we bobbing? No, now we're bobbing. I wonder if this ever ends up like super engaging or whatever. Yeah. What? Well, that was recommended 150. I only have 90 and I got it pretty quick, easy. Let's try again. Kind of want to equip some bait and stuff as well. Oh. Oh god, I, my keybinds. I'm not used to the keybinds. <laughs> Mine's 95, it's recommending 150 again. This is moderate difficulty, apparently. Moderate difficulty. I have absolutely no gear or anything. Yeah, what item did I get? Did I get junk, did I? Broken fishing hook. Another fisherman's poor luck is also your poor luck. A cherry salmon. Fabulous fish. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was late. Oh, nice animation. If you miss it. Dude, I look like Stitch from Lilo and Stitch there. Dude, look at me go. What a god. Oh. So when I'm only somewhat in the green, it's not. it doesn't actually count. What one's this? This one's supposed to be moderate as well. This one's a little bit more of a challenge, which is good. In fact, I'm failing this one. There we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, this feels just like Stardew, you know? It's like I've got a catfish or something in there. I've got an eel. Oh, I'm doing a thing where I'm, like, anticipating that it's coming back. There we go. Daily End of Dragons Fisher. Daily Saitung Province Naga Slayer. 
And dragons end event completer. Which we know is one of the map names. Like Dragon Stand, Dragon Storm, Dragon Fall. Hey, I got three ascended materials as well. Already right at the bottom of the progression. Okay. Oh, and the hotspot's gone. All right, I'm happy with that. I do want to buy some bait and stuff. There's legendary weapon stuff at Aureen's Cave. Yeah, I saw your message earlier. When we go back to the cave, I'll have a look at the vendor there. I love this one blue roof here. Daily for the last zone on day one, three hours before reset. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I was thinking that. <laughs> After all that effort to hide and be, you know, crazy petty about that, those two words not appearing in the press and stuff. And then that's what's gonna, that they're going to do anyway, you know. It's like... But whatever, you know. Whatever. Okay, so... I'm messing this up, aren't I? The, 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 the road in is over here. Haven't I just completely balls this up? Well, maybe I need to waypoint and go... Oh, yeah, i got to go all the way over. I'm in, like, the lower town right now, and I need to get higher up. Like up here. You just got kicked and can't log back in? Oh, I'm s sorry to hear that. The reds feel really good here. Another incident report in the accounts receivable folder? Day I better shape that rookie up. <laughs> I think it's designed every time you come in and out, there's like a different bit of dialogue that might fire. What is this art here? That looks incredibly cool. What is that? Yeah. Akane, right? Detective Rama gave me permission to be here. Okay, yeah, that's totally interesting. I'm going to dig through your archives. In the back, knock yourself out. Ooh, I'll be keeping a close eye on you. <laughs> As she thumbs through the book without lifting a single, you know, without lifting her chin. Hey, have you ever been to New Kynang? It's like so much more exciting. <laughs> okay. I like how the youthful... How everyone thinks about the city is really cool, actually. I like that the, the, they kind of get that across, you know. When you're in these rural areas, you know, what people's takes are on the, the big, happening, exciting place. You know, and if you think about, like, um, this region as, like, an analog for a place that's going through the Industrial Revolution and all that stuff, I think, uh, I think it's cool. Uh, this high-ranking uh, member of the purest criminal organization is believed to operate out of New Kynang City and has been involved in several acts of domestic terrorism. So the purists are now a criminal organization. They, ha they may have ties to powerful people within Canthas government and private sector. Their current status is unresolved. The assignee was Captain Min at the East Precinct. Hey, what do you think of Minister Lee? Total buzzkill, am I right? Dude, I like him. I like him. Uh, by the way, <laughs> I, uh, I re you see in the bottom left of my screen right now, you can just about see the text. Um, I scanned ahead as that dialogue was coming in, and what I honest to God thought she was going to say is, Hey, what do you think of Minister Lee? Total biscuit, am I right? <laughs> I was like, total biscuit? No, 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 buzzkill. As in, you know, she was into him. Report filed by Detective Rama. The detective investigated witnesses, witness sightings at the Eastern Wilds. Of sus the Eastern Wilds? Of suspected members of the Purists, a group identified by New Kaineng Security Division as a potentially dangerous entity. The report has been reviewed by Minister Lee and has been closed for reasons insufficient evidence, actions unenforceable. Okay, that doesn't look good for Lee. They're kind of... They could go two ways with Lee. They could just make him the bad guy. I, I think that would be really lame. But we'll see. 
We'll see. That looks like they're telegraphing it one way more than another. I'll say that much. What is this on this? Is this the thing from POF at the medic hut where you can pick it up? You know, you got more and pestle there, bandages, unguents. Is that what you were looking for? I don't know. Uh, officers of Luxon, Kurzik, and Tengu backgrounds. The Ministry of Security Public Relations team is looking for volunteers to promote MinSec as a safe and diverse workplace. Please contact Hyre Young in the press office for more uh, information. They got affirmative action going on here. Remember, some of those files are super off limits to you. Incidents of violent crime have increased 1,730% as we continue to deal with the presence of mainland Tyrian criminals. Situation is under control, but Minister Lee has filed a request with the Imperial Court for a 15 million gold budgetary increase for the next quarter. This request is still pending approval. What the hell? 1,730% and they're ascribing it all to mainland Tyrian criminals, i.e. Aether Blades, but they paint us all with one brush. A slight uptick in Dragon Jade malfunction complaints. 17 dangerous incidents reported during this quarter. So here's like the real story. And here's the chaos that we've brought, you know. One of them is seriously being over-represented and the other under-represented. Ugh, are you doing something gross back there? What? No! This is a reminder that all Shinji Security Division Office equipment must be returned after use in good condition or you will receive an employee behavior ticket. There are rules, people. Is this set up that the last one I pick up will be the one? Because I'd actually be really happy with that. I'm scared that I'm going to click the right one too early and I'm going to miss. Got what you needed? <laughs> I love how many lines they've done. Uh, personal reading uh, material of salacious nature is not suitable for the workplace environment. So this is from Senior Office Administrator Chang Lihua. That frigid old bird. Those files are so old and boring. What do you even want from them? God. <laughs> Surveillance order. Um, this is a dossier on June. Ooh. Surveillance order signed by Lee. Okay, Lee does not like June, eh? Madam June is the owner of Junlai Jade, formerly known as the Junlai Guild. Dude, I love this. She shares a blood relation to the current Emperor of Canther, Empress In. The valuation of Junlai Jade's assets are estimated to be about 3 billion gold across all holdings in Xingji, New Kaineng, and the Jade Sea. The company, I like how they can actually write a number now with the hindsight of kind of more context with how much money Guild Wars players actually have. Like in launch, there's some references of like buying houses with 10 gold because they didn't really know how to predict where gold would settle and what would be like a lot. And here it's 3 billion. <laughs> New Kainang in the JC. The company was investigated. Also, 3 billion feels kind of close to like real world numbers as well, which helps it get sold. Uh, the company was investigated last year for illegal dumping of dangerous or hazardous materials in the Echovald. But the case was closed when Madame June settled with the Imperial Court for an undisclosed amount. Neither June nor Junlai Jade have been officially indicted with any charges. They're both looking dodgy right now. Cog skull, huh? The Aether Blades must be marking their territory. Investigation of foreign pirate activity has thus far encompassed Xingji. We're una unable to ascertain the location of their hideout, but concerned citizens have reported sightings of suspicious markings. The common description seems to be a cog or a skull with a sword, uh, sword in the foreground. This may be some form of communication for the criminals of the organization. Sketches of these markings have been sent to the Ministry of Intelligence for analysis. So, surely, well, hold on. Is it Aether Blades or Crimson Skull, though? Sorry, what's the di A cog or a skull? Is it some kind of alliance? The cog being the Aether Blades, the skull being the Crimson Skull? No? Not what I needed, I think. Thanks for your help, Akane. Mm. <laughs> nice, okay. Mm, that's it. 
By the way, are we in an event area here now? Help Shang Cho. Tend to the garden. Water plants, pick weeds and fruits, spray hey, infested bye. plants. Bye. Commander, I'm at Orbean's cave. You need to get over here. Like right now. I'm on my way. No, I'm not on my way. I'm not on my way up. I want to go. Uh, still need to file that request with the Ministry of Plumbing to unclog those drains. Ugh, have fun. There you go. We got a bit of sewage. We all wanted it. There it is. Um. Yeah. That event range is weird. It's like in the garden area background here. Uh, what do these hands come from the ground fondling you? How do you get one that? Uh, how doth one get that effect? Why did you type it that way? Uh, it's an outfit, unfortunately. It's just tied to the outfit that I'm wearing. Uh, which is called the ghostly outfit. Hence the ghostly hands. Uh, let's see. Pesticides. Oh, nice. Spray down the infested plants. This is a little bit like that gardening event in Diesa, which is one of my favorite things from Core. So there's a lot of icons here. Are they just, But they're all... How do I see where pesticides are needed? This is a nice event. The water tap. What would I do with the water tap, though? Oh. We seem to have created a mosquito. A very tanky mosquito. That did help the event a little bit. Man, why am I alone in all these events? What's going on? Where's the players? Like, I think Arena Net need to learn a lesson about the kind of thing people do, right? They will beeline story and nothing else. And Guild Wars isn't like built in a way that actually addresses that kind of player behavior, I think. Dry soil. Well, surely I can get the water. Oh, here you go. Water tap over to the jar. And we got five, and now we can go to the dry soil. I see. By the way, environmental weapon and um, special action going on at once, which is nice. I'll do it on my own. I'll spend ten minutes here, and I'll make this garden pretty. Hanging fruit. Let's clean that up. That could, that could be sorted. It's interesting that this is one dynamic event, the equivalent of which in core was actually a whole half. What we got? We got a weed back there. Let's pluck that weed out. This weed here as well. Don't want to deal with that. Some more over here. More weeds. <laughs> Meta event isn't up. That's good. Oh, but I am getting so little progress here, you know. I've performed a lot of actions here, and I'm only about quarter done. I'll go back to the water fountain real fast. And there's also something on my mind. How many of these objectives here are going to reset, you know? Hey, a player! Hi. Also, that's another thing. Absolutely no conversation between anyone. I'm keen to see whether the, the skiffs and the fishing and the siege turtles and stuff will actually create more meaningful interaction between people, but... I have my doubts. Is some more hanging through here? Do, am I actually collecting items that they want me to deposit at the, the the lady here? Lady, the man, sorry. Glad we saved those before the flies got them. Stupid bugs have a bigger sweet tooth than I do. Oh, nice. Okay, so um, I gave him something. I don't know what exactly, but I did give him something. And that actually pushed the progress up really high. Why do events, car and XP, not needed anymore? It's sad, but it's how most people think. No, you're right, you're right. I mean, you're identifying some of the myriad problems with Guild Wars 2's reward structures and currencies and 
You know, what's going through my mind right now is I'm somewhat hoping that there's an achievement associated with this because that would make it feel worth my while. Otherwise, I'm playing it for my own sense of wanting to get a lot of the product, which most people are not as into the game as me and they won't do that for me. I'm not um, confused about why player behavior is what it is. I just lament what it is. All right, so I think I will have got a few more fruits here now and I can hand them in. You know, this is the kind of stuff season six needs to look at. It needs to look My at kind of stuff like karma. Favorite. Have to store that for when she visits. Uh, just hope it'll keep for that long. Aw. Any more dry soil here? Here's some. That should do. Oh, there we go. Place hasn't looked this good since she was. You're not as lazy as you look. Oh. All I'm trying to say. Okay. Bye. <laughs> he just disappeared. All right. Okay, so, um, and then this one is the, uh, the shipment, which, again, nobody's really doing. Uh, so, uh, back to Aureen's cave. Is the fisherman gonna take me there again? I would love him to. Skiff taxis are actually more exciting to me than, um, raptor taxis right now. Uh, also, I could totally glide over to that from here, couldn't I? You know that mountain that the magic lady haunts? <sighs> What oh shit, the fractal! About? There's this secret mountain in the sky, and some lady haunts it because she's sad her daughter died. The sorrowful spellcaster! When you get older, you'll know those stories are made up. Who comes up with this story? Oh, 10 out of 10. Well done! Talking about the, the fractal? That's so good. Also, an adolescent Tengu. Very good. Very good. All right. And yeah, it's a very little, little kid. <laughs> okay, uh... I reckon I'm gonna go. Oh, this is some Spyro shit right here. Oh, this is good. And here you go, the Virtuoso. His name is Dorcas. It's a Silvari. Welcome to Xingji, fellow traveler. I was about to start my mental exercises. Mental exercises? Oh, you must be a Mesmer. That I am. At the monastery, we practice a very precise art. Rather than summoning phantasms, the virtuoso creates manifestations of our daggers to aid us in battle. It takes years of practice. Oh, so a virtuoso is a type of mesmer. The virtuoso is a master of the blade, the dagger more specifically. We've learned to concentrate all our mental magic into our daggers, bringing them forth as unique phantasms to aid us. That must have taken years. It did, but the result was potent. It takes far less energy to summon forth a phantasmal dagger, making us quicker, more prepared. Do these daggers behave differently than a normal phantasm? They stick close to their mesmer, ready to fly and slice through the This is all... This isn't really giving me anything. It's just describing the visuals of the spec. So, you don't summon phantasms? No, we do not. Uh, we find that phantasms are unpredictable, difficult to control. Our daggers are far more refined. They don't run about causing havoc. For yeah, yeah. Why daggers? The daggers are quite elegant. Simple initially. It was just used in practice for meditation while we were learning to summon forth a weapon in the place of our phantasms. It was dot 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 perfect. I think I'm supposed to be reading this slow, like he's very meditative and zen. What are you doing in Xingji? I came to Kantha not too long ago. It's tranquil here, quiet. It reminds me of my home, the grove. I heard that Mazma's practiced a very specific craft at the monasteries, and I wanted to see... This is kind of a profound thing, that just there are random travelers like this that have made it to Kantha. Xingji is beautiful. That it is. It's not filled with technology and garbage like New Kaineng or Echovald. That's the dumping zone, right? They mentioned dumping in the Echovald. Xingji is perfect for practicing Land mental mother. magics. Surprising. It's rare to see your kind. I take it water. Does uh, it's not the Lagos. We heard it already. But perhaps it should. Unlike you, I sense the malice in these changing tides. A threat that should concern us both. Beneath the tree's cooling shade, you can feel the landscaper's pride and accomplishment. <laughs> pride and accomplishment, okay. This tree's one big microtransaction. Look out across the harbor. It really is the reflections that they did well on, the, on this, right? Oh, there's some more shorefish there. Let's take a, take a quick splash. You didn't expect the Echovald to have a pollution subplot? Well, we'll see how it feels when we get there, right? Yeah. 
Collected weed, it said there. What does that mean? Collected weed. Well, this one's quite small and it's moving quite fast. I don't have the power to make it through this one. I want to fail some of these. I want it to be like, oh, I want a really high level rod or I want better bait because some of this stuff's really, really hard. Ooh, tricky little fishy. Okay, so there we got a, a, a chestnut sea bream. And also that Dingda collection. It looks like I've got three out of seven varieties of fish on this map. Okay. Leviathan again. All right, so wait, wait, wait. we got to speak to the fisherman, don't we? Fishing isn't tough if one develops. Oh. <laughs> hey, who has time for that? He's not here. Or it's this guy, wasn't it? You're not gonna take me again, dude. I wanna go to the crystal cave. You're gonna make me swim to the crystal cave. All right, off we go. Anything I change about the fishing? I don't really like the UI right now. I don't know. I will have to play a lot more, a lot more before I have any opinions. I have nothing of worth to say right now because I've only got four hours of game time. I, I fished up like five fish, uh, you know. Uh, have you noticed the story journal has the AE year as well as the Canton year? I haven't actually. No, I haven't looked at that yet. Oh yeah, look. Slash Canton calendar. Nice. That is cool. Old friends, outreach. Nice art each time as well. They're printing it. That's, that's always been true, though, right? Yeah. I wonder in terms. Well, I, I don't want to go digging the achievements too closely. Okay, the crystal cave. Let's drop down. My instinct to climb up there is not the right instinct to have. Hey, it's a spud! Just in the other branch of spud. Nice fashion. Nice mech. I do like that about mega servers, how it will put your guildies yeah. together. Okay, so apparently there's a vendor here for the... Oh, here we go, this guy. Levius, the legendary crafting. Okay, so they want 10 tales of adventure. And I can get the dragon's gaze. The dragon's gaze. The dragon's wisdom. And the dragon's insight. Those are artifacts. These are the weapons, basically. These are the Aurene weapons. Level 500, so you've got to be an ascended crafter. So, yeah. Um, I've got two tales of adventure so far. Is that because of reset? No, I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's head in. Wow, we're gonna get some big striking underwater visuals in this one. That was something, eh? Ugh, alchemy, you're here. What's going on, Tiny? I don't know. Orin and Kate, they're they're fine. June, what are you doing here? I told you my jade tech can help your dragon, so that's what I'm doing, helping. But we were talking to Orin when she went quiet all of a sudden. It's like she's sleeping, but not. I thought it could be a concussion from the fall, but then Kate, uh, she fell silent too, while still standing. I don't know if she's being affected because of their connection or what. All my tests show Aurene's magic levels are steadily improving. Perhaps the extractor caused lingering side effects. Maybe, but it's impossible. Whoa. Holy shit. Hello? Hello? Commander? Commander? Over here. Over here. Whoa! Kate's here as well. Make sense of your surroundings. Oh, I'm force walking again. Okay. Whoa. Kate. 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 Where are we? Shh. They're talking. They're, talking. They're not just mortals. They're my friends. Oh, they're using the subtitle thing from Icebreed Saga They're again. your flock. The shepherd watches and protects. But she does so in solitude. When I created the others, I thought 
I don't have to be alone anymore. Oh my god, what is this? <sighs> the other elder dragons? You're there. Hmm. I was imperfect, you see. Attuned to water, but not the other elements. I thought my children would bring balance and harmony to the fabric of magic. But... Then, what happens now, Suwon? Now, you take my place, little one. Consider it's... what I've said. It's the Deep Sea Dragon, the S. Coming around. Oh, good. I thought it was contagious. Uh, that's what S. That's happened? Steve. That was the first Elder Dragon, the mother of all dragons. Isn't that right, Aureen? Kralkatorix, mother. My great-grandmother. What? what? We'd spoken before, a few times. I didn't know who she was until we came here. What does she want? For me, to take her place. Take her place? And become the one Elder Dragon. The last Elder Dragon who wanted something from you was Jormag, and we know how that turned out. Su Wong isn't Jormag. Can we be sure? You can. Su Wong's been Tantha's guardian since the Zaitan disaster. Oh my god! Or so goes the legend. I need some time to think about this. Whoa, we gotta recap of this. Course. In the meantime, we still have to find the Aether Blades. And whatever that extractor thing is, how did they get their hands on something capable of doing this? Anka was a brilliant machinist, and that weapon was a Sura made, but the technology is beyond even the inquest. That's because it's Canthan. I gave it to my Trin. You hired them, didn't you? I did. Whoa. You? You hired them? This is all because of- I didn't know what they were capable of, or their history in Tyria. If I did, I never would have- I'm sure you have questions. Ask me anything. Hold on, I'm not as interested in you right now as all the other stuff they're trying to rush me past. Okay, alright, okay. So, um... Do you guys remember a minute ago I told you there was like another spoiler I knew? When it, I, I knew Sue Won. I've known Sue Won for a while now. Because I had seen an achievement. I'd gone digging in achievements and I'd seen <laughs> an achievement. Uh, I still won't say exactly, but I've read like the description of one of the last achievements in the game and I, I saw Sue Wan and I was like, oh, that's the Deep Sea Dragon's name. So, Mother is the Deep Sea Dragon. Or I suppose there's still a guest. Maybe there's. there's well, let's reread this. Maybe they're separate. They've consolidated those two characters. Perhaps the extractor caused Linger Green side effects. Maybe, but it's impossible to tell without the device itself. Hello? Kate says, Commander over here. What? Where are we? Shh, they're talking. So, we cut. We only get the back half of their conversation. And it starts with Aureen saying, They're not just mortals, they're my friends. And Unknown says, They're your flock. The shepherd watches and protects, but she does so in solitude. So, Unknown, Sue Wan... Su Wan doesn't seem too sympathetic to mortals, right? And you kind of have to look closely at what they were talking about, the tone of their conversation, right when we butt in. They're your flock. The shepherd watches and protects, but she does so in solitude. When I created the others, I thought I don't have to be alone anymore. The other elder dragons, you were... Hmm, I was imperfect, you see. I was a dragon attuned to water, but not other elements. And I thought my children would be bring balance and harmony to the fabric of magic. So that's suggestive of this time where Mother was the only thing. That there was imbalance and craziness. So haven't we just moved the goalpost? And Aureen says, so what happens now, Sue One? You take my place, little one. Consider what I've said. So Aureen as the prismatic elder dragon can be the ultimate dragon. Glint hadn't anticipated it, but there it is. Marjorie says, looks like they're coming around. Oh, good. I thought it was contagious. What happened? Kate says, that was the first elder dragon, the mother of all dragons. 
So we don't know if this is the deep sea dragon, actually. Su-1, it starts with an S, but it might not also be the... They could still be separate characters. I might be jumping the gun here, actually. There might be Su-1, Mother, and also Steve. But Su-1, S, and saying it's water-related sounds to me like they've consolidated. The sixth member of the Pantheon is the, is the Mother. Kraukatorik's Mother... I don't really like this, by the way. I've got to be honest. It's like Tyria shrinks the more stories they tell. I liked the idea that there have been loads and loads of cycles or something. But this is just Kraukatorik's mum, that's it. Like, literally, and then that, that's where the whole Elder Dragon thing started. I suppose they're trying to close out the story, right? So they can't go as big scale as I originally imagined it all was. Anyway, what, what? Aureen's been speaking to Suwon before. She wants to become... She wants Aureen to become the one Elder Dragon. Good point where we compare to Jormag. But June says there's a legend that Su Wan's been their guardian forever. Su Wan is like the Canthan name, right? I guess the Canthan ascribed that name to Su Wan. So did Su Wan make not just the Elder Dragons, but also Kunavang and the Salt Sprays? Did Su Wan make all of that? Aureen needs time to think about this, because what Aureen is glossing over is the fact that becoming the One Elder Dragon is somehow bad for us as mortals, right? Because again, the start of their conversation had this, this note of like... What did Su Wan say that prompted Aureen to respond? They're not just mortals, they're my friends. Su Wan is coaching Aureen to be distant and dispassionate about us. And Aureen doesn't like that idea. Anyway, then we move into this other story. What about the Aether Blades and the Extractor thing? How did they get their hands on something capable of doing this? Turns out it's Canthan Tech. I don't like how Gorik can state as a matter of fact what the depths of Inquest Tech is. He's not in the Inquest anymore. Who knows? And even members within the Inquest don't know the full breadth of the thing. Maybe the Inquest can do it. Who's he to say not? Anyway, June steps in and just says, look, it's Canthan. She willingly gave this tech to Mitrin. But she didn't realize what she was doing wrong. So, what? what's this? I can't go into anything. It's my interest to be transparent here. Oh, sorry, I can go into anything. Okay. You worked with Mitrin. She was working for me. She's got Canthan ancestors. So you are the contact among us. My guards caught her snooping around one of my power plants. She'd hacked my security system. I could have made her disappear. No one knew who she was after all. But I was impressed at her resourcefulness. So I told her to come work for me. I need people who can find my blind spots, and I took a liking to her. She became my protege. Bit of a slow learner, but she worked her ass off. Whenever I tried explaining Jade Thama dynamics, she struggled. But somehow she always figured it out. I could never put my finger on it. That woman was haunted by something. Maybe all the people she killed at Lion's Arch. Maybe. Oh, that's a great... Oh, man, I'll tell you, Guild Wars is really good when someone in the background chimes in and they got, like, some cutting remark. Get in there, Marjorie. Good fucking point. And then June is like disconnected from that. She's like, maybe. She doesn't get it. She didn't see that. Uh, also, talking about Lion's Arch destruction again. Again, it makes the whole thing cozy. Uh, why did you hire them? I needed dragon research. As you're acutely aware, the dragon cycle threatens us all. And it turns out the best dragon researchers exist outside of Cantha. Mm-hmm. She's got a point there. The Aether Blades could go where I couldn't. That's why I needed Mai and her crew. I never asked them to kidnap anyone. I wanted to import talented researchers with their consent. Mm -hmm. How did they get here? Apparently, they came out of the mists. They were lucky to have landed in the ruins of Old Kaining and not... Well, you saw what happened when you dropped in on Xingjie. Um, you called Su Wan Canthus Protector. I suppose it began with the Zaitan disaster. Oh. The massive tidal wave of undead that came crashing to our shores. Worst calamity since the Jade Wind. 
Even a hundred years later, with all our advances, we still feel the effects. Well, Su Wan is the hero of that story. Rising from the depths, turning back the waters and the dead. Poetic stuff. People say she formed a pact with Kunavang to protect Kantha. Salt spray dragon, local, hero in her own right. But, aside from a few rumors here and there, they've hardly been seen since. For Su Wan to reach out to Orin so soon after her arrival, well, it's certainly a fascinating development. Oh my god, there's a lot of meaty stuff here, right? She turned back the waters in the dead. So they were definitely seen back then. Wow, what a cool moment for this, the world building here. So the tidal wave comes, Su Wan and Kunavang together. They're totally the dragons of the logo, by the way. It's Kunavang and Su Wan on the on the logo, a hundred percent. But ever since then, they've hardly been seen. I guess both Kunavang and Su Wan believe that they need to be distant from mortals. So that conversation in the trailer is Su Wan and Kunavang after they turned back the tides. I wonder if Su Wan is Kunavang's mother as well. I really want to see a moment or hear about a moment with Glint interacting with these two. Uh, at some point in the interim years before she died. For Su Wan to reach out to Arene so soon after her arrival. So it's been so long now that this is a rumor. Okay. Where are they now? June, the Aetherblades are planning something big. We need to track down my Trin before it's too late. I only spoke with Mai. And usually on my turf. They have a number of hideouts across Kantha. In Xingzhe, I'd expect her to be hiding somewhere in Zen Daijun. A cave, if I know her. My sources tell me the Ministry of Security's been looking for her. But somehow she's avoided detection. The Blades are a sneaky bunch. But we've got experience with their bag of tricks. Okay then. Marjorie, Gorik, let's finish this investigation. Let me know when you find my Trin. Commander. Because June's feeling... Uh, so what do we think? Do we take June at face value? Or is there still a lot of sneaky stuff she's not explained? My Trin comes across very likable to me at this point. Okay. Wow, they really progressed a lot of stuff there, eh? Aureen has nothing that. to say. You'll interrupt the optical beam. Is your technology capable of healing her? They're feeding her magic. It's the same technology we used to heal you. This may not be what you're accustomed to, Interior Commander, but I assure you it is safe. I would know. Oh wow, if I didn't walk up to that, I would have missed that dialogue. See, I think this is all kind of dodgy. So, hold on, the, the, the Canthans have found a way to push and pull and move magic around different entities via technology. You don't need a dragon. You don't need Chuck. You don't need... It's a shame Aureen doesn't have full collision here. So I guess this is going to be Aureen's state through most of this expansion. Depowered and it explains why she's not just rampaging around doing stuff. But Aureen was so cool earlier when she had like that psycho giggle. It was awesome. Yeah, you guys think June is suspicious as well? I'm glad I'm not the only one. Okay, so someone said the, the bottom tab. I, apparently I needed to... Okay, Prismatic Precursor Selection Box. Double click to select an Aureen themed legendary precursor. So we can look at the pre's. The Dragon's Flight, the Dragon's Wing, the Dragon's Claw. So I get one pre for free. Where do I get the other the other ones? Season I don't know what I'm going to do here because eventually this will become a Zaitan thing, right? For me anyway, or a Primordus thing. I don't know what what to start with. I think Staff. But I don't know, honestly. Torch is a really interesting choice. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to pick any, anything out of that. But yeah, okay, cool. Um, Thank you for that advice there in the live chat. I would have missed that otherwise. So, we're looking for the Aether Blades now. Oh, look at how the spuds have moved. Do you remember all the spuds were in the southern half earlier? And now they've all moved up here. <laughs> how many are in the city now? Four in the city. 
Okay. We should swap to the other guild again and see. That's EU spuds. Let's look at NA spuds. Oh, a lot of them aren't going to be showing up because they're on another build now. We got a couple of NA spuds in the city as well now. Okay, so do I uh, refresh the build? I guess I do because I want to see players around. Um, can I just ask, people who are watching this video live... By the way, to the people who are watching this on YouTube as a VOD... I mean, this is a long VOD. Oh, good job for sticking with it. Um, but people who are watching it live, can I ask, have you already patched? And was it, it was fine, right? There weren't any problems? Also, what happens if I go back to look at Aureen in the open world? Do I get dialogue with her? Well met, Commander. Oh, it's Myron. It's good to see you up and about. Aureen is still resting at the moment. The moment. How are you all here? This is where Aureen dragged herself to shore. With her in such a vulnerable state, the Empress thought it'd be fitting to let those who knew her tend to her. So we are allowed to accompany Kate here. Oh, it's locked. Yeah. It's... Damn, interesting. Okay, so you guys have patched and it's fine, right? Do we know what the detail of the patch was? It's probably some kind of bug where, like, there's a mouse over tooltip issue. Um, okay, so, uh... Let's just quickly relog here. Dude, the music's good. Great energy to this. Okay, I'm just gonna throw you on a black screen. I'm still here. We've got that tiny little partner logo there now. <laughs> just floating. I'm still here. I would just reboot it. The other thing I could do is obviously throw you on my intro screen. But uh, I don't see the point of it. Actually, my, my PC hard froze up when I uh, clicked out there. Oh, I want to point out I'm not using reshade. I didn't want to hurt the frame rate too much. I didn't want to fuck with things too much. And I didn't want to get an out of space error. So uh, I uh, this is vanilla. All the graphics and everything you're seeing. Not that I've seen much applause in the live chat, and hopefully I'll see some in the, the YouTube comments. But I'm down for it so far. Okay, there you go. So we patched. Patch. They removed Necro from the game. <laughs> Stay in character. Do you want to hear the music? Well, oh, we could do it later. I, I don't want to. I don't want to stall too hard. I just want to play. Okay, so we'll get a Raptor. Sorry, actually, where is it telegraphing me to go? Meet Gorik and Marjorie at Zendaijan. I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, let's see here. Have I finished my coffee already? I have. Jesus Christ. To Zendaijan! We're going to jog there. If I remember rightly, this Raptor course is what we saw on one of ArenaNet's streams pre-release. This whole thing so far is utterly amazing. I'm curious to hear how far you guys have got. Have we got anyone in the live chat who's in Kaineng already? Anyone in the Echo Vald or the end of the game already? <laughs> Four and a half hours in. Now, let's remember, a Living World patch takes two hours, generally speaking. So, I'm already double and a half of that. And we're, we're not even out of the first map yet. Okay, we got someone in the city in the live chat. Hey, Sean, how's it going? It's very good, Sean, so far. It's a shame you're only just getting it, man. You've missed some good stuff. Oh, we got a, a white crane. The purest assassin spirit. Oh, there's a few of you guys in old Kaineng. Oh, wow, the taxi ends already right there. Okay. Oh, that guy's off. Ha, <laughs> ha. Are they taxiing or are they, um... Oh, no, it's an NPC on one. Oh, no, no, no. That's a player on a taxi. He just gets a green nameplate, not a player nameplate. Nice. Oh, and they waved at me. Hello. I'll wave. I'll do anything to be a little bit social. Oh, it's very foggy and spooky and weird here, isn't it? The spirit vestibule. Oh, whoa, what is this? Encroaching darkness. The darkness encloses you, stifling each breath the longer you stay within it. Find a light source to protect yourself. Oh, this is like some bone skin and stuff. How scary do you think this is going to get, guys? Oh, my God, the temple is like... I've got to go to the temple. Okay, this, this temple is really good. If you watch the original CGI Factions trailer, 
with Shiro Tagachi's hand. And like the place of the corruption where the plague begins and stuff. It's here. It's at this temple. This is where the hand mark is. So they might be sort of pointing out that this area of the world is like permanently scarred or something. How do I get there though if I can only move from light to light? Hmm. Maybe I'll come here later, actually. Oh god, I've been gra grabbed by something. Shackled. Grasping darkness. The darkness has taken hold of you. I wonder if this is some... Uh... So hold on, so if Su Wan and Kunavang are established there... Oh god, this is very Jaw Maggie, isn't it? Because it's like, can we trust Su Wan? Where are the shadow creatures coming from? What about the Cthulhu horror? What about the, the, the tendrils and stuff? What about the actual danger of an Elder Dragon? If Mother is S... That doesn't leave any space for the... For what we believe we've known about Elder Dragons for this time. So uh, there's got there's got to be something more. This is more complicated than the picture has been painted so far. And it's fascinating to see how they'll do it. Zen Daijan is regarded as a sacred place. Please respect the spirits who rest in this holy place. This plaque was placed by the Ministry of Archives to improve education efforts following the collapse of the Ministry of Purity. Who burnt all the books and like tried to rewrite things. That's uh, that's cool as well. This again feels like modern real world stuff, you know? It's like you go to like some national trust place or whatever and they've got all pieces of information up. Here you go. La, 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 la. This is where the mission ended. Is the hand still on the floor there? Let's have a look. Zen Daijan Temple. No, it's not. It was right here. Hey, it looks like we might actually have a story instance in here, so. Might be more going on than, than it first appears. Am I just going to go story instance to story instance? I mean, I've not missed anything. Spoke to the NPCs, got some POIs, did a raptor thing. I mean, the fact is, doing two instances back to back here makes sense. I want to go along this. This is like some Little Big Adventure 2 stuff. This is like that, uh, you know, this is the south of Citadel Island. <laughs> no one's going to know what I'm talking about. Marjorie, Warwick, find anything interesting? We were monitoring calm frequencies to see if we could pick up any aether blade chatter. What we found were strange ultrasonic emissions in this general area. You heard a funny noise. Well, we can't hear it, but I believe that's the entire point. The ultrasonic signal coincided with two aether blades entering this spider den. They vanished into thin air. The spiders didn't attack them. Why? I believe it's because they were using the signal against them. Okay. Do you need me to go in there and kill the spiders? Last time you did that, you drove an entire subspecies <laughs> extinct. I have a better idea. Dude, they're if very... If I can match the signal's frequency, I can clear out the spider den without harming them. Okay. Just don't take too long. They, they're very, very good at referencing, like, even the smallest little details. Just need to clean up this waveform. Gorik. Dude, they did not forget season four and the information, Gorik. right? Gorik. Don't... I... Please. Just... I need to concentrate. <sighs> okay. Wait for Gorik dot 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 Almost question mark. Almost got it. Almost. All right, that's it. Uh, wait, wait, I got it. <laughs> oh, there you go. She got it. Look at that. His insect expertise comes in handy. You are incredibly impatient. Yes, to get to the bottom of this aether blade plot, aren't you? Of course. Uh, sorry, I was. Let's find that entrance. Even secret doors have giveaways. Let's take a gander. Hmm. Can mess around with their holographic stuff. Well, obviously, I'm just going to go to the back of the cave if possible. Investigate for anomalies. It's weird because on the map it seems it's closed in, but here there's clearly like exits. Does that mean that these are. Oh no, I guess. You know, this actually feels a lot like Guild Wars 1. These are like the, the old Naga caves, you know?
You walked off and Gorok had a go at you? Oh, because you went early. That's cool. That is cool. Hmm. Qualify for tagging the tag. Find the marker for the Aetherblade cave. Huh. Not reading anything there. Must be somewhere else. Hmm. Doesn't fit the bill, Commander. Let's Sorry. Keep looking. Am I supposed to just be blindly spamming hey, this thing? Aetherblade marker here. Where? This wall. It's a hollow oh, there. With hard light. Whoever built this is a competent hollow smith. Must be some trick to deactivating it. Okay, so in short, to make hard light, you need a photon forge. It's the only way to give mass to light particles. I feel like we should be paying you for this masterclass in hollow smith jargon. Oh, I love talking about this. Anyway, this forge is custom built. Impressive. But its emitter has a critical flaw. You said this would be short. Oh, um, a continuous combinatory assault should overload the forge. Try that. Dude, if I was a f if I'm a hollow, please tell me, has anyone in the live chat done this as a hollow? If you're a hollow, do you actually get to, like, another way through this? Because you have a photon forge of your own. By the way, yeah, so this is the Aetherblade thing. The, the skull and the sword has to be Crimson Skull, surely, right? And yeah, I missed the achievement. If I found that early, I could have got the achievement. Okay, get through the obstacles without asking for any help. Combo help. Ask Marjorie to put down a combo field for you. Oh no, well, you don't have to do that. Nice! Very good arena now. Uh -huh. Excellent work, Commander. Come on. What are you? It's the Commander! I wonder if Marjorie would have done that exact move, Nightfall. She is a Reaper. Keep this up. Timey, it's me. There's definitely an Aetherblade camp in Zendai Jun. Just like I told you. I'm leaving now. Wait, wait, wait. What? Where are you going? My Trin has a lot to answer for. And she's going to look me in the eye when she does. Commander, I'm on my way. Uh, yeah. Commander, she's gone. We haven't cleared the camp yet. It could still be dangerous. I'll go with her. Don't worry. Timey, you stay with Orin. Not gonna argue with that. Stay safe, Commander. Dude, this is like Aetherblade Hideout from Season 1, Version 2. Right? We're gonna have a bunch of these cool, like, cobbled together, like, wooden ramshackle buildings and things. This is gonna be awesome. And then random electrical yeah. devices and stuff. What's the actual route they want me to walk yeah. through here? Also, aren't these usually... Oh, yeah, let's check it out. She's talking to her friend again. Oh, bad advice. Based on old Gregor and past glories. No imagination. In the midst, we had to repair our fleet. And we could only get the parts from ourselves. Our past selves. A lot of people want to kill who they were. But the parts they hate. I actually got to do it. It was disconcerting at first. But then... Liberating. My dream never did. It scared her. Should have known then. Anka is rough, so Anka's happy to like assassinate other versions of herself in the fractals. My Trin is soft. Who is her friend though? June? Anka doesn't like how much Mai's been talking to June, right? It's all bad advice based on old grudges and past glories. No imagination. There's definitely more to their contract than they've let on. Bad advice, old grudges. That doesn't fully line up with what June's been telling us, right? Man, now that I know that Where there's hidden... Where is everyone? Hmm. This place definitely has more aether than blades. Huh. Oh, come on. Nothing? Oh! The crowd. There you go. I laughed. I laughed. So there was a way to walk down. I'm just an idiot. Uh, yeah, now that I know there's the law, like voice acted law, but it's not telegraphed, I'm like looking real close at the environment. I'm telling you, it's not enough. The captain was very clear. Shh. Hear that? If we're going to strike back at her, it needs to be massive, yes? It needs to be... We need overwhelming force. What I'm asking you to do is follow orders. You kill her until she is dead. Then you repeat the process. Do you understand? 
That sounds like a joke, but also given the whole fractals thing, it kind of feels like there's something <laughs> more to it. Dude, is this Ivan's exit already? I like Ivan, though. Here we go. We get another thing. So, Ivan, you more people, you want to steal everybody's things and then give those things to everybody else? Dredge Robin Hood. The last time I left the military long ago. And your grasp of our revolution is puerile. We dredge know that the bourgeoisie is stealing the value of your labor for their own profit. <laughs> this is great. Liar! I do not give you permission to steal my things for redistribution. <sighs> I worked hard to plunder what I own. Because <laughs> a fair capitalism will collapse as the rich hoards wealth, then uses that wealth to enslave the rest of society. Stay back, Ivan! I'm warning you! Stay away from my stuff! Dude, Rainak's awesome as well, to be honest. Ivan, I don't want to do this. You best surrender before I completely delete you. Um, is there another thing in here? No? It saddens me there's no achievement marker or whatever tracking progress of these, so I might miss one and just miss it and not even know I've missed it, you know? Where is my trin? Commander. What, no dragon this time? That's a sore spot we'll be getting back to in a second. Where is my trin? No. I swore an oath to my captain. I intend to keep it. My trin betrayed her closest friends. How do you know she won't betray you? That's a lie. It was Anka. She started this. Her and Brenyak and all the others. They broke their oaths, but not me. Oh my god, it just occurred to me I might be coming up to the first strike mission. I'm sorry, dude. What's this? Fight on Forge? Spectrum Shield? Nice! You might as well give up! Fezzi's using the same half ass tech that was blocking the way in here. You're in trouble, Commander. His photon forge has the same flaw as the one above. You say flaw, I say unique characteristic. Hold on, I just used a combo field before on it, though. Right? We'll just break the bar. There we go. Trying to give him room to speak when he wants to, you know. Break, break. Oh, I don't have. There we go. Break. Ah. Oh. Stand down, Ivan. If you do, we can talk. I won't betray her trust. I'm the only one left who can. I like how he looks like he's about to overheat. The more we fight. you. I won't break as easy as you're a Surin friend. I have no idea what he's talking about. Blish. You're going to tell us where your captain is hiding so we can have a civilized conversation. He's talking about Blish, bro. I, I can't. I won't tell you where the key is. Okay. There's a key. Let's look around. Idiot. Shouldn't <laughs> have. Of course. Just open the door for them. Why don't you? Stupid. Stupid. Okay, a combo of one. Get through the obstacles without asking for any help. But I did do the thing a bit There's slow. In there. in any of those. <laughs> He's great, isn't he? Obviously the key's in here. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you were <laughs> That's saying... great. Commander, please, don't hurt her. It's not what you think it is. Don't suppose you'd care to explain what that means. It's not for me to say.
You think he's talking about Gorik breaking one out him? Well, ostensibly that's what he's talking about, but I think it's a double double layer. All right, enough. It's time to get some real answers. This is it. This is the Show yourself. She's here. She's definitely here. We saw her in the trailer. There we go. Oh, this is She's drunk. Great. Now I've got the Dragon Champion an ace detective Delacroix here to tell me how terrible I am. My Trin. Wow. You just... You just brought everyone, huh? You can feel sorry for yourself later. What are you planning, Trin? Where'd you send your aether blades? Ha! <laughs> me? Send aether blades? Why exactly would I do that? I don't know. Why'd you order them to kill Orin with that magic extractor? It wasn't... I mean... I didn't mean to. After all we've been through, everything I gave you, this is how you repay me. Oh, she takes a big drink. You, you're right. You can't trust a pirate. I'm done. We should finish this now. So the Orin empowerment, I guess, is to help me. What are you doing? Prioritizing targets. Stand down. Oh, it's go. just like you in the fractal. No Listen to them. It's just she has the same abilities. She doesn't have the shield. I hope she mentions Horik. I'll get a four in while the break bar's down. Beat you, Commander. Too many scores to settle at once. Just need a little help. Just a little more. They're very spoiler hiding, right? Defeat the chapter boss in the allotted time. Defeat the chapter Spend boss without going down. You meet the most fascinating people. Who did she meet? She met another version of me? This is like some demon stuff. Well, who's she invoking? Is it me? I mean, I see Rev stuff and I think Glint, but surely not Glint. So, so I guess each of her phases is going to feel like a different kind of play style. Maybe each of the Rev Levagens? That was a nice break right there. I need your help. I need more. Please be fun. I can't lose again. Scarlet. It's not a permanent echo. So Scarlet, she meant Scarlet in the mists. Okay. I kinda wanna go fast for the achievement, but slow for the dialogue, so I don't know. I don't know whether it's set up that I can get it all or what. Damn, she dodged my fight. Marjorie's actually helping quite well here. The weakness is brutal. I... That's a lot of bleed as well, right? Uh, I thought it was an axe. Stop. You... You're taking too much. She's losing control. Oh my god, Silent Scarlet. There we have a Nightmare Fractal style thing. Wow. I wonder how dangerous these telegraphs are. And the black tar that I'm in looks deadly, but it's not. Shockwave coming. I had stab there. I think this is playing out the same as the Nightmare. Great inspiration for a fight and a, fra and, a, and a strike mission. It is ultimately one of my favorite pieces of endgame content they've ever made. Not sure about those cascading rings. Oh, we got phantoms again.
Can one grave dig do it? Yeah. I shouldn't have swapped to um, great sword for this phase. I should have stayed axe. But it's fine. I wonder how long I get before I have to kill all of those. I wasted my elite there. Pretty silly. Let's dodge into that. Shouldn't have used it in that order there. We'll use fear to push through that. Probably another phase at 20%. Oh, they're back now already. What do the phantoms do though? Do they just throw these balls out at me or do they actually do something more tangible than that? Oh, there's a lot of them. Are they infinitely spawning? What's the idea here? Should I be ignoring all this? I mean, they're empowering her. Like this guy here, how did I miss that on my first run three? Wasted a lot of damage there. There we go. Oh, go into this. Wow, this is cool. This feels very new. Two of them overlapping. There's nothing I need to hit, is there? That's going to be really interesting in the 10-man version. Oh, I should have wailed a doomed. Well, whatever. We don't really need to worry about that last break bar. She's gone. Scum, Briar. You think she could be behind this? She died on the Breachmaker. Like Kaz said, that was just an echo. I can't hear you. I can't... The laughing... What's wrong with her? Revenants can have a hard time tuning out all the voices from the mists. Ritlock actually needed a blindfold at first. Something to help him focus. Give me a minute. I'll come up with something. While you take care of that, I'll relieve the prisoner of her weapons. Oh, I need to find materials for a blindfold. I thought what I was going to do was uh, like something necromancy or something. You know, I never liked the, blind the way the blindfold story resolved, but the fact they're talking about it here, I quite enjoy. Tear cloth. Okay. This will make a good blindfold. Here, take this. Oh, thank you. It's quiet. Damn. My, tell us what you ordered your Aether Blades to do. Where are they going? They're about to attack one of your jade processing facilities. But not on my orders. You're their captain. No, I'm not. Anka mutinied. Took my ships and my crew. Said I was emotionally compromised because of our... history. Anka staged a pirate mutiny. Surprised? Not in the least. How do we find her? You can track them using the ship transponders! <laughs> You're right, dude. <laughs> Hello! I'm still trapped out here! <laughs> Yeah, let's go get him in. Yeah. <laughs> They're very good. They've learned, man. They definitely learned in season four. These little interjections from off screen are just so brilliant. Yeah, a Scarlet led, uh, Revenant is kind of cool. I wonder what the profession would have been called. The elite spec would have been called. But yeah, I don't think the players would have liked it. It's an excellent idea as a boss fight, though. Ivan, you didn't leave with the others? Why would I? When Ivan makes an oath, it's for life. Dude, what a god. Commander, you can activate that console. Find where the ships were last spotted. Well, hold on, I need to know more about what, these, what, what this drama was all about. What do you mean, history? Uh, dude, I like it a lot. That's oh, hello. A very wide area. Ah, damn. Rainiac must have damaged the transponders. It'll show you the rough location, but that's it. Somewhere around Kainin doesn't give us much to work with. Anka wouldn't just attack any target. She knows what she wants. I can... Let me help. Let you help? How about we help you into a prison cell? Or did you forget about your attack on Lion's Arch? No, I... I can't undo what I've done. But I can help you find Anka. Please. Let me do this. 
You think after today, we're going to trust a word that comes out of your mouth? Jory, I... you're right. But Anka has to be stopped. Before we have another Alliance Arch here in Kantha. <sighs> Commander, what do you think? I think we'll I'm... take my Trin with us under careful watch. And Captain Trin, one wrong move out of you. And you won't live long enough to wind up in Lion Guard custody. I understand. Also, I'm keeping your weapons. <laughs> I like okay. how Margie's kind of pissy I'll about this. I'll talk to some of my associates. If this Anka is targeting Jin Lai Jade, we need to get ahead of it. All right. In the meantime, we can head to New Kainang and, and get arrested for not having a travel permit. You're a Kanthan bureaucrat's worst nightmare, Commander. Sounds like you two should pay a visit to the Ministry of Transit. All right. You go stop Anka, and we'll go to the Ministry of Transit and fill out some paperwork. <laughs> <sighs> Ministry of Transit. Electrifying. Very well read there. Very well read. I've, I'm losing the track, though. What, what, what is Anka up to, though? I feel like I should come out. I've lost. I don't have a very clear understanding of, of what's going on at the moment. Maybe I'm not supposed to. So we get a backpack. Can't trust a pirate. I think that's the end of Act 1, isn't it? I think we just finished Act 1. Um, let's use those. Use those. Get all that crap out of the inventory. I, I'm sad that I can't preview these champ bags. Also, check it out. Jade C represented here as a water. A, a mass of water. Um, not solid. You can kind of look at it that way. Or you can look at it as a giant hole. Because it's all been mined out. No post scene dialogue. What? Damn, man. Okay, um. I feel like I've probably missed more of those little conversation hollows. Uh, like blocks and things. Alright, get another mastery point. Thank god our uh, angler sense hasn't cut teared up yet. I want lots of fishing before I do that. Hey, Commander. You'll find the Ministry of Transit Office at Daigo oh. Ward. The bougie part of Xingjie. Lake Manor Hill. I'm heading to the area for some administrative errands. Could you stop by when you're around for a quick chat? Uh, of course. I love me some of that dredge loyalty for sure. What is this? Mysterious benefactor. Scrying stones in Cantha. Commander all over Cantha. Who is this? Is this E? What the fuck is this? Your friend? Who is this? Commander, all over Cantha, scrying stones have been emerging. You may have noticed the spikes of power. The air is thicker in their presence, like sludge. They have a similar magical composition to the scrying pool in the Eye of the North. I can only assume that they function similarly too, giving you the opportunity to relive battles and memories past. I implore you to uh, explore them, appease your curiosity, appease mine. Do keep an eye out, and should you choose to approach them, bring friends. This is the strike mission. Do you guys want to do the strike mission? I should have recognized the goddamn strike mission icon. Do you guys want to do strike mission, my trin? And we got nine of you Russian bastards. That's rushing. That will do that with me? I'll do, I'll do my trin strike right here, right now. Here, all you have to do to join is type slash join list. In game, I am playing on. What region is that? I think I'm on NA right now. So if you're in the North American region and you do that, we'll see. If we get 10 people, I'll do the strike. If not, I'll do something else. I'm pretty sure I'm on NA. I might be a bit ahead of the curve, to tell you the truth. Look at this new spider variety. So the fact I'm on NA and the fact I'm a bit ahead might mean we can't get 10. But I mean, I'll try it. I'm going to go and look at the entrance at the very least. Wow, interesting. The scrying stone can allow you to relive past events. But the mind can be unreliable. Who knows what may change and shift as you dive into these memories. I'd like to join a strike mission, End of Dragons. Select your destination, the Aetherblade hideout. They called it the hideout. 
Well, we have a half a team already. You're all NA people, right? Yeah? We have half a team. Well, we want to get another half. I mean, I'll do it. I really will. That would be a normal mode strike mission as well, which I don't think is that hard. It's the CMs that are really the big deal, and they come post-release, so post-launch. In the meantime, I will explore. I want to I want to explore the south coast here. Look at this. There's a mastery point there. Looks like another crashed ship. There's very little content here at Zendaijan, it seems. Oh, we go this way, right? Through Zendaijan. Again, I'll type it into the live chat here for people. It's literally slash squad join lists. That's it. That's all you have to do. And the prerequisite is you've obviously already done the hideout. And you're on NA. So there are a few caveats, don't get me wrong. So there's a mastery point below me. Wow. Oh, it's stealth. Okay. You've done a champion meta event in the middle of the temple. Okay, that's cool. Jesus Christ, they're moving a lot. Look at this. Shadow stepping all over the place. Just daze it so it doesn't move again. It really wasn't my intention to double tap that fear there, but it happened anyway. I don't quite know how. Is it a cave underneath? Let's have a look. Oh my god, the darkness overtakes me. Oh, hold on. Something sneaky here. I think we've got to sneak our way through using the lights and we'll get a mastery point at the end. And I didn't realize before, but there was more exploration to do. Here, look, 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 look. What was that called, by the way? An Ascension Spirit. Rampage's Spirit. I need more light. Oh, look, a Canthan Chest. All right, let's kill this guy in here if they'll, if they'll have me. That chest. Unusual coin. Fallen branch. Dodger of darkness. Oh, I can dodge whatever that is that's been stunning me. Sorry, well, is there a telegraph that I've not been att paying attention to? Something collecting on my feet or something. Oh, it's those. It's those orange telegraphs. Here we go. There you go. End of Dragon's Mastery Point. Up, right up ahead. I really want to get this weakness off. There's a lot of weakness so far in the expansion. It slows me down a lot. There we go. Just uh, running, dropping straight down here. Um, it didn't seem to respect that idea. All right, diving goggles. Woo! The misty leap. Use your diving goggles to jump from the top of a secluded southern waterfall. Hey, hold on. I got that mastery point. Why is it still great? Oh, it's because I didn't accept. Okay, then we got the island. Two more people for the strike mission, and then we can do it. I gotta get up on that bridge. We can also go get this here at this crashed airship. Oh, and there's offshore fish here as well. And shore fish. So, shore fish I can get from the edge, right? That's the idea. And offshore I need a skiff.
Oh, but I can't because I need the mastery. Cool. Speaking of which, looks like we can climb up the back of this. Oh, no, no, no. There's a person. Nice. Someone in the squad has a skiff. Very good. I'll ride with you. Hold on. Let me get this first, though. Um, I wonder if they're about to introduce that to me. I feel like it's something I'll learn before I go to the city. This feels very Ember Bay right now, you know? Oh, interesting. Oh, hey, check it out. Nice skin. Very on theme with Cantha. Very good. I like it. Uh, huh. Maybe they want me to glide. Either that or I can walk up this bit, but I don't think I can. If we can climb up to where that crab is, maybe... Oh, here we go. Yeah, all right. I overcomplicated it. Yeah, Ember Bay has a thing like this with some carker, doesn't it? On the bottom right of Ember Bay out near the water. Saitung province inside, airship wreckage complete. So yeah, I'll get on the skiff now and we'll see where we go. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I really want to try this. Too far away? Yeah, okay. You can't fish infinitely far down. In Final Fantasy, you can. Hey, look at this. Hello, everyone. It's nice seeing the animations and stuff, right? And no nameplates. We feel like proper NPCs. He, he hasn't died it. Do you want to die the skiff? What does this do? Switch seats. Oh, there you go. Disembark. Okay. Um, well, let's see. What else do I want to do around Zendaya? Do I want to go to that bridge? Let's try and get to that bridge. I suppose I could go to LFG for the last two players. It would kind of suck to have to do that, though. Whoopsie. Always happens in Guild Wars. I don't know why. It seems to think I'm holding shift down when I'm not. We might just eight man it if you guys want as well. I bet we can eight man the thing. In fact, that might be a little bit better. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna go to the uh, the the thing on the across the bridge, and then I'll um, and then I'll just load us in. There we go. We did just get someone else. I don't know whether they're on NA because they're grayed out. They might not be on the map, but we'll try. Am I online? Have I asked the guild? Actually, no, I haven't, no. Oh, look at this. I get some real warm, happy feels from this. Cat Island. Oh, there's cats all over it. <laughs> I can already see one. There's a cat. There's a kitten. There's little fishy lamps, which I'm sure the cats enjoy. Oh, my God, there's a giant one. What on that Pickle. Pickle is bigger than me. I can play with Pickle. Is there a way to ban the spammer? I've been trying. Uh, I'm trying to play the game and I keep having to stop because of this. It makes me really grumpy, to be honest. I'm trying not to think about it. Uh, what else we got? More cats. White tiger carb up here. A nice little shrine. Hold on, though. The Mastery Insight's all the way up there. So I can't get the Insight yet, then, though. Oh, maybe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Oh, come on. This is totally not intended. Oh my god, this feels like some serious vanilla stuff here. No, I, I, I think uh, I need to come back with a Springer. 
I think I have to come back later. This waterfall looks really nice here as well. Okay, kitties. Your report on each time. Yeah, Rocker and I had a very short conversation about how to ban it. And I did try, but now today that they're not even using the emote I tried to ban. I tried to ban, like, the lips emote. Um, and now it doesn't use it. It's using something else. I don't even know whether my ban technique worked for what it's worth. Okay, so, again, so let's go. So we got a full team now. This last player might need to right-click join on our version of Saitung. I don't know, though. They might not. So I'm going to go and open it up. I'd quite like to be host, if that's okay. So nobody jump the gun on that, if that's all right. I kind of want to see this event as Zendaijun now. I want to see the meta. So we've all got a, a sense of what the fight's like, because we've all done it in single player now, right? Which is one of the big advantages. I'd like to join a strike mission, the Aether Blade hideout. Here we go. So there might be new mechanics and things here now. Oh, there's a ghostly cat here. Oh, no, that's someone's mini. Is everyone ready? Uh, one person's not loaded in. They might be AFK. They might not have got the pop-up. I don't know. We'll try and nine-man it in the meantime. Wow. You just... You just brought everyone home. Uh, that's great that they reuse that line. It's different context now. A glint in my chin's eye leaves little doubt to the outcome confronting her. Is your squad prepared? Yeah, we're prepared. I mean, I've not changed my build in any way here. What, what would be better? I don't know. It's too late. <laughs> Defeat my trin and Scarlet. Okay. We should finish this. Break the bar. Is that a really strong bar, or is just nobody focusing CCs first? Probably want to break it before anything else. Okay, good. So avoid that rush ability, because that clip the hell out. Oh my god, I keep missing what weapon sets I'm on. Oh, I used my two too quick. Oh, okay. She rushes and then she uses the four directions ability. Okay, we have a defeat. Someone's dead. I don't know how it happened or when it happened. I don't know if we have any supports with us. Spend a few years in the mist. You need the most fast. You guys might want to retarget to the Scarlet ones. Oh, they never made it into the ring, the dead person? Oh, I see. Oh, shit, I just swapped away from Whale of Doom. Sorry about that, everyone. Run with this. This is good. To enjoy our dragon sat set a little bit there. Tank unrelenting assault in Shroud. Avoid the cone by being really close. Step back out of the dash. Keep the vulnerability on with a three. Ah, oh, messed that up. More Scarlet mobs. Oh, that one's tanky. Oh, and we have a... Oh, this person's standing on me. Oh, Scar uh, Scarlet's tanky suddenly. Oh, we've got a stack mechanic. I'm stacking with you. Okay, those two died, and I ate a ton of shroud damage. So, guys, you've got to do the green stacks or we're screwed. Next time you see a green, keep your eye out, guys, at the other Scarlet Phantom if you have to, because we have to do that mechanic. Oh, I ate the thing there. Oh, 
Oh god. Uh, my chin pinned me down there. Rough. We got no healers, so this is gonna hurt. I'm gonna go down state on this, I think. Oh, we killed Scarlet, so the second green never landed. Okay, break this bar. Have to break that. I don't really have anything else just yet. Give these guys as much space as possible. Res. Blind. Okay, we're back. That's a good phase. Really glad I put blood magic on right now. Because I would have absolutely nothing. Oh, big damage here. Wow. So good. Last 10% is going to be another crazy phase, remember? So I can start grave digging. Oh, the lockdown. I need your power. Okay, so what? I need more. Please. I can't lose again. Oh, God, she's coming to me. Alright, burn, 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 burn. Remember, try to dodge into her shockwaves. I don't know how safe we are inside her. I don't know, like, how shotgunny her abilities are. Like that one there. Just doing another one. I should have finished my auto chain there, I think. Oh, there, I lost all my shroud. I think I face tanked something big on that. Let's res this guy. Please help me res him. I gotta get back into shroud here. Where's that other down state? Okay, they're doing it. Break bar coming back up in a second. Probably did my four a little bit early there. Okay, more phantoms. Now, if I touch the perimeter, do I die? Like, what's the deal if I touch the perimeter? Oh, I should have focused on the shockwave. Oh, there's a soak. Get on there. Uh, scary one. Okay, there's a player down alone over here. I'm going to go help him out. Okay, I see, by the way. There's a... Uh, one of the phantoms is squishier, but has breakable defiance. The other one has unbreakable defiance and is tankier. And we're going for the tankier one first. Might not be the right idea. We do have a support, by the way. I just got a big fat heal from someone, so thank you for that. Another soak. Okay, it ended because we killed the thing. There's no point using regular abilities on this guy. It's invulnerable except for CCs. Pull out of this random dodge there. A bit silly of me. Now, I wonder if I can dodge that telegraph or not. You know, I get a really weird sense being in at Scarlet's base there. It's like doing a Shadow Bem off, you know? And Shadow Bem off will chunk you if you're standing in the black tar. And that's what I can't, like... Like, I'm very conditioned to not go in it. I'm trying to generally stay a bit stacked with people in case they have beneficial boons for me. Obviously, when we start getting Harbinger, we can start spamming the quickness out on them all. But for now, we're pretty selfish. Good timing there. Should probably push her to 66 on this. Start rezzing again. Oh, 
Oh, that guy's going to die unless I get it. No, we just actually had a defeat. Straight up defeat there. We're now, we're now eight man. I need to dodge these a lot more regularly, you know. Actually, I'm eating a lot more pressure than I thought I would. What is the uh, the pattern here? What's the... Oh, I'm not going to have the shroud to hit the brake bar on that. So we'll come back in a bit. Oh, wow. We're all together here. Isn't there going to be a horizontal line for us? No? That phase is interesting. It's sort of empty, right? It feels like there's there's another thing. The crawling scarlet thing's crazy. Man. Oh, good, good, good. We can hit her hard here. My transfusion's helping. I forgot I had that on actually. But I just I while DPSing there, I actually healed that guy in downstate pretty well. Trying to stay with everyone. The Renegade is really useful here. Even though it's quite tricky. I'm looking at the Renegade telegraphs and thinking that they're bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, the cone, that's going to hurt. Did I get out of that in time? I might have gotten out of it. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my chin won. Someone went down there. Someone went down and um, everyone went to res. Whoever that original person was that went down, literally everyone died based on that because everyone went over and it was one of the Maichun electric fields. Um, and then that got everyone killed. We all went in like sheep there. Yeah, so that's, that is better balanced than um, the Ice Food Saga ones. You know, we're just totally random people. I'll give people uh, a few minutes to change their builds if they want. If someone wants to round our boons out, if you guys want to take this a little bit more seriously than just absolute random builds, I'll give you guys a chance here, before we trigger the next one, to change your builds. Also, we can 10-man. Someone was just sitting there dead the whole time. We can actually do it with the whole group. Um, but yeah, try and get a bit more pressure. I will try... I mean, what do I want to do here? Offhand, I kind of don't want to mess with things too much. I can put a little bit more quality of life on, though. We can run the blood ritual, definitely. Keep transfuse. Um, well of darkness isn't actually very useful. I want even more break bar damage, frankly. Um, now, what's better? Flesh golem charge or chill to the bone traded for shouts? I'll do flesh golem charge. Um, I want a lot more break bar damage. We could stack fear, we could put him mob up. I'm just trying to think of what hard CC options I can just easily dump on. I could also go um, uh, with spike signets and that would be very useful as well. Well, we'll try it that, that way. Um, I don't really have any food or anything, so uh, I'm going to throw up a ready check just in case. So if you feel like you've changed your build, you know, the more quickness and alacrity we splash onto people, the better, basically, right? To be honest, Suffer's pretty crap, too. Let's run double well, I guess. So we've got a, a couple of things. Somebody just whispered me. Use Spectral Grasp in the hitbox. Yeah, but the, the break bars, I mean, for the Scarlet, that's fine. But it will only throw one grass based on the target. So it, it won't... I don't think that will work the way you think it will work. But we can we can see what we can do. Well, that evaded. Yeah, just follow the general principle. Focus the break bar first. Unload the damage second.
I've, I've done that really badly. I've left myself with very little. I basically, I wasted Shroud. I had no follow-up. That might have been kind of stupid, rushing in on that. I feel like we're immediately a lot sturdier. Spend a few years in the mist. You beat the most fascinating. Very quick with the Scarlet Shadow thing there. Damn, I really fucked up. Oh, my charge isn't gonna... Oh, maybe it worked. Oh, that's good. Oh, I should have put the well up. Wow, we're crashing at this time, aren't we? Oh no, it's because wait, it's the next phase is the tricky phase. Here we go. Just try to stay together for the soak when it comes up. She moves a lot for my wells. I'll say that much. Like there, she's not even in them anymore. All right, here we go. So this is the phase. The Phantom is the big one. I'm gonna dodge the end of this and see. No, it's not the big one. I didn't think it would be, and it's not. Okay, I'll go with everyone else then. I'll, I'll go to the break bar side of things. I think this is probably better. Okay, that's all my break bar shit. I get Shroud back. And I've got a fear and a blind. Save my Shroud. Okay. Is this guy off? I wonder how they're going to augment that in CM. A couple of grave digs in a row. Okay, we did that phase much quicker. Well done. That was awesome, man. A bunch of break bar damage. Regular. Let's go, them charge. Alright, well is up. Alright, Scarlet Face. Oh! Ah, oh, my audio's just broke on my end. My speaker has come unplugged. Okay. We're all in greens. Yeah, I, I think a few people are. But, I mean, I don't think you need everyone, but generally speaking. I don't know whether they want us to split or what. It looks like that's the start of the CM stuff. You know, there'll be some other mechanic that makes that a more complicated decision. Try to stay together just a little bit more. We're currently all over the place. I don't know, maybe being together is actually a bad idea. What created the lightning field? I mean, that was really what killed us, right? So maybe I should focus more on that. Oh, dude, my touch timing was awful though. I literally just put myself into a huge amount of danger. Okay, going for some reses. I have the Well of Blood now, so... Reses will intermittently go up a bit quicker. All that sturdiness is gone immediately here. I'll go for a spectral grasp in the hitbox here on this one. Oh, I've moved in too early. Alright, I'm going to this phantom. If I see everyone's go somewhere else, I'm gonna stay in shroud for this. So why is there a, a beam connected to me? And And the circle. Is is the beam something different for me to pay attention to? Oh, we've got a collapse. Here I'm just using the four to resustain through blood magic. I mean, I have Max Shroud anyway. I just want to protect myself for a bit here. Got a heal. Should have dodged that. Yeah, the break bar guy seems to die quicker. So.
Okay, so I think after this phase is when my Trins Electric comes back. Just keep your eye out for that. I don't know what pauses it or whatever. Wow, this guy's running away from everyone. He's taking the green away. There's a spectral grass in her hitbox. Flesh Golem. Nice, that was quick. Right, keep an eye out. Just watch for electric on the floor. Now I believe is when the mechanic came in. Maybe I'm falling in too early, actually. Holy shit, that fucking... Yeah, I think standing too close is pretty bad. Is those orbs? There's electric. See, there's electric there. I transfused people out of it, so you can res these now. But two died anyway. I can't see what spawns it. What do you guys think? Keep, just keep on your toes here. Focus less on like your skill bars and your damage, and more on... Like, this guy's standing in a lot of electric. Oh, no, no, that was just a Guardian symbol, right? There's just no clarity to Guild Wars. There you go, there's one, it's on the edge. Somebody baited it out. Pretty good. I'm gonna just keep trying to transfuse. There's another down stake. He's not in a bad field or anything. Oh shit, we're not even at this bit yet. Oh, you get ages to get into this circle. That's pretty bad. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know it was all a one shot. How did the guy survive? So we have to pick the right circle. So we have to look on the outside of the arena. Wow, it's just a straight up one shot. So hold on. What do we do though? How do we know which is the right circle to pick? Yeah. This guy's not rezzing. Did he die really early and just go AFK? Oh, he's leaving. He says have to go. Sorry, it was fun. All right, well, if we get a replacement, I'll go again. If not, I'll go play other parts of the expansion. Yeah, I, I see that it lined up with a line, but that doesn't help us preemptively avoid the thing. Yeah, does anyone want to join? Just type slash squad join lists. And I look back at the live chat and the spammers there. Do you spread to all three circles? Well, it's an instant defeat, so no. I mean, ideally, you don't want anyone instantly defeated. You wonder if the first circle is always bad? I don't know. Is there a first circle? Do they stagger in? Have we got anyone else to come? Honestly, I don't relish the idea of sitting here trying to play and someone quits and then someone else quits and then someone else quits and there's no progress. So if someone joins really quickly, I'll, I'll do more. If not, I'm out because this is going to get really frustrating and lame. I don't like prog stuff in, 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 as, a, as a general matter, of course, and there's a whole new expansion to play. So we'll, uh, if somebody joins, we can do it. But then the next leave or if there's a bunch of wipes, I'm out. Okay, so somebody did join. Especially like doing it pug style where, you know, the, the group is constantly shifting. Mm. Alright, um, it looks like we've got everyone. Let's try it out. One more. Well, unless people don't quit. We're all here, yeah? Gotta look for the electricity to stay near the back of the circles if you can. Do you think that'll allow you to survive the laser beam? I'm guessing it's something like you just look outside the ring and see where... I mean, I'm guessing it's the Scarlet Vision or something out there, right? And I'm guessing it shoots the laser beam. And obviously there's a telegraph. I mean, it's 
wow. Um, like, look at my boons right now. We have zero anything. I have three might that I gave myself. Everyone's entirely selfish builds. <laughs> I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I'm just in the subgroups. Okay, let's try this here. Phase one, my train is getting easier each time. So, okay. Take with the brake bar. I'm out. I'm really out. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's do. Double well. This is gonna be good. Ah. My instinct is always to go for the three, but in PvE I should be going for the two. I need more. Please! I can't lose again. So they're like these are lords. There's nothing stacking up or anything, is there? So those outer red rings as well. It's hard for me to see which so there, they're point blank that time. They're like outer and then inner, right? Am I saying that right? So there's shock waves, there's like the orbs in the middle, like the nightmare fracture. And then her actual abilities. Are we supposed to be like spinning like, like that there? Outer? Well, sorry, that was just inner. Inner and then outer. See that one there? It's like you want to dip out and then in again. Here is here. It benefited me to be on. Oh no, it didn't benefit me to be on the very side. It kind of actually really messed me up. Oh god. We're all a little bit spread out here. Oh god. This one's been messy, I'll tell you that. Where's that guy? This is the one to DPS. We're all a little bit iffy with how we're spread. Let me heal this new player. Let's go over here. Our mechanist. Dodge that. And hopefully there's not a green that appears over there. Because if there is, it's going to suck. I ended up like right inside Scarlet on that, which wasn't ideal. Okay, kill her with the, with the break bar damage. Watch that. So. Okay. Hmm. Well, she ate a res there. Get a little well on everyone to heal them up a bit. Flesh Golem charge going. 
lines. I should start holding my four, I think. Yeah, it's electric fields here now, guys. Oh, we got a Tempest who's healing pretty big. So watch for the fields. And I'll try to pluck people out of them if I can. There you go. Okay. The telegraph for them is uh, an orbital um, an orbital strike. It's like the engineer uh, F5 from Mortar Kit. And it also looks on the ground where the laser beam is. Is an expanding orange ring. This guy's going to die. Come on. I'm trying to put him out. Oh, you're so lucky I got you there, dude. You walked into the lightning, by the way. Do you see that? There was another one. And this guy's dead in this one. And he's getting I can't do it twice in a row. God, and I didn't, I ate that pretty badly. Okay, so how do we see? So here's Scarlet. There's the line. So it's this one. No, how are you supposed to know? I, I don't know how you're supposed to know. That's way too much prediction. I see it. I, I saw that she's on the outside. I see the arrow. How the fuck am I supposed to know exactly when the laser goes and when it's going to... That looks like RNG to me. How am I supposed to know? You tried to change at the end? Guys, you should GG. You're not going to three-man 60% of the boss, are you? Let's be realistic. <laughs> you think the first circle gets hit? They get cascaded in, do they? All right, let's try again then, I guess. I'll try one more. That felt... I don't know. I, I'm not interested in... Um... All right, let's 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 try again. Ready? Let's go. Can you get? Can you get? Can you get? One thing I could do is I could just, I don't know, it'd be a little bit hard, but if I think first and foremost about the laser, and I think about nothing else, right, so just don't stand where the laser is ever, and as like a secondary objective, a secondary consideration, find a safe circle, right, maybe that's the right way to do it. Like, basically, let the circle come to you. It's still difficult, though, because I don't know the exact timing. I mean, it's very easy to say, just know it, or just listen to the audio, but it is it is a bit tricky. Like, at what point am I... Do I have to be in the ring, you know? Maybe there's a timer on the top right, like a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That would be very helpful. Dude, it really worries me, like, seeing everyone 100% health and then someone suddenly is dead. So how squishy is that? Maybe they're doing the white armor challenge. <laughs> I find that, um... Uh, four rectangles animation really interesting as well because it has a safe square in the middle of it but it's after she's moved and quite fast so it's it's quite an interesting sort of 
But my own flesh golem there was, I was like, what is this player that's trying to be in my AoE? You guys prefer doing the break bar one first, yeah? It does feel faster, doesn't it? If everyone's contributing. Like, look at that. Great break bar that time. We did the phase real fast. Holy shit. I wonder if there's something more to which order you pick from that as well than I realise. Oh, she is not taking much pressure. Though. I need your power. Okay. I oh, I like how I can stack Please. as well in here. The Scarlet Visions, the stacking sigils, which is cool because normally they're not allowed in this kind of content and it like kills a part of the, the build craft. It's called the Echo of Scarlet Briar. I don't think I paid attention to the name until now. Aegis is really nice for that animation. Oh, I was late for that. That was dumb of me. I'll try and stay in spirit range if I can. Oh, the Aegises are actually really, really high value. You guys seen this? Even against the shockwaves, they're really good. Start raising this guy. That guy who was down there, you were nowhere near the rest of the team, so you probably won't get in any support that you otherwise would have. So we'll go to the break bar one first. I want to kill some of these other random little ones, though, as well. Kill that one. This one's a random ass little one. They got that other one. Dodge into that. Soak that. Break that. Five, four, this, this. More blind. I can't really do too much right now. I'm sorry, everyone. Excellent. Very sturdy. This is our best run yet. Really nice. This is attempt three. Her bar. Okay, lightning comes in now. See there? Uh, not that one. I kind of want to see what her model animation is. I know what the orbital cannon looks like. But what is Scarlet doing? There it is. See it spawning in the middle? My flesh golem was standing in it. Super resistant though. Another one very central to her there. Oh, I'm eating a lot of orbs. Oh, I ate a lot of orbs. Oh, whoever's trying to heal, it's the Tempest. I'm staying with the Overload. I'm not going to go into Shroud. <laughs> there we go. Uh, transfuse him out. Oh, my God. I never made it. I never managed to get in time. I can help this one guy. I think. I'm trying. Okay, he's up. Good. You guys really want to stay with that Tempest. That Tempest is doing a good job healing. Kill this guy as well. Do I have my well trait up? No, this guy as well. Oh, I, I keep well up dooming early. Here we go, break bar. Here we go. All right, so the laser's going to be there. So, so this this orb's safe. This one's fine. No, it's not fine. This is bullshit. What? And they made it. Dude, I can't... I can't figure... I'm very... Oh, we only, I only went downstate. Oh. 
Dude, I wonder if rebound saves you from that then. If that's only a down state, not a defeat. Oh, so the laser's a defeat, but the rest of the animation is just a down state. That's interesting. So you can do things with that. Dude, my, my on-the-fly predictive abilities there are awful. I hope there's some more robust logic to that because I'm, I'm shit at that. And I'll, we'll have to do it again, doubtless, in a minute. I'll tell you what, though. I'm not going to be confident. I'll just take the down instead of the defeat. I'll happily take the down instead of the defeat. And I might even be able to d soak it with full forge. Uh, forge. Um, shroud. I'm rezzing. Oh, uh, my trin's on the outside. Oh, I see what they're doing. While Scarlet's in the middle, my trin's on the side. And while my trin's in the middle, Scarlet's on the side? Actually, well, I don't know. Actually. I like that idea, but I don't actually think it makes any sense. Another mortar off on the back. Rezzing again. There's many Scarlet Phantoms. Let's deal with this. Which one's the break bar one? I'm going to the break bar one first. It's this one here. Soak on me, soak on me. Okay, good. Wow, really good on this phase. Look at everyone, 100% health. Oh, are we on a, some kind of timer? Wow, there's no enrage here, by the way. It literally just says Echo of Scarlet. So we can take it as slow as we like. Oh, she's got the cone. I'm alright with this. Healing. Far again. Watch for lightning. It's probably due. Use the four too early again. Ah, oh, I gotta heal that guy. I'm not in that, am I? Good, that was a nice, really accurate telegraph there. It's always good to see. We've probably got the phase coming again now, by the way. Probably. 33%? Oh, 20 might be actually. That means I can risk another another shroud run. Someone's pulling the things to the outside of the thing. I think someone's got figured out how the mortars work and the the, the electric fields, and they're specifically getting them on the edge. Maybe it's like a, just a flat thing, and it's always furthest away. It kind of looks like that's what's happening. Right, 4% is my guess. I'm deliberately not in Shroud right now because I want to use it in the face. <laughs> we should finish this now. Fuck it. There's this guy. Alright. There it is. Dude, we're safe in this. If I'm not safe in this, I'm going to be furious. I'm going to this one. Fuck it. All right. I did it. Yeah, I think just go to another one. Just don't be scared to go to another one. We had two defeats there. Yeah, those of you guys who died were on the one I was on, I think. You should have said fuck it with me. <laughs> All right. The phase isn't too bad. Just be confident enough to leave your circle. <laughs> I think. Based on what I just saw there. Okay, now, in normal mode, the last 10% had craziness. So you might have... We might be in for something more here. And there's only three of us... There's already three of us dead. So be aware, guys. This might be rough. Keep your head in the game. Ow. Mortar's on us. Ooh. God, that hurt. Do we have no healer left? Is that... Did our support die? Scarlet Phantoms are up. This is going to be fun. Keep the reses going. Brute force this if we have to. I'd rather shroud that rather than... I'm not going to eat that cone. 
7%. Another Scarlet Phantom. Another res required. Well of Blood saves the day. Transfusion. Can they rally on these, I wonder? Rezzing, rezzing, rezzing. <laughs> Another Scarlet Phantom. <laughs> Another one. Oh, that hurt. We're up, though. Stay out of the orbs. Golem to break the bar. Spectral Grass. Oh, I, ta I face tanked a lot of damage there. Right, last DPS. 1%. <laughs> nice. Oh, it ruins what the other strikes are in the UI. Harvest Temple, Kainang and Jinlai Jade. We don't know who it is, but Harvest Temple is the last one. Look at that. You get insights as well for finishing it, it weekly. Two gold. Very good, guys. Well done. My Trin's Coffer. Eight green shards. Get a mastery point. Get that. Let me have a quick look at Discord here. See if Carrie had messaged me. She hadn't. Okay, um, what's this? A jade rune stone. Preview. My Trin's coffer. Ritualist's armor. Flame serpent stuff. Um, salt spray stuff. Nice, nice. Rare, a medical data cell. Ooh, upgrade Jade Bot technicians to level two. Rare. Recovered hover engine, found by defeating strike missions in Canther. Uh, used by Jade Bot technicians to upgrade to the second tier of Glide Booster. You can get ascended straight out. Living water stuff, living water weapons. Oh, there's salt spray stuff, but better. Super rare. The Endless Fallen Aetherblade Captain Cap Combat Tonic. Become a Fallen Sky Pirate Leader with this Combat Tonic. So you can become my Trin with the super rare. And then there's Dragon's... Dragon's stuff. Isn't this Precursor? These are the Pre's, aren't they? These are the Aureen Pre's, right? We get one for free. So the other ones are super rare from Strike Missions. Looks good to me. How they've laid that out. Looks good. Plus the, yeah, uh, LIs for weekly, as we saw. Guys, that was really cool. I'm glad that just we could pull a random bunch of people there, learn some new stuff. That was cool. And, uh, hey, in the next part of the Let's Play as well, when we get to another uh, strike mission, I'll do that again. That was awesome. We didn't need the mastery to open the chest either. Good stuff. No fluff around it either, you know. No, no massive conversation and cutscene at the start and the end. Just it's all about the content. That was good. Uh, with the circles, isn't it a case of Scarlet shooting through two of the three in a line, so you just need to be in the third? I don't know if it's two are safe or one is safe. But I'll tell you, on that last phase, it looked a lot like... Um, on that last phase, it looked a lot like the circles were getting smaller and orbiting quicker in the center. So... Alright, guys, that was really cool. I hope you enjoyed that strike as much as I did. That was cool. Okay, back to uh, the regular story here now then. An exploration. There's people in the temple now. They weren't here during the night. Sun bear. Dude, look at how fluffy he looks. Oh, it's so good. Look at his hair. Did I go to the Valor Shrine up north? No, I'm slowly going north now. Who knows what I'll find? There's a hero challenge here. Which will uh, get us into Harbinger, which will be cool.
Alto, does anyone have a sense in the live chat or maybe the YouTube comments how long we were in that strike mission? How long casual pug progression took there for that normal mode? It was about an hour, wasn't it? Let's see. I think it was four runs. And I, I feel like we were in there for about an hour. Maybe it was less than an hour. Bonus XP, first kill. Yeah, maybe. I don't know how many people kill these. Here you go. We got a shrine. Mastery point. I'm still disappointed mastery points don't have cool flavor text like uh, other communities do. It was about an hour, right? It was about an hour. So it looks like there's a path up here, and it looks like there's a path over here. The personal story wants me to use this one. Also, there's another taxi, so we could totally... Here, let's grab this, and then let's taxi back through. It's nice to be able to open the goddamn map without being scared that I'm going to break an NDA, because they don't want you to look at the map. Hello? Yeah, I quite like doing those little pug experiences. I think they're fine. The only thing I don't like is when it's pug frog and the group is constantly shifting. I think the triple trouble worm kind of really did a number on me, you know, where it was like you had to get 150 players together and they had to learn. They had to improve together and they were essentially all randoms, you know, and you didn't have any control. So someone would try one run and then quit, get bored and quit. Because, you know, it was two hours for the next spawn. You can't blame people for that. But what it meant is you could repeat yourself a hundred times and the group would never get any better because the constituent members of the group were shifting so much. And I think it's just really done a number on me. My uh, As soon as I see like num names and numbers and stuff shuffle, it just makes me think uh, it's not worth it. You know, I'd rather prog with a real group, consistent people. Man, I like this place during the day a lot. Hello. Where would we like to go now? We would like to go... So the story is telling me to go to the Daigo Ward. We can go the east or the west route. Which one would you guys think I should do? This would be the east route? Let's do the east route. I'm gonna walk. Oh, I'm doing this too quickly, actually. Let's dismount, because I, I wanted to go to the shrine first. These leaves look cool. Speak a gorilla. Someone's going to be all tabbed and just heard me say that. And they're thinking I'm looking at a gorilla. And they don't realize it's, you know, like gorilla warfare. <laughs> Disengages from the lay. That's described as. Oh, man. Hey WP, just dropping by to say thanks for the coverage as well as Guild Wars 2 in general. You made me hype for the game again and I'll always appreciate your type of content. Thank you very much. I think I think a lot of people are and were in a position where they're just not excited about Guild Wars anymore. And End of Dragons is hopefully the beginning of changing that. Obviously, just in life, people drift in and out of games. But I think Guild Wars has disproportionately burned its user base over these past four years and the whole Icebreak Saga thing. And I'm hoping our back is to those years now. You know, I wouldn't say my job is to hype the game. I think most content creators think that that's their job. But I actually find it dishonest and not very brave. And it's not real, you know. Uh, I would say my job is mostly to present the game. And if that means that people end up getting hyped by it, then awesome. But that's not really my goal. If I'm hyped by the Dragon stuff, then it probably comes through a lot. But... If End of Dragons is good, it will be because it was good. I, you know, I can't really take credit for hyping you on it or whatever or getting you interested. In it. But I appreciate the nice thoughts. This is quite cool. Just an elite out in the open world. And remember, they said that the um, the the, cla the difficulty classification of these enemies. Would unlock new skills for them. So we're probably seeing a little bit of that there. Oh my god, look at this. Cliffside Memorial Bell. As you approach the bell, you feel the memories of those you've lost floating to the forefront of your mind from the depths of your subconscious. Fishing when? You want to see me fish? 
I don't know how much you missed, Sean. You should definitely rewind and check out the star. It is, this expansion opens in a crazy way. I kind of feel bad. As soon as you got here, it really slowed down and changed a bit. I mean, the strike mission you might have found interesting. I'll do some fishing, for sure. Oh my god, the elite respawns real quick on that, though. Hey, there, they, I didn't realize. They actually, the, the idea there is they have an elite defending a uh, challenge. Oh, I can start Harbinger now. Oh, I can go a little bit in as well. Okay, so we got Dark Disciple. Death Shroud is replaced with Harbinger Shroud. Volatile powers all at my fingertips. The Harbinger is a gunslinger and an alchemist, empowering their pistol and utilizing elixirs imbued with dark energies. But strength comes at a cost, and the Harbinger must balance on a knife's edge between power and corruption. So we could equip a pistol now, but we would lose Shroud. Hey, and we get Quietus. We get the Harbinger pistol. Or we work towards Quietus. What does Quietus look like? Oh, dude, it looks fancy as all hell, doesn't it? That's one massive pistol. All right, it's like a hand cannon. Uh, I want to do the mount, but I also want to see what this event is. So we're not gonna we're not gonna use the taxi. What is this? Detective Joy back. Hello. I didn't expect to find friend, uh, friendly faces past the Zen Daijun boundary. I appreciate the company on my investigation, if you're willing. Detective Joy Bach, Ministry of Security. I'm headed out to an old temple on the coast. Been hearing rumors of spirits out that way. Hauntings don't usually just spring up overnight. So I'm gonna poke around. Try to get a read on the situation. The uh, met is up again, by the way, and I'm missing it again. It's just a weird thing, isn't it? Like, I kind of don't want to stop what I'm doing. Let's go do it. The untamed helmet is called the Crown it's of spinning. Ergos. That's awesome. It's all spinning. So there's a purist assassin spirit? What is this? Something about this doesn't add up. <laughs> what is this all? No, we have a spud with us. Let's see where the spuds are now. City still. Most of us still on Xingji, Saitung. Several getting up north now, though. Oh, it feels like a big map. I feel like I've been... Well, I have. I've been on this map for six and a half hours. And when we're, we've only seen, like, the bottom section of it. You know, there's a whole lot like, the double of the map. And in fact, based on this guy, it looks like you can get kind of in the mountains too. I mean, look at this. There's a raptor taxi up there. Jesus, how many other... The pistol fits really well with our look. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using it. Uh, great to see content from the expansion. You're coming back to Guild Wars 2 to try out. That's awesome, man. Don't forget, uh, to everyone, if you've just bought the game or you will be buying the game, there's a link in the description. If you click that, it actually like helps me out. I get a kickback from that. So please feel free to just literally click it, show more in the description. It's right there. Even if you already bought the game, you can go back and click it and uh, it will help me. That's weird. One of them spawned and then disappeared. Someone must be egging them on. Some kind of rogue ritualist or something. Rogue ritualist. It's pretty standard event stuff here. See all the weakness in the expansion? Oh, I got a Harbinger's Trinket for that. A rare trinket obtained by defeating specific enemies in Saitung. That actually progressed me towards Quietus. A land dweller. Surprising. 
It's weird. Oh, the Lagos is talking again. The Lagos way back in the bay. I can't believe we actually heard him for a second there. It should. Unlike you, What's happening? I sense the malice in these What did I just get there, by the way? Oh, Explorer. Threat that should concern us it's nice to see this coast, because in Guild Wars 1 you actually didn't. It was too far off on the side. Is Hyju Lagoon here then? Can we actually... This must be the lagoon here, right? Maybe? I'm still going to kill some Naga for the daily. You're still torn on whether to main Necro or NG? Just doing both, man. In Guild Wars, it doesn't really mean anything to main something. The game is like ludicrously alt friendly. There's I can't... the temple. Apparently, the bell inside used to summon a guardian. The guardian disappeared. Is that... Oh, now wow. It's mostly just trouble. Oh, Zinra has gone. Prepare for a beating. Ooh, cool Wait, dialogue. What? I've heard better ghost voices at the Xinjay Community Theater. Whoever's <laughs> doing this, cut the crap and surrender yourself. Oh, everyone loves the word crap in this expansion. Oh, I'm really curious about this. Am I going to learn a bit about Zyndra here? This makes me feel like, you know, in Heart of Thorns, there's that one meta that talks about the druids. They're all just illusions. This one feels pretty goddamn real. The elite enraged spirit. I love where even if What's going on here? Who are you and why the ruse? I'm not telling you anything. Beat me, brand me, threaten my life and livelihood. Okay, enough of that. No need to monologue when a simple no comment will do. Come on, let's go. You might have caught me, but I'm only one of many. You'll never stop us all. Wow. Dude, nice outfit by the way, the guy with me. So they put him in the shackles and then he's away. Do you have any dialogue for me after that? No? So this is like one of the shrines that we had summoned Zunra from. What is this place? The Eastern Wilds? Oh, that's where we kept the guild hall and stuff. Ah! I kind of want to go down there. Is there no one to talk to here? What am I in combat with? I'm moving slowly. I think I'm in combat with something. Oh, she's gone. The detective's gone. It's a shame. I thought I was hoping that would be a part of a bigger story there. Let's go back to the signal of the locust. You really like the mosaic pattern on the floor? I gotta be honest, I didn't really pay too much attention to it just there. I, I feel like I should have known. What's this icon? Some kind of, oh, it's. Uh, I thought it was an icon, but it's just the red top. Fishing. Here you go. You want to see some fishing, Sean? Oh, there's loads of players fishing along the coast here. Hello, everyone. I'll set up shop. They're going to fish all this away. Okay. So we're waiting for it to bob. Any time now. There it is. And then it's basically like the Stardew game. How difficult... Oh, shit. This is the same difficulty as most of the ones that I've been doing. Fisherman impress. Let me grab a fish out. I didn't see what fish that was. It didn't ding my achievement or anything. By the way, we do have the next level angler sense, so I'll grab that in a second. It's nice to see... Oh, there we go. It's nice to see everyone's outfits and stuff. I feel like there's a missing, like, ding noise or something when we successfully grab the bob. So we've got chestnut sea bream again. Now, is there a benefit to doing this all next to each other like this? The, uh, the, the, the bit where you actually, the animation where you actually collect the um, fish out, that reminds me so much of Monster Hunter, it's unreal. Oh, this is a tricky fish, this is a really small bar. Oh, there you go. That's a new fish right there. A Corvina. Oh, there you go. Now the hotspot's gone. 
And you can fish in the non-hot spot. I think you just get like weird junk and stuff though. I don't really know what the fish are used for right now. Oh, I messed up. They get there's a load of new foods and things which can there's like loads of attributes for fishing. So for example here in the hero panel I have what do I have? 95% fishing power, but I only have a basic rods and a basic lure and I don't even have any bait. So I mean, I'm pretty low down. But that said, let's get our next mastery. Angler Sense grants a skill that detects nearby fishing hotspots and marks them on the map. So I have a new mastery skill. Wait, how do I slot that? Oh, is it? Oh, here. I don't really see what got marked. Oh, fishing actually did the heart. Oh, he sells some supplies. There's nothing quite like casting the line to take your mind off your troubles. What can I do for you? Oh, look at this. There's a mini. Oh, I have ten of the, uh... Wait. Those are writs of Saitung. So I could get a mini Naga wave caller if I want. Oh, God, look how cool that is. I love the, the Naga. Salt, salt spray dragon scarf. Each year, Saitung Harbor hosts a celebration where fans meet and celebrate with the people behind their favorite plays, books, art, music, and inventions. You know what? I think I'm going into a part of my life where I kind of want to be a convention guy. I kind of want to start doing those sorts of things. I've never really cared to before, but I don't know. I follow some YouTubers that do it, and I don't know. It looks really exciting and cool on a certain level. I don't know. Uh, Lamplighter's badge. Used in the crafting of End of Dragons legendary items. Mixed baits. Tips on fishing. How do I get all that stuff? Togo's armor and Soon's armor? That'll be Ritualist and... Uh... Wait, Soon the Oracle of the Mist is associated with the dragon stat line. That's interesting. What do they want me to do? Donating Daijun Blackfin catches to Fisherman Benyo. And defend the village from Naga. Well, if the Naga attack, I'll do it. How big is this heart range? Is it the whole village down here as well? Yeah. There's an actual fishing tournament that happens here? Ah, really? Dragonflies, crabs. There's some more over there. Another raptor taxi. I really want it to be day. It doesn't look as good at night. Watchman Chung. Do you want to trigger anything, Chung? Here, I'll fish with this guy over here. Ah, oh, no, I if he's leaving, I won't bother. <laughs> Man, how long till I get a skiff? It must be in the next bit of the story. Hold on a second there. This boat goes to an abandoned island. Even seasoned adventurers need to stay vigilant. Never know what you'll run into out there. What do you know about the isle? Years ago, when the ministry was at its peak, Reiko Murakami was killed there. What is that sound? Whoa, what is that? Whoa. It's the Naga. These are my first Naga that I fought. God, they're just like Crate, really, aren't they? You can feel it. They're the same, like, animation set and model. They're, like, really fancy-looking Crate. I like the name of Venom Caller, though. I've got to add that to the Crate in the Solaris name list. Such a cool name. Axe 3 score here. It'll get all that protection off a whole Zerg. The little bit of boon rip. That's basically the dream facts three as far as I'm concerned. If you can hit five targets that have one prot each, and you know it's not really gonna refresh, I mean it's just so satisfying. I suppose having them all less than 50% health is cool as well, so it's nice. It's 
guy has swiftness. Oh, what are these new animations? In the bubble? Oh. My shade assures the public that there is nothing to fear, but the civilian reports tell another story. I really feel like Guild Wars, ever since 2012, has been missing an achievement or a collection line that um, obviously collections have existed in 2012, but um, that gives you credit for doing every event. You know? Just like a flag on your account that says, hey, you did this event. You know, I feel like it would add so much more meaning and like sense of stuff mattering to me if, if I knew that this was gonna like just represent, hey, he's seen this event, he's done this content. I hate this thing in Guild Wars where it's like all this stuff people aren't motivated to do or they miss and they don't even know it's there and so on. Obviously this actually gives me heart progress, so it's something. A little bit of heart progress. I can get the skip already in Saitan, can I? Interesting. I didn't realise that. What's up with the security turret? When I get a jade bot, can I use this? They're doing very excellent with that. The big problem with the mastery is though, you, you, you're making them, you do them linearly. So again, no decision points. By the way, in episode two of the Let's Play, I think I'll go to um, EU. I'll go to EU in part two. You know, we'll swap back and forward. Yeah, like FF has. Yeah, exactly. Final Fantasy does it. Thank you, Mainlander. Hope this means they don't come back. But not holding my breath. Well, they call me Mainlander now, not Outlander. Um, and ArenaNet are scared to do it because they don't want people waiting from events and stuff and feeling frustrated by that. But I mean, come on, it's optional, optional stuff like. Just use a little bit of brain power and think about the context here, and I think it works fine. You I know. swear, that place is crawling with ghosts. The temple on the hill? <laughs> That's just something we tell kids to keep them from playing in it. Well, I went to check it out yesterday. My friends said not to miss it while I was here, and one of them nearly sucked my soul straight out of my nose. Your nose? Really? My nose. I'll spread the word. Tell people to keep their distance. Damn. And that's the event we just did, right? Okay, so how are we doing now? Okay, we can fish for the end of the, um... The heart now. So I don't actually have to watch the bob. I can watch the red exclamation mark above my head, right? Which kind of ruins it a bit, because the... The exclamation mark's a lot more... Ooh, whoops. A lot more obvious. What does this information tell me again? Fishing party enhancement. Increases your fishing power based on the current tier. You gain stacks of this enhancement by making successful catches from fishing nodes to progress towards the next tier. Progress is shared among party and squad members on the same skiff. So being a party or a squad on the same skiff, fish off of it and you get a big bonus. Come on. I like this outfit, fishing with this outfit, seeing the hands moving around, grasping at me as I do this peaceful thing. Hey, I got a rare fish, a stingray. I'll tell you what, one of the most ambient, like, immersive things about fishing is that creaking of the rod. I felt that in that VR fishing game, too. Alright, uh, there you go. See, I've never actually been fishing in real life. I was going to do it with my brother, but we haven't talked about it for a while. It's plain to see you have both the knack and the passion for it now. I'm glad our paths crossed. Whatever trouble may find you, remember to cast a line from time to time. And find your center. Verse, well, you'll have to learn that on your own. An old man has to keep some secrets, eh? Okay. See, again, it's like, uh, there's not many people for me to press F on, you know? 
But this is a whole little, like, village outpost place. I mean, here's someone with an event. We can't wait for the Ministry of Security any longer. The pillaging will never stop while that Tide Priest is inciting them. And I know where to find us. Find it. Will you help us? Well, this is a group event, so I don't know how many how many spuds there are around. I mean, there's a ton around, but... Oh, I thought that was someone in Echovald then, but it's not. It's the Echovald uh, icon. I guess I'll do that at a later time. It is my honor to welcome Ambassador Kazmir Mead of Kryda, not only to the show, but to Katha. Thank you for having me. Oh, she's on the show. It's an honor, really. I'm thrilled to be here, in Kantha. Is there anything you'd like to say to the people of Kantha? Many are apprehensive about our reopening. Just, uh, hello. <laughs> and that we are excited to welcome Kantha back to the world. We want to build a warm relationship. When you say we, who are you referring to? Tyria as a whole, or Kryta? Officially, I speak for Kryta. But I think I can also speak for Tyria. We are all... You can't. Here. Yeah, let's hear Bangar. <laughs> Bangar's thought on that. Or, oh, I don't know, someone even more. <coughs> Dangerous. I kind of like the emphasis there on the societies again. Because, again, it's that that's where I think the story needs to go. And let's hear what the inquest think about that. There's some other morally onerous people there. Captain's Council, maybe? I'm guessing the event would take us to these islands over here. Oh, no, no, no. You can see a little bit of their, like... Their business. So there's some offshore fish. I can't get to those without a skiff, right? So this is called the Naga Domain. We just ticked over half of the POIs in the map, by the way. We just got halfway. I may have to do some fighting to get this. And I'm alright with that. I just want to be square of what exactly they want me to do. If you're going to fight, fight. If not, bugger off. Let's see what we can do with this LOS. Okay. Stormcaller. I swear, Nightfall is so strong because it's Boon Rip as well. Cripple, blind, damage, expanding field, and Boon Rip. It's just insane. Why is he invulnerable still? Well, is bugged there, the animation. Come on, let me give me a weapon, sir. When I get a skiff, I'll probably sail around this island. This is just called Naga Island, eh? This is totally where that group event ends. Seem to have a slight animation bug for a second there. Okay. So the skiff is is what? The heart from over here? Oh shit. Who's attacking me now? Sorry, I forgot. Even though it's a new expansion, you're still not allowed to open your world map without getting attacked. Never stand still. No matter how slowly you're playing the game and how diligently you're clearing enemies out. Never stand still. So I kind of don't want a waypoint because, look, we've got a mastery point over here we could pick up. A hero challenge over here we could pick up. And a really cool uh, taxi, which could take us into some really new areas. So I'm thinking of doing that before uh, going to look at the skiff. We did the monastery training. I also I kind of want to talk to the heart NPC. So let's do that and see what they have for purchase. You never know, they might have something cool. Something affordable. Any reason I'm not playing with a new spec yet? Because I haven't unlocked very much of it just yet. I'll turn to it soon. But I think I need to get to about, let's see, Deathly Haste. That's the GM, isn't it? Once I have Deathly Haste, I'll, I can have a build, you know. I'll have pistol, I'll have some utility skills, and I'll have a full trait set. But before, before Deathly Haste, it's going to be a bit rough. So I just need five hero challenges. That's all. Just that five. With ghosts. Oh, we already I listened to them saying that. Please. Uh, and speaking of which, I'm about to get one here, actually. I'll get that first. Can we go in here? No. Oh. Yes, sort of. 
How, how narrow is it behind that door, I ask? <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, look at this. The, the cat on the cog hanging off the tree. That's lovely. Come on, be day again. Be day. Oh, okay, it's up, but then that's a cave going down. Oh, no, it's a dog kennel. Oh, no, it's not a dog kennel. It's a fish drying outhouse place. Huh, how do I get up there? That's very high, guys. Oh, my chair's getting so creaky, man. I need to I need to replace this thing. It started, the material of the chairs started to fray a little bit as well now. Oh, look, they're doing the group event. Fisher gives up in one minute. I'll go with you, dude. Hold on, hold on, I'm on my way. Flee. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's a champ, a champ ta uh, tag on there. I'll try my best. If you can fight, I can fight. Hold on though, if we only have like 80 seconds. 80 seconds to do what? Cap this? If any spuds want to come, you're more than welcome to. Get a bunch of achievements there for finishing my daily, my counter daily. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, no, he's going. Uh, but is this going to be like one of those dragon stand ones where it's a cumul cumulative, you know? Oh, no, no. It did refresh. It did refresh. Oh, they actually want a bit of underwater combat here? Man, I really want to do that Lagos event as well. I want to see what happens when the Lagos beats the thing. Just your standard fish drying house. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You tell me. I mean, I, I'm probably ignorant about something that that is. Should be right around here. This leadership thing is growing on me. Why should Let me see if I can draw that rebel rouser out. Hey, you uh, thieving sea weasel! Come on out of your hidey hole and face us! Oh, this was on the stream. This was on the pre-release press, right? These were the telegraphs that the they really didn't do a very good job, Peter. like showing off. Okay, what do we do? Just stay on the cap point? Kill enemies. I love the smell of low tide. Is any tide? What do we got here? Tide blessed. It's an interesting. Oh. I quite like, I'm quite like this, to be honest. Simple, but I'm not tired of it. Shouldn't there be more enemies around, though? I like how the NPC is actually dodge rolling and stuff and reacting to the telegraphs. Like, look at this. I wonder how they set that up. Is this all exactly on rails and they know? Like, look. Or is it dynamically knowing to dodge? It's funny because that NPC is that like, she's dancing and everything. She's probably a lot better at this than most players will be. <laughs> also, there's the fact she seems to have infinite endurance. Try again, take her brain. <laughs> Get in there, Navi son. Alright, a fight. Holy crap, we broke that quick. Am I in danger in the middle here, or safe in there? I kind of don't want to be on that waterfall. Oh, that's interesting. The storm caller telegraph there. What is that? Um, leads? Uh, sorry, blinds there, haven't they? The tornadoes are scary. I'm quite happy I have shouts at the moment. 
There's all these targets. Like, I have my heal back already here. Great cars there. Oh, I don't need it. I was desperately spamming Whale of Doom there, but didn't need it. I'll kill the little guy while that big animation's going on. Hey, they're pretty good at telegraphing all those little things, but the orange background on the dialogue boxes now, the, the thing that said Death Rattle, pretty good. Oh, there you go, it's been reset. Wait, it's reset right now. Jesus Christ, I swear I looked at the clock a second ago and it was 10. Suddenly it's midnight. Oh my God. So by the way, for this Let's Play, those who are watching it live as it comes out, uh, not all of them are going to go this late in the day. Uh, the other ones will start earlier in the day and end earlier in the day. The, the thing is with it, um, the obviously launch has, has, has started late today, so I started late too. But generally speaking, these will not be going on this, this late. In fact, oh man, that makes me realise I'm going to have to stop soon. So I don't ruin my sleep schedule. Because I've got to be done to wake up earlier tomorrow, to start again earlier tomorrow. So I wonder when I should stop. This guy's very tanky. And the water spouts do hurt, for sure. Still not below 50%. Having to max melee is tricky. Nice flesh golem break there. Oh, I ate a lot of them there. Oh. What is that siren that I just heard? That horn. Only five minutes left, by the way. We've got to pick up the pace, or we're not actually going to make this. The thing is, there's so few players around. Oh, my friend's actually dead. I've got the res. The boss is below 50% now, so I get extra trait value and stuff. And I can grave dig, so maybe I can go a bit faster, but... I mean, this is a lot of mobs here right now. And if I mess up and I go down, that's pretty much still the deal. Let's kill the little one. See, look, this guy's dead again. Look at how fast my heal comes up there. 13 seconds and it's back. Brilliant. See, if I was playing Harbinger right now, like a weak Harbinger, I don't think I'd be doing this well. Oh, that was good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're grinding them down there. Whoopsie. Got caught in that and hit with a bunch of slow. Let's pull everyone in again, next to the boss. Cleave them all down at once. Oh, this is a really good break as well here. Break right into the well, that was. Well, we got four minutes. Yeah, we're doing awesome, man. We really sped up here. Well of Doom. Seeing that the Locust isn't really doing anything for me on this, but that's fine. Another really high value heal there. When Spectral Grass comes up, I can clean these mobs up again. There it is. Well, I say that. I can sort of. Maybe I can clean them all. Double dodge, but it's fine. I just wanted to get into heal again. Get the golem back. Charge him in. Avoid some of those. Res this guy. Well of Blood healed me massively there, which is awesome. Is that Vapor Ball? No, it's not. A break bar. Oh, this has been a really satisfying fight for this build right now. Genuinely, like the, the amount of pressure coming in at me, the, the breaks, the stepping around stuff. This is really fun. I really like the balance of this. Boom. Oh, and one satisfying grave digger to end it. We 
owe you one. Couldn't have done it without you. And thanks for helping me step up and lead. Partially chewed box. No preview. Oh, I got a chest of loyalty today. That's pretty cool. Pretty thing. I'll go with laurels for my ascended uh, item project. What's the lot? What's the next ascended item I want? Um, uh, probably gonna get this amulet here. I need to sort this row out, to be honest with you. But this is POF stuff. Probably get this amulet, or this amulet, or this amulet. So at least I have the set. And then we can go for the extras later. The other choice would be to start working on those duplicates, but I'm not that excited about it. Thank you for dying nice and quick. Okay, right, back to this hero challenge. How do we get this hero challenge? Maybe what we have to do is go up the other side, you know? Or maybe just this pathway. Maybe this takes us up. We've got to find a way to just climb. Climb the cliffs, you know. Now that I've got a little teeth in, how's the basic first impression going? Um, I it, it opens really well. And they hit big story beats really fast, too. Um, I would say the past couple of hours have been a little bit slower, but that's fine, you know. I think that going slow is sometimes nice. You know, I've spent a lot of time out doing the exploration stuff. So far, yeah, I think it's, um... I I'm not going to review it until I've beaten it. But I've had fun. I'm not going to sit here playing this game of constantly critiquing and doing punditry for hours and hours and hours and hours before I even have the full story, you know. And when I say story, I don't literally mean the game story. I mean, I'm just, I just want to play and enjoy before I'm hounded for opinions about it. Do you know what I mean? Not that you're hounding me, but you get what I mean. Hounding myself for opinions. We'll see which impressions stick and which ones don't as the Let's Play goes along. Yeah, I don't know how to climb up there right now. Are mounts restricted or am I choosing not to use them? I'm choosing not to use them. Hmm. Maybe we go much more inland and then we can sort of circle back, you know. Maybe following this road up gives us some height and then we can get across the cliff tops from there. And then it's kind of a long walk south. Like here, you see how this is starting to slope up a bit? And here. Yeah, this looks a little bit better. I really like the long grasses. These are so nice. And this might be a route up here as well. It's close. But I think it is... Possible. Yeah, it is. Nice. I don't know if this is the right way of doing this, though. So to speak. In air quotes. Actually, we still got to get a lot higher. you got to get all the way up there to the village overlook. That's my next Harbinger bit. I really want this for Harbinger, so... Oh, oh no, it's okay. It's okay. I was expecting this to be a sheer cliff here, and this was, like, Springer needed. Where is it that they say you get the Springer? It, it doesn't that stuff happen in Kaineng? Oh, look, 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 look. Elite Kappa Mud Stomper. Dude, he's cool. I really, these are my favorite enemies of the X-Pack right now. They're so cool on land and they're so cool underwater. And again, look, it's an elite guarding the hero challenge. I think they're trying to hit like a 50-50 thing with the hero challenges. Part of what HOT did and then part of the, Basically going back to how HUT defended them, but not too insane, you know, but harder than POF. I, I don't think you'll find much critique or conversation about it because all the veterans have just instantly unlocked their stuff, but that does seem to be what the expansion is doing. Gazing upon the small fishing village, you're reminded of those you fight for. 
and the reasons you do so. Let's da look down at the small village over there. Oh, there's a chest up there, is there? Nice. Question is, can I get to it? I couldn't climb to the top of Cat Island. Oh. So what have we unlocked so far here? Pistol and Harbinger Shroud. Now we will get Vial Vials. Elixir skills will gain reduced recharge and inflict vulnerabilities. Why have they given me Vial Vials as one of my first traits? When I obviously don't have all the, the elixirs themselves until the back half of the unlock. That's lame. This should be one of the, this should be the third, the, whatever. Next will be Alchemic vi Vigor. Gain increased vitality and heal each second for, for each stack of life we get. Yeah, I don't think I can get up there without a Springer. That's okay though. Hey look, there's a Strawberry Patch. I always feel like strawberry patches are very special places in Guild Wars. Look at that, they wrote dialogue into the death of Crate, talking about the mists. Not shying away from the mists. I think these are all like small indications that we're moving into mists, demons. Stuff like that. The next era of the game. Okay, let's drop down. So, do I want to get on the taxi now? No, no, no. I want to cross this bridge now and grab this mastery point. I feel like it's been nighttime forever. When was it day? When was it last day? <laughs> Yeah, I'm really sorry about the spammer in chat, guys. I, I I, don't know what to tell you. It's never this bad on Twitch. The price we pay for having higher quality videos, right? It's interesting getting Aetherized Metal again. Feels very Season 1-y. Oh man, interesting. You, you don't want me climbing this or you do? What's the story here? Do you want me up there? I guess not. Is there another route? This mastery point might be out of touch for me as well. Hmm. I think it is. I think that one is. It's a cool area we're at. Much more Aether Blades and stuff around. I'm a little disappointed there aren't many more gathering. I don't know. It's just a Guild Wars problem. It's not an End of Dragons problem. With the whole gathering and stuff. I really think if ArenaNet don't have the... Not, if ArenaNet's game is not about expanding combat level, maybe it should increase crafting level and stuff at least, you know? So we have some discipline progression or something. Oh, the heart is de the heart is over again now because I beat it. Because I beat... It, it's been reset now since I beat it. That's funny. All right, let's get on a taxi. This is this should be really cool. We're gonna go to a whole new area of the map now. I know I missed this POI right here. Oh, we can go back to that actually. Let's just take it. This is cool because this actually I'm not doing this just for funsies. This is actually the fastest thing for me. So let's go to Zendaijan. Let's run. And then when we get near the POI, he's going to take me across this road here, or this road, I don't know, one of them. But we'll, we'll, we'll jump off and get the POI. And then we'll get another raptor and we'll climb up. I don't want to look at that. I want to look at the environment here. Right, like here, for example. Thank you, taxi. Oh my god, it's really low down. The water looks really weird as well. What's going on with that? Let's drop. It's a hell of a waterfall. I bet there's diving goggles on top of that. The serene pool. Oh, do you know what? This just reminded me of the... Um, that cave that's going to be there in the Jade Sea, you know, that we saw in early press. It's going to be really cool. 
Can we swim in the serene pool? The, uh, what is it? The rocky pool is nice and cool. So juicy, sweet. <laughs> I've missed a, I've missed a bit of the song there. <laughs> Catch a fish is my only wish. Is that, is that the, the line? <laughs> okay, we gotta get back up now though. And we'll get on that raptor and then we'll move up. Every time I see one of those offensive pro protocols, I'm just thinking to myself, what exactly is that going to look like? I'll do what I must. Okay. Your left. Actually, climbing that hill did not feel too bad at all. It's always one of those funny things with games where you're climbing like mountain slopes and stuff and you don't ever have to feel it. Okay, so we want to go to the Daigo Ward, and I'm going to pick the eastern route up the Daigo Ward. Let's go. Let's jump there. Um, while we're on this taxi, I'll, ask, I'll answer any questions from people in the live chat if they're interested. Uh, how do you craft the new legendary weapons? Is there any news on them? Uh, I've seen multiple vendors with lots of cool crafting and stuff going on, but... I've not engaged in it a bit yet. Obviously, that's a post-game thing, and the expansion is only six, seven hours old. You just found a random box on the floor, put it on top of some other ones, and it revealed a chest. Oh, nice! That's what they said, didn't they? That there's, like, fun little things you can do in the game. Oh, there's another little event there that I haven't done. Uh, that will reveal hidden chests and things, like in Breath of the Wild. It's a new thing that they're doing in this expansion. I haven't seen any of that yet, but that sounds cool. Uh, how was the story? Uh, it's good so far, but I don't have the whole story yet. Wait, what am I doing? Why are we going down here? This isn't the Daigo Ward. Oh, are we going all the way around like this? I guess we're going around like this. Okay. Um, I can't comment on the story till I've played it all, really. You know, I don't know where they're setting things up. They're telegraphing certain things, but until I see those things happen, who knows? Um, I guess we are landing here? What is this? Uh... How's Harbinger? I have um, I haven't unlocked it yet. I haven't well, I've been unlocking it. I haven't slotted it yet. Okay. Weird. <laughs> we're like a train that just pulled into the station and now we're moving off this way again. Do you know anyone who's finished this the story? No, and out of five hundred people, only a couple have made it to the second map so far, so. I would say the people furthest ahead are like halfway through the story right now. About there, maybe. Maybe if you rush super hard, there's possibly some some people that have beaten it. Like that are super try hard, destroyed any experience that you could expect from the game and have just rushed and spammed wherever they could. There might be some people who have beaten it already. I gotta grind your gears. But I mean that's that's not really playing the game, is it? It's like that French guild that got to level 80 in the first like two hours of Guild Wars 2's launch or whatever it is because they gamed the system through crafting and consolidating all their wealth. Look at the, the, the lighthouse there. I've never seen any of this. I know a seasoned fighter when I see one, unless those weapons are just for show. Yeah, maybe. Um, so I've got a taxi here. Where are we? What is this? Provisional Minsec Camp. The Ministry of Security. What's uh, that event? Officer Tay? Oh, there's some players here wanting to fight the um, Aether Blades. I was on axe. It keeps happening that I think I'm on axe and I'm actually on great sword. So I hit the two and I, I don't have the range. And it's too far away to close the gap without super speed to actually get the great digger to land. Oh, like a leisurely 
stroll to fill up the workday. Drop by for a walk anytime. Sure. Glad I could help a little bit. Let's do this event. Actually, is there anyone you else? Looks like you could hold your own in battle, or at least put up a good front. Would you mind helping us out? See, no one to speak to in these camps. Do you see this? It feels really different to vanilla and stuff. But the only person to speak to will trigger an event. That's it. It's against protocol, but we can't keep waiting for backup. The further the Unchained spread, the harder they are to uproot. If you'll back us up, I think we can reclaim the tower. Are you in? The Unchained. So they're here. And they're spreading. Oh, hell yeah, I'm with you. We're hey, going to see some recent in. stuff. Ask her help, it just might come to you. Now I believe we're ready. I didn't... Boss, can we trust an, a, a stranger with something this important? Who, this one? Of course we can. I know the type. Acts tough, but on the inside, total softy. First, we'll head to the watchtower. We can clear out any unchained stragglers along the way. Oh, wow. Power. Now that's the tough part. The unchained have the advantage. High ground. Zero access. The sense that they're still spreading is really, really interesting. This is also so similar suddenly to the Afflicted story. With that little detail in there. There's one here. Look, look, look. The Unchained. The Risen in Camper. How crazy is that? One hell of a tidal wave, eh? Let's see. Where would the tidal wave... I mean, it's just... It's just madness. It is madness. Um, that's like a global wave at this point. If they're going to say it made it to Canada, they should say it made it around the whole globe. And that is, well, maybe not that we don't know the whole globe at this point, right? Maybe so. Did the male Silvari voice actor change? I don't know. I'm not playing that. It, did they? Nice pull there. Well done. Oh, it was an NPC. Well, nice pull to the NPC. Bread and butter of these events, keeping them pulled up. My mind went completely blank. I panicked. Kid, in all my years of combat, you're the first person I've ever seen freeze up like that. Really? No, of course not. It happens. Look, the battle's not over till you stop fighting. You're calling it quits? No, boss. No Look at this, I was joking about. Then let's take our tower back. I was joking about gorillas in Xingji, and here we are. There are gorillas in Xingji, risen ones. You can see the outer edge of Kaineng from the waters of Xingji. Can you really? I should be able to see that when I look over that, that water there then, shouldn't I? This is the Emperor's Watchtower. The Emperor's Watchtower. Is this uh, the Empress's father then? That, who was alluded to earlier in the story? Man, so many evades from this guy. Wow. He seems to have an evade attached to his auto chain or something, so it just kept going. These guys are all really sturdy. All of them very sturdy. I'm really happy we beat that strike mission earlier. That was cool.
troubles from the deep. Predictable as they are ugly, so we turn their advantage against them. Let those stairs act as a bottleneck. We'll take them out one by one as they reach the top. Wow, wow, what is this? Uh, successfully complete events involving the Naga and Unchained in Saitung. The duality of water is reflected in the camp and seas. They nurture the land's inhabitants with food sources and trade routes, yet harbor threats of Naga and Unchained risen within their depths. Oh, the whole duality thing, Lissa, the two dragons, the horror and the beauty that we saw earlier. So I've done three of those now. What is this final reward? The water type bag. Disrupt a ritual in the Emerald Park. Defend and repair the Haiju Cove. That'll be up north somewhere. Gather supplies and defend the tech as they repair the Emerald Park fallen mech. Okay. Oh wow, it's Emperor Yusoku! Look at this! Yusoku's Watchtower? Okay. Hold on, there's another... That's a different event though. A group event to defeat the Unchained and capture their ritual sites. That's going to be done in four minutes though. I don't know if we could get there in time. Wow, can I read the plaque on this? There's a plaque. Uh, WP, isn't that achievement exactly what you asked for before? A list of events to do? Yeah, you're right, actually. I was thinking more in terms of, like, I feel like every event should have that. You know, that every event should be a part of, you know, just some broader idea that, okay, I've done them all. You know, I won't go so far as to actually suggest it, but the idea is, like, another component of map completion. There are 70, map, 70 events on this map. You'll be credited eventually for having seen all 70. But you're right, this is exactly in the same notion as that. It's just more piecemeal. Put the but pe being piecemeal kind of gets it away from the dull the point I was trying to make. You know, I was trying to make an argument about putting value everywhere rather than putting value somewhere. Does that make sense? Let's get rid of that prop. He's still got stab and knife, though, that's fine. To this. You ever meet when I hang? No, boss. Never. Of course you have, and he's dead. Huh? Again, that's what we in this line of work refer to as a joke. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, you know what? Appreciate the effort. I'm just trying to cheer you up, kid. You're doing fine. Everyone's very chipper in this. Oh my god, we've got a guildie going for this event. I mean, I'll go and try and help, but I think uh, I think we're a little bit late. Oh yeah, look, Kai Neng. It's nice, isn't it? It's a good touch. I mean, in a way, it kind of um, makes Cantha feel small. But in another way, the world map UI did that anyway. Yeah, I, I like it. On balance, I like it. That is awesome, isn't it? That's kind end, guys. Across the waters from Xingji. How cool is that? Also, look at the lighthouse. That's an advantage of playing at night time. And there's the tower. Can we not climb the tower more? I'll go over. I'll try. It looks like absolutely no progress at any part of this. What is this? These giant plumes of, like, poison everywhere? I'm sure this event is on the, um, that achievement we were looking at. So, if I can't do it, the abandoned lighthouse. Dead lighthouse is a really cool thing in fantasy. I always like them. It's like some well here. If we had three players, but it ends in one minute. We might be able to get some cool failure dialogue at least, you know. There's a part of my brain that's like, I'll just stand on it at the end. Am I going to sudden death? It's like, there's not going to be a sudden death. Unchained Tactician. Look, there's knights. There's risen knights here. Let's just go on up. Because, again, we're not going to make this. I wonder if there's a boss that spawns in the middle of this. The abandoned lighthouse. Do they not have any lore or context for why this is abandoned? Oh, with no springer. I wonder if you can go in when the events go the right way. That's such a nice touch, seeing the city over there. With the mist around it, too. 
Very good. And it kind of addresses an issue with maps like this, where just the flat water forever looks really ugly. 45 seconds, and we'll see what happens here. The elites are part of this. Oh, cool. They summon the storms on me, and it actually follows now. Interesting to see some of their new animations. Some of the new risen capabilities. I mean, we can't see much when I just grind them to death. Like, I, I get it. But <laughs> oh, our friend is dead. I'm coming. Four seconds, three, two. The tide soon we spread. Zaitan commands your death. Wow, Zaitan commands your death. They still have that dog on there. They come like the tide. Interesting. So Canthans have been dealing with a zombie thing ever since Zaitan's rise? Again? I mean, that's crazy. I think I have all my bingo cards. All uh, unlocked Haiju Lagoon. This was my favorite area of Shingji in the first game, generally speaking. I wonder if... Um... Oh, on my bingo card, they have the, the afflicted. Sorry, I got really... Uh, I distracted myself there. I was wondering if you could climb on these and then that let you jump into the cliff face there and then that was how you, you had to platform to get to this because I can see it's high up. But I'll have a look around. Maybe there's a way to get to it. There's mastery points everywhere. And mastery points are so boring. They don't, they don't matter. Look, I've already got seven in excess. I'd much rather if hero points were halved value. And there were double the hero challenges around, you know. Not hero point. Mastery points everywhere. Wow, what's the portal all about there? Oh, that's the entrance, isn't it? That's going to be the way into Kaineng. There's just some boys out there. Are we meant to skiff through that? Is that the idea? You just sail on your skiff. Isn't a skiff like a rigger kind of thing? It's not It's not for deep ocean travel or sea travel. That again is kind of suggestive of the city being really close and sort of shrinks the scale of this world, but fine. Boots' theory that it was the underwater tube might also be true with that. Yeah, I can't get up to that without a springer. Return later. Eastern Eighth of Blade crash site. What am I doing? I'm nowhere near the story anymore. Let's go south. Oh, I missed this vista. It would have been really good. Really good to have got that vista. First time as we were right near the area. Let's swim on through. The facial animations during the cutscenes are so good. Yeah, they're really good, aren't they? They're very, very, very good. Oh, we have another thing. Correct, co collect parts to repair the broken mech before the technician is totally overrun. An unchained wave appeared. Technician's under attack. Where's the technician, then? Back the way I came. Either my build is like with no spite, really low pressure, or everyone's a lot sturdier than I thought. Or it's just dragon gear actually, maybe dragon gear isn't. Man, all these males, all these males, all these people who want to join. Oh, here we go. Uh, thank you for the Aetherblade hideout. Long time follower, I was about to sleep. 
uh, when I came into Phil as the 10th Mechanist and Scrapper. It was a lot of fun figuring out mechanics on day one rather than watching proven tactics. Hope you do more progression runs. Yeah, I mean, the next part of the, the LP, we'll get to another strike mission, I'll do the same thing. That's totally fine. Also, yeah, I totally started reading that mail thinking it was an NPC <laughs> who was rewarding, who was saying thanks for doing the strike. <laughs> so uh, that's how well written it was. That's what I'm talking about. Have some confidence in yourself. Our big boy will help hold the line while backup arrives. Hey, thanks a bunch. Did you get to hear her widow mech voice? <laughs> it's pretty cute, eh? Look how chipper they all are. They're all so, like, hee-hee, happy, kind of. And I think it's fine. It matches the vibe of this map. Um, there was a mastery point in here, but high. Isn't that bizarre? See, I'd be so much more captivated by this sword moment if it was a hero challenge up there but as a mastery point it's so easy to just think fuck it <laughs> doesn't matter hmm what's the game i don't know maybe there's a sort of a, a jumping puzzle around the outside that would be really sweet maybe they want us to glide from elsewhere like a really far away I don't see a way up from around here. I cannot believe how bad YouTube spam bots are about that. That is just unbelievable. The variety and just the incessant. We might get a glimpse of it up there in this vista. go end of dragons vista viewer a little bit of daily okay so we've got a few choices here well if there was a heart i could have done for the skiff before that i had already previously completed i definitely don't have it now there isn't a heart at side tongue harbor though i did the training one and there was no skiff reward there we never got to speak to this person to figure out what they sold Whatever, let's grab this vista, cross this br this r bridge. This looks like a really built up area. Lots of players here, lots of services. The storyline's taking me there. So let's let's get let's grab these two things here. See what their events are around, see what exploration there is. And then yeah, uh, we'll be like central map finally. I'm really captivated by these, especially this. I want to be over here. Man, it, it, it's really cool to me that they kept half of Xingji for season 6. In theory. Okay. The maps are freaking huge. Yeah, it feels big, doesn't it? It feels good. Um, I don't think it feels like Path of Fire huge to me right now. But I haven't even explored all of this place, so maybe that's just super silly of me. And besides, I think comparative exercises between maps and direct ways like that is generally quite a foolish thing. Size really doesn't matter too much. It's what they're what they filled it up with, you know. WP, have you been on the same map since four hours ago? Yeah, yep, we're the same place. trying to get around in a logical way here but it looks like I have to do some really awkward thing here which is not what I wanted to do. All I wanted to do was get on this but I was down a chasm so if I'd gone this way I think I would have been alright but it's okay. Oh we get to explore a bit I didn't really explore this eighth of the do you think that there's like audio nodes on all of these? There's a zipline 
Okay, is this the road I want to go down? I think it is. Done, There's that. Uh, my temptation to go across that bridge over there is really huge as well, but I won't. I won't bother with that. If I act three, oh, never mind. I can grind your gears. Bunch of Aether Blades here. Is this like a contestable territory? Agitators defeated. Unmask and thwart the purest agitators. What's that all about? Oh, it's day again. Finally. Oh, it feels so much better. Wow, look at that place. The giant force fields and stuff? My god. Oh, we get one of the teleporters. Jade Tech teleporters. Can't do anything without a bot. Nor a bot that we haven't leveled. Oh my god, that vista's so high though. Is there a way up? Do we have to teleport up to that vista? Oh, there's no way. I can't get up there. Look at that. Alright. Well, it took us to all this crazy stuff. Another crashed airship here. Kappa Mud Stomper. Hello. And he's out here in the tar. Turn his resolution into confusion. Which is really weird. It, you, retaliation into confusion made a lot of sense. That doesn't so much. Junalai J Junkyard. Oh, I see. This is the kind of polluting stuff we're going to find in the Echovald Forest, is it? This is where they just dump all their crap. Can't open the chest. I see. So the city's not going to have too much of it, as opposed to Guild Wars 1. But this is probably going to be a big thing in the Echo Veld. Okay, we're going to get up to that bridge. That big bridge. There's some old stairs here. Let's go up those. Oh, nature's thriving here, right next to it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm looking at the minimap like, okay, so I need to go up. Still. Jesus. That bridge is still up there. So hold on. we got to now find a way to get up there. Wow, this is uh, more tangled depthy than it would appear. This has been like a convoluted mess, like a ball of yarn to unravel just to navigate up to that place. But it's definitely up around here on the left. I could obviously be doing multiple things to be a little bit quicker. Here we go. This is this area we're at before. Where we get to crush the Luxons for the glory of House Who No, it seems not. House Who Helps is no more. I would be careful about that message in chat saying that these maps are more detailed than the POF maps. I think everyone's going to have a likelihood to have forgotten just how much detail there is in the POF maps. There's an insane amount. But you haven't played it for half a decade and you weren't incentivized to play much of it because of its you know, reward schemes and stuff. So you think about it more shallowly than you should. As far as I can see, these are about as dense as POF so far. Please don't force me to make crit judgments and criticisms so uh, I just want to play for now but that is something I do feel is important to say I don't know man okay so now we've crossed the bridge but there's still no easy way there let's just get on a raptor taxi and see where it takes us yeah let's go the west route sorry the east route I did west before Wait, just what if I just say North Peninsula? North Peninsula's there. I was already there. Why am I being attacked? Whatever. Wet East Room. Just leave. Oh my God. Yeah, let's go. Let's see what direction they take. They're going to take me back across the bridge here.
some scallions. I had a cool moment looking at the village there. Well, we did this. We did this exact path, right? Am I crazy? He's going to stop. And then he's going to turn around and take us up there. What happened last time we did this? How did I get so distracted and turned around and all, all higgledy piggledy and all over the place? Okay, let's go again. He's going to stop us here, right? Which is the North Peninsula. Not Isn't this the Daigo Ward? Am I crazy? Oh, hey, we had a super chat. Oh, it was Full Brumby. Full Brumby, you're the only person who's done that in seven and a half hours, man. I have earned 15 bucks in seven and a half hours. So thank you very much. That's to you. Story is getting really heavy. You can't wait to see my reaction to it. Really? Oh, that sounds quite exciting. Thank you, man. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it too. You look like you could hold your. Oh, own I think battle. I stopped to do that event, didn't I? Oh, we were supposed to weave up this way, I guess. I see. Yeah, yeah, we just went and had fun doing events. Yeah, this is gonna take us to the big bridge. Look, see the taxis know the way. Excellent. Oh, here we are. We're on top of it. Are we even allowed in? I mean, it doesn't look. Is that door gonna open? Oh, this is cool. Oh, the door opened really early. The Daigo Ward. There it is. Hey, I'm feeling very MMO right now. Look at all this content that we're just flying by. Can't believe the ministry's afraid of a bunch of junkyard. Like, afraid of junkyard of right pirates. Now, no one knows where they are. Not even my Trin. Can we trust her? It's my understanding she led these pirates. That's a good question. We'll be keeping a close eye on her. What I wanted to ask you is, can we trust June? Her relationship with the Aether Blades is a concerning matter. One she'll have to answer for. For Madame June is not a traitor. Empress N is certain of this. But aren't they sisters? Understood. Well, I have to get a trade deal in front of Minister Ishikawa soon. Please apprise us of any Aether Blade developments. How can, of course. How can you trust her to be entirely object objective and avoid all potential criticism if they're sisters? So obviously there's a conflict I of interest guess we're there. Working with my trin now. Never thought I'd see the day. Do you suppose we can trust her? What choice do we have? She knows Anka. And for what it's worth, I felt she was sincere back there. She's committed terrible acts. The people of Lion's Arch deserve justice. But it has been eight years. There's gotta be space for people to change, to grow. We're all learning to be better people. Or worse. Right? Uh, maybe. Well, I just want to say thank you, Commander. I can tell you're trying to be more diplomatic lately. Whatever I can do to make your job easier. There's always a chance we can be backsliding, everyone. Let's let's all uh, <laughs> let's all stop and <laughs> think about that. Okay, uh, Navan. The ambassador was just updating me on your encounter, or lack thereof, with the Aether Blades. The one called Anka staged a mutiny. We just missed them. You have an intriguing air about you, Commander. You fail continuously, yet it does not seem to impact your morale. Your efforts have been remarked upon. The Empress appreciates all you've tried to do. I'm not finished yet. Once we get to New Kining, we'll deal with the Aether Blades. We have every faith in you. Now, please excuse my brevity, but there are matters here that demand my attention. Anything I can help with? I'd focus on getting your transit documents first. Though, should you later have a spare moment, perhaps I'll avail myself of your generosity. Xing Jie is the model of serenity, but it has its issues. Naga raids, purists, and spiritual hauntings, to name a few. Man, I was going to say, if it was about to trigger me into a phase of the story where it wants me to go complete events, you know, like Living World Season 4 would do a lot, after I just did a bunch without having tagged it, it would have been pretty, pretty depressing. Do you need something? What's up with the Naga? I thought I told you to focus on your permit, Commander. The Naga were once so peaceful. Wonderful storytellers. Ashido's jade wind nearly drove them to extinction. 
Those who survived swore vengeance against humanity. It's been 500 years since the Jade Wind, hasn't it? As I said, wonderful storytellers. Not quick to forget. And we didn't exactly make a great case for forgiveness. If you cross them, they will not show mercy, Commander. But I'm not human. You've made peace with humans. For many Naga, that's worse. Interesting. I like how they had that little line in there as well. Let me reread that as well, because I'm not sure I retained it, all of it. It's so cool to hear them talking about the Jade Winged. Wonderful storytellers. Which means that they're not quick to forget. So even though it was 500 years ago, they still care about that same thing. That's cool. Uh, what exactly are purists? The Ministry of Purity was xenophobic, genocidal, and tyrannical. Fascism hiding behind promises of prosperity. Their views are widely disdained well, fascism, in modern fascism Gantha, isn't. But there are some who cling to them anyway. The purists. These cowards wear masks, meet in secrecy, all in a dream of somehow restoring Cantha to lost glory days. I, I want to believe they represent the death throes of that ideology. But they've been more active lately. Recent incidents have given their recruiters plenty of ammunition. Right. Sorry about that. It's better they're moving in the open. Makes them easier to catch. Interesting. Um... I'm just thinking about one of the dev quotes from like a few days ago where they were saying like art reflects what they do. Um, so spirits, uh, how they feel about the world and so on. So spirits? Tragedy leaves a mark. And despite its beauty, Xing Jie had seen no shortage of tragedy. Those killed by the affliction or the Ministry of Purity are bound there. They're rarely seen during the day. At night, however. No matter what, they seem to come back. So the harbor locks down at sunset for everyone's safety. In Cantha, we revere our ancestors. But when spirits pose a threat, we must prioritize the living. Wow, that's cool. Those killed by the affliction of the Ministry of Purity are bound there. Oh, is that why the places look so empty at night? That's awesome. I wonder if they'll talk a little bit about this, draw comparisons here to the faux fire and stuff. Shame Kazmir doesn't have anything to say. Great, that's like big exposition there on all the main stuff that I wanted exposition about, you know. The Ministry of Security warns that a suspect involved in the pirate attack is loose in Kainang. Authorities have described her as an Asura, diminutive with multicolored eyes. If you have any information, please contact your nearest MinSec officer. And as always, stay sharp. All the Minsec stuff from holograms is just like, <laughs> I feel like there's some Mass Effect fans out there. Oh no, no we get a chef. This is all very Divinity's Reachy, but who cares? Okay. So I didn't get the waypoint of the Daigo Ward. There's also a Mastery. Stop them around the corner here. So I think I'll collect that. And I think, guys, uh, we're actually coming to the end of episode one. I would keep playing. However, my arse aches a bit. My throat aches a little bit. Obviously, there's lots more to come. And I don't know. I kind of want this video to be fun for people to watch on YouTube. It's just a regular video. And I feel like if the timestamp gets too crazy, no one's ever going to click it. Um, I don't know. Maybe we, <laughs> we passed that threshold a long time ago. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I should have been splitting them into little two-hour chunks each time or something. Oh, no! 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 Oh. Oh, we're out. <laughs> Thank God. There's always a way out. <laughs> oh, my God. I was going to say, I, I would have respected that. I would have honored that, and I would have waypointed. <laughs> Back to the village. Man, we only have two waypoints so far this whole day playing. I'm sorry. This floor is only accessible to residents of the Jade Heights complex. If you are looking to purchase a new home within our community, please consult our main office. Are you kidding me? I can't get to my own home right now. You think I'm here to buy a penthouse? There are currently zero penthouses <laughs> available for purchase in our complex. 
I apologize for any inconvenience. Oh man, I play games to get away from the depressing reality of buying a house in real life. Why can't they just keep the politics out, you know? I don't want to think about house prices while I play video games. Why don't I see anyone complaining about that? Alright, here we go. Look, look, we can get that. Look at that. I need to time the second part of the Let's Play to be right when the sun comes up so we get as much daytime content as possible. Look at this lamppost. Oh, man. There's more, there's more, there's more story there as well. Oh, I, I quite like the idea of ending here, though, because, I mean, this is a, this is a really nice area of Shingji. What the hell is going to happen when I wake up tomorrow morning? I'm going to see people, all, you know, having beaten the damn thing. God damn. Let's listen to the aristocrats. She'll have more opportunities in the city. More amenities, transportation. But everyone's here. She won't grow up with her cousins or you. You know how she loves her grandma. Trust me, it's not any easier for grandma. But we all want what's best for her. And safety? Cities just aren't as safe. Yeah, sooner or later, she'll learn the dangers of the world. I never would have said this when you were growing up, but maybe it's better she learned them early. I gotta say, that is one sexy grandma. Look at her. That ain't no grandma. That's just a, a woman who's dyed her hair grey. Jesus Christ. Kiss me, grandma. So, um, it just said someone won again. What's the winning thing? It, it, there must be a race on the map somewhere, right? There must be. I love all these little comments about, like, the people want... How the city affects those, the ambitions of those who live here. And I bet when we get to the city, it's going to feel terrible, you know. Look at that. What a view. See, you can see Kainang all the way out there. Over the water. It gives a sense of such an immense city, man. Oh, it's the fishing event, is it? Oh, uh, that's what people are competing in. I haven't seen that. Okay, so, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for those of you who came live. And especially to those who are watching this video afterwards. You know, take your time with it. What I'm going to do is go away. I'm going to wake up tomorrow and do a little 20-minute VOD summing up my major thoughts for today. Um, and I'll be back with episode 2 of the Let's Play tomorrow afternoon. And we'll continue along with End of Dragons. Um, I just want to say how much I really, really appreciate people who are having conversation and, you know, enjoying this as it originally comes out. Uh, if you guys like the look of this, if you're still interested in End of Dragons, I do have a link in the description. Um, and yeah, thank you all. I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll carry on, carry on with this. So, uh, cheers. And, um... Oh, if you feel like I've missed any big details or things that aren't too spoilery or whatever, please do let me know uh, in, in the Spud Discord and stuff. I'll be, I'll be available to contact between the two. Uh, if you missed out on it as well, I did do End of Dragons Daily, the final episode right before shooting this, where I look at the trailer, which shows a really cool thing about a dragon. So you might want to watch the trailer, the final, the final trailer. Um, so yeah, thanks very much, guys. Take care now. And me and Gulks will be back tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh. In the meantime, we'll be chilling out on this chair. I swear this is low resolution when it used to be a lot higher. I swear the chair used to look a lot better. Yeah, so me and Gulks, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>